Here we go. <laughs> Look at this colour. Paraba coloured appetite smooth wheels. Look at this colour. That's amazing. It's brilliant. Do you know, I think these could be masculine or feminine. Mm, absolutely. If you put these with absolutely. black, they could be masculine. Yeah. And they'd be really striking, wouldn't they? Really amazing. striking. I love that colour. I love appetite, I do. I think appetite with yellow is really nice or golden tone. So I'm just going to take these. Perfect. And that makes me just want a mm. cocktail. Oh, what time is it? No, yeah, that's okay. Fourteen ninety-five for this one. It's from Madagascar. A little bit of heat. We've only got three left of those pearl strands that were on split pay if you want them. So please make sure you're quick if you want them. DFJ N74, 14 pounds and 95 pence, 38 carats. These are three and a half by one to four and a half by one and a half. Mark, would it be... Wow. So for me, I'm thinking black cords or I'm thinking quite... Uh, I'm thinking gold chain. What are you mm, thinking? I would bring to link. And I would rosary link with gold, without a doubt. Just individual, make a really nice spectacle chain, because it's just that time for, for making oh, spectacle yes. chains, isn't it, for gifts and things. It absolutely is. So it's, it's just beautiful. I love appetite. I love, I it. love appetite. And it's so beautiful. do you. You're going wild yes, for this. Yeah. Let me remind you of probably mine and Mark's favourite at the moment. Do you know something? I don't think I've ever seen a strand of mookite with tassels. Do you know? You might be right, actually. Hmm. I don't think I've ever seen Yeah. I might be wrong, but I I've, I've not got any mukai with tassels. This is a first for me. Now, I didn't know this was on pre-order, and 10%, I'm just being warned, 10% of that's gone on pre-order without us even mentioning it. So that's quite bananas, isn't wow. it? So please, please know this is on pre-order. How do you get involved on pre-order? Well, if you're on our app, you can see there's a little tag that says pre-order. Just click it, and it'll take you down. If you're on our website, you should be able to do that, but you can call us. And you can ask the call centre as well. There's Mookite on pre-order, please. Can I pre-order it? Uh, and you can do that. Uh, it's not usually at the price that we're going to stick to. So whatever price is on there, you will pay the same low price as everybody else. Please don't forget, it's 1 p.m. all day. I haven't mentioned it, actually, so you can't forget something that I haven't mentioned, can you? Because I haven't told you. Um, but if you are looking to utilise that 1 p.m.p., it's 3 95 all day. If you shopped with the gorgeous Hannah and Carol this morning, then click Combine Order, but you must check out each time still. Even if it looks like we've charged you for postage, we won't have. Uh, at the end of the day, that's when we charge your card after 12 o'clock. We're doing our bit for the carbon footprint by putting everything in one package, and you're doing your bit for your purse strings by clicking that Combined Order. doesn't matter how heavy it is. Now, one of my all-time favourite gemstones, as you know, Mark, I, go, I wax lyrical about this gemstone all the time, is Citrine. I think citrine is absolutely full of life, of colour. The vivid, beautiful golden tones remind me of the sunshine. But this Madeira citrine is definitely a sunrise. Just as you're up, right at the crack of dawn, which I mostly am, going outside to do the ponies in the morning. And this is the colour of the sunrise, mm. especially in the winter. It seems a lot richer and a lot more golden. Now, the colour here, and I think this is the epitome of a beautiful, deep sunrise, or in fact, the most insane sunset you've ever seen. Think about that now. When it was the most beautiful sunset you've ever seen. And then look at this gemstone. And then also let's appreciate those warm honey tones. If these were a flavour, they'd be cinnamons and honeys, Absolutely. wouldn't they, and whiskey tones. These are beautiful they're absolutely stunning. And for under £30, I'd pay, one, I'd pay that for one. The, the clarity wow. here is exceptional. The cut is heavenly. I think these are just wonderful. And the fact that you've got them in a marquise does so many things because we're bringing them together as petals. These are individual in earrings. These are absolutely in rings. I mean, look at that huge one in the centre. I absolutely mm. do think you could put these with your gallery wire. I... It's, got, it's like, it's like it's an amber, isn't it? Them. It's got the amber tone, so incorporate yeah. it with your amber pieces as well. Definitely. Look at that tone. Wow. That is like an oban mm. whiskey. It's woody. The clarity is fabulous. Look at the quality you're wow. seeing right here. I bought my Christmas whiskey yesterday. <gasps> what did you go for? Talisker 25. Oh. Oh. Mm. I know, I can't wait. That loves some legs. Yeah. I love a whiskey, I do. <laughs> I even like a monkey shoulder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make but I only like scotch or Irish whiskey. Okay. If you come at me with you know, bourbon, you like I will get cross. And things. Okay. Jameson's, bit of Irish. Of course. Yeah. I, I was yeah. weaned on it. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> the 
make of that what you will. Now, we've got the same gemstone, but in a different shape now. And we are, I mean, I'm a whiskey lover. I have mm, been for a long time. I, I mean, I mean yeah. unfortunately, now my daughter's taken that. Uh, she loves whiskey. Have, and and her friend's I've like, done. how can you drink that I had beer? gin before dinner, glass of red with dinner, and a single malt to finish. Christ. Not every Dance night. Not every night. <laughs> not every night. Not every night. I love that. Can, can you? Do you have a smoking jacket while you're having no, your whiskey? No. Because my grandfather used to do that and, and smoke his pipe. I've got my slippers. I've got the slippers. I'm going to buy yeah. you a pipe for Christmas just for effect. <laughs> have a look at these, and they really do have that old-fashioned, wow. amazing romance about them, don't they? They just do. How beautiful is that colour? Uh, it is reminding Mark and I of um, steep heady, woody whiskies that we so love. It's a gemstone Not in a of bourbon cask, isn't though. It? Hmm? It's a gemstone of shopkeepers as well. So, it is. It's said so to bring so, money in. Yeah, if you yeah. keep a piece in your, in your till, or if you are doing craft fairs, keep it in your cash box. It's supposed to draw customers to your store. Mark, yeah. I love this gemstone so much I'd bathe in it if I could. Mm. I have a citrine and a fairy stone and a sunstone under my pillow. Look at the look at the way look that the, the light is yeah. affected by this gemstone. Look at the glow from the inside. Every time you look at this, you're going to feel delighted that you got it. And every time you look at that's why I want I'm going to be quite selfish with mine and I want it somewhere I can see it. Mm. I absolutely mm. adore this. I love that color. I think this color is very very classy. And I know that I probably wouldn't put this size with these, but I would put these colours together. I'd, I'd go with something a little bit more delicate in those. Uh, delicate in those, though. Now, I've got something I know Mark Smith loves. It's a perfect partner for the citrine. A chrysocolla. Without a would doubt. Would you put them together? Without a doubt. Okay, well yeah, let's have yeah. a look. See, look I never would have thought of that. Yeah, look at that. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Beautiful. Aren't they gorgeous? I love those citrines so much. If you've got them, I'm absolutely jealous. Mm. I'm gonna have to get that strand, you know. I am. Mm. Are you ready? Let's give you some chrysocolla. If you love malachites, if you love turquoises, if you love opalinas, then this one is absolutely for you. Chrysocolla is a combination of the most beautiful colours and it does include malachites in its makeup. So you get these rich greens, but when they are paired with the other ingredients that are within this gemstone, it, it turns into the most amazing turquoise. I think a really strong uh, partner for this gemstone would definitely be lapis lazuli. And what do I happen to have here? Of course, some lapis lazuli. Look at that for intensity. It is, isn't it? it? It is like starry, starry nights right there. Absolutely love it. A Vincent van Gogh combination of uh, colours there. Have a look at each stone because each gemstone on this strand gives you a slightly different colour to the next. And do you know why I love that? Because it's never boring. It is always different. Have a look. You've got richness of colour here. And you've got quite a high content of malachite green in there, which you can see. And then when we flip all the way to the other end of the strand, strong turquoise tones. And they really look lagoon blue, almost appetite blue with some of these tones. So let's put that. Yes, doesn't that look amazing with that? This really is strong of colour, smooth as well. So this is anybody's strand. I think when we start to fast it, we start to go down, uh, we start to look a little bit more feminine. However, with a gemstone like this, if it was faceted, because it's not, it's not going to be super sparkly, it wouldn't look too out of place on a chap. But these are absolutely anybody's, totally unisex. Anybody can enjoy using these. I think you're going to want to put cords with these. I think you're going to want to put these on slider bracelets. We are going to give you a price that I think if you were to buy these could be a major profit maker. Mark, I think these would be lovely in wish bracelets. It would actually, just, just one. That's yeah. what you'd need, isn't it? They're one. striking or enough three, for it. Three on a, on a slider bracelet. 
I was thinking slider wow. bracelet as well. Mm. I thought when I saw that, mm. it's a very striking colour, is this? It really stands out, won't it? It really pop. Oh, my word. Twelve ninety five. Now, I don't think we are used to that price, actually, with Chrysco, no. are we? Gosh. It is, yes, it is crazy. <laughs> yes. I've got jadeite on for healing purposes, as you know. I don't know whether I'm mad or or whether or I'm not. I don't. I can't answer that question. I think why not? Mm, lovely. Look at those together. That jade of mine. Since I saw yesterday's jade, this, this appears quite pale to me. So I need to get some more darker. Um, it does go very nicely with jade. And if you are a fan of that, maybe you bought yesterday's mm. big bundle of jade. Cathy, you've got yours, Jacqueline and Tyne and Ware. You're on the telephone. This is a little cute. Uh, telephone caller, you've got yours brand new. You're going to get two free strands and a Get Started DVD. We've got one, two, three brand new callers. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. Thank you so much for choosing Jewelry Maker as, a, as your craft stop. Because that's what we are. We're a craft stop. Now, don't forget, at one o'clock, you are going to learn how to create beautiful pieces of jewellery. And I mean, they are stunning. It's Mark Smith's 50th DVD. Now, Mark wasn't asked, Mark, can you do this for a DVD? Mark was given free reign. Mark, what would you like to do for a, a DVD? Now, this opens... So you're being opened up to Mark Smith's brain, Mark Smith's creativity. It's all here. This was Mark's choice. And I think that gives any kind of artist free reign. And we really start to see your personality come out in your designs. And this is absolutely no mm. exception. These are really beautiful, exceptionally elegant, very well thought out. They're epitome of Sir Mark Smith himself. Thank you. And Ben um, kindly filmed it for me, and um, he, can, he can assure you that as the 60-minute time came up, I said goodbye. As 60 seconds, 60 minutes, to goodbye. It was to the to second, the second, bang on. Yeah. <laughs> Who needs a presenter? I actually think sometimes... Mm. You don't want us banging on on the DVDs, do you? But I'm going to... You think that as well? Yeah. But Bruce says he thinks that all day, every day. You don't need I'm Jenny banging at the, on. Uh, at the code. I'll have to get this Chrysler code just for the code. So it's Mark Robert Smith. Oh! 50th. Mark Robert Smith like Robert Smith from The Cure. Yeah, that's my dad's name. Yeah. Is your dad Robert Smith? No. No, he is. Because his name no, is Robert is. Smith. Yes, yeah, yeah. But yes, He's yeah. from Malvern, uh, Robert yes, Smith. So I know, yeah. Do you know why I know that? Because my sister was so obsessed with him that one day she made me sky to school so that, she, so, yeah, I know, Mark, get on a bus to Malvern and to stand stalking. outside Robert Smith's house because it was his birthday. Yes, my sister took me stalking. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> she, was so, she thought if she took me... She would get less in trouble, I guess. I don't know. Right. I didn't say no. I was all up for the, you know, it's an mm. adventure, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Don't sky to school, ever. <laughs> no. If my kids did that, I'd go bananas, by the way. I'm very strict. Mark knows that. They're not allowed to do any of the things I did. <laughs> now, oh, I love these. Let's have a look. I know you're going mad for the mega deal. It's coming up soon. Uh, I've got to let you know that a quarter of the stock of the mega deal has now gone. So there is a slight panic. Uh, let's talk to you about turquoise, though. Turquoise, a gemstone, historically so important. Uh, one of my utter favourites. I love it. And, and you know the thing about turquoise is it's unmistakable. Everybody mm. knows what they've got. Turquoise is a famous gemstone. Everyone knows it. It's beautiful, isn't it? MBG, P89, 995. Here's some inspiration for you. Beautiful, that's this strand with this strand. Look, it's like we planned it. Of course we did. <laughs> that was a stroke of luck, wasn't it? <laughs> 995 MBG P89. You have got colour, pizzazz, December's birth gemstone, a gemstone that to the ancient Egyptians was worth more than gold. Oh, isn't it fabulous? Isn't it fabulous? Nine ninety five. You've got nearly a meter. That's incredible. Oh, tree of life designs. Yes. yes, but I think stretchy bracelets for Christmas would be lovely because people know this gemstone. Yeah. That's amazing. Week Wednesday, so not next Wednesday, the Wednesday after. Um, yeah. I'm running a Zoom Chippahemo workshop. Oh, I love Chippahemo. So, this would just be it, the most beautiful strand to use for that. Incredible. I think Chippahemo should come with the Chippendales um, theme tune. Really? The Chippendales, sorry. Right. Ch -ch -ch Chippahemo. 
Rescue Ranger. Did you watch oh, that? Not, not Chip and Dale's. Chip and Chip, Dale. Uh, Chip and Dale. It was. Right. Yeah. Chip, not. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. Do you remember them? Mm. Yeah. yeah. I used to love that. Now, imagine the days you'd just be like, "What are you doing this weekend?" Mm. Well, I'm going to watch Dungeons and Dragons in yeah. the morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are beautiful. Wow. We haven't had this gemstone for a long time. This is golden sheen obsidian. So this is the gemstone, if you believe in this kind of thing, Apache tears. Um, this is a gemstone, if you believe in this kind of thing, which I do, you know what I'm like. It's said to be a gemstone that helps you see yourself for who you really are. Are you brave enough to see yourself for who you really are? Uh, it's a gemstone that's help, said to help you connect with the spirit world. So gemstones on the Game of Thrones as well. Wow. It's a gemstone that if you look at this, look at this, look at the way they are. Put them into threes. Maybe put them on your wow. bead loom. They behave beautifully. If you want structure, which I'm sure you do because you're watching a seed beading um, show this afternoon, uh, then you need these, don't you, Mark? These They're are amazing. super structure. They'd be beautiful for your kiss cross pieces because you can do yes. kiss cross with cubes as well. They look absolutely beautiful. That golden machine is that. amazing, isn't it? I always use this with uh, Amazonite, the two together, I think. Oh, just... I can do that. Oh, we've got some, have you? Oh, oh that's not Amazonite. It's not Amazonite. Uh, I got it beautiful. mixed up. But actually, that would look nice. It would actually, yeah. But you're right, Imagine Amazonite yes. would look gorgeous with this. Yeah. I've got Appetite Night Amazonites. Mm. I've got my A's mixed up. Oh, I love that. It's very fresh together, aren't they? These are Beautiful. gorgeous. There's such a lot of myth and legend behind this gemstone. Such a lot. But look at that golden sheen. This is so different. Do you know what else? I mean, put all of that aside. You might be saying to me, Jenny, this is a sensory piece of jewellery for me. I like to make sensory pieces because, yes, twist and turn this and you'll see it. Sensory bracelets mm. are very, very, very in at the moment. And I think mindfulness in general is very, very on the forefront of our minds. And I'm so glad for it. We're all thinking about mindfulness, making sure that each other feels okay. And for the first time ever, I think us human beings, well, for as long as I can remember, have actually stopped and gone, oh, are you all right? Because mm. we're all so busy, aren't yes, we? Yeah. I think if we actually take it back 20, 100 pegs and start to think about mindfulness and things like that, this is totally mm. and utterly ideal for a sensory bracelet. We are inundated with messages. Hi, all. Great show already, Jenny. Thank you. I remember way back when you used to bring your daughter and son to the studio. I know they were so little. Thank you, Victoria. Um, my granddad used to rub whiskey on my gums. Mm. Yes! Uh, when I was <laughs> teething. I have a bit of a liking to it as an adult now. Coincidence? <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. It's not legal. Please don't rub whiskey on baby's gums. I probably shouldn't have. Uh, yeah, please don't do that. It's not recommended. Uh, good afternoon, all. I've just got home. What time is March 50th DVD, please? Well, DVD o'clock is in half an hour. And, Brian, you won't know that we are giving you an exclusive bundle. So, Brian, you might be up for this. You might be thinking, I'm, I'm going to get the DVD and I'm going to get a few kits. Or you might be thinking, oh, I want all of the kits. Mm. We're going to give you, for the first time, a multi-buy saving. You can buy the entire show kits in one bundle wow. on split pay and you're going to save over 16 pounds and you're going to get the dvd in that yes it's been a pain but i did a jenny <laughs> thing where i got on everyone's nerves until they did it <laughs> it is true isn't it i'm sorry that i'm such a pain i'm sorry i annoy everyone in this building and i don't stop going on and sometimes they see me coming and i know they shut the door and i know they lock it and pretend they're not there <laughs> they're like please she's coming it's that awful woman again now i think we ought to do it now mm, do it. i think let's we've got it. to what with quarter of the stock gone on pre-order and everything it's absolutely mm. in fact if anything it's five past mega deal Okay, both of us are very, very in love with this. We have sold more on pre-order than the last time this has been on air um, before. It sold out uh, previously, but on pre-order, I just want to show you this one because doesn't it look like, um, you know, when you just get the plums growing in the tree or maybe an apple? Look. Oh, look at that. Yeah. I love it. 
I absolutely love it. You want the Jupiter one? I think it's here, yeah? They're beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely they so stunning. They're with that matte finish. They're like winter. They're it's like nutty woodland tones. It's like I've gone into an Enid Blyton magic mm. uh, enchanted wood and I'm looking for the magic faraway tree. The last time we gave you Matt Mukai in this show, 270 sold out. Oh, they weren't Matt, were they? They were the smooth ones. I think I want to make this look... Right, so I've got a bit of a boot tassel obsession. There's a certain... Did you go to that place? Because I'm telling you, you need to go there. I'm going to show you it now. There is a certain website where you can get boots that you have tassels put onto. And they do the most amazing gents country wear. You must go oh, on okay. it. Um, now, they're tasseled boots, and you can get all sorts of tassels on these boots. And they are they're £400, these boots. Maybe more, maybe 600 I'll have a look now. Um, oh, I don't want to join you. I just want to have a look. Now... When we look at this kind of... They are country <laughs> colours. Oh, they remind wow. me of a brand called Fairfax and Favour. They remind me of that kind of country look with tassels. I'm just getting them up. You could put these as boot tassels. They are perfect for that. You could change the colour of the tassel if you wanted to, to uh, but I really like that mustard. We're going too low on this strand, That's actually. That's crazy, Tom. I think <laughs> stretchy bracelets and beautiful, big, chunky jewellery is going to look... Absolutely wonderful. What would you? I, I bet macrame, wish bracelets, well, all of all of the above. I've got a. Is he going to do it? He's, we're good, oh, something Easy. mad's happening. Apparently, yeah. I'm not sure. I'm okay. Oh, <gasps> okay. You've got to be quick because these are ten millimeter rounds. You've never seen this price for this oh, gemstone strand before. You need to be very quick. Half the stock gone already. Already quarter of the stock have gone on pre-order. Half the stock gone. Mark Smith, inspire us with your wonderful words. Well, the, most of the viewers know that have, that have been watching recently that my mum and I love Mookite, but we're quite specific, so we share the strand. So I always have the, I always have the plum and red tones, and my mum has all the mustards and the paler colours, and it, that seems to work quite well. <laughs> I like that. So we, so we, so, I love the so mustards, share, though. I See, I, think I, do, I, I don't think I could do it. I yeah. love the mix of them all. It's I incredible. love the mix of them all. This really is... <gasps> We're really Very busy. Beautiful. We're incredibly, incredibly, incredibly busy. Anthony and, Ke Anthony and Kay. Carol takes three. Maker in Oxfordshire, four for you. Lena takes two. Uh, I have got Miriam with two. Jennifer with two. Deborah with two. Maker in Greater London Town, two for you. Helen takes two. Deborah, two. Oh, Alison, three. I have got Lynn with two. Shirley with two. Brig with two. Lynn with two. Jean in Cambridge with two. I have got Lorraine with three. Terry with two. As you can see, mm. most of you are multi-buying. What does that say for you brand new shoppers? If you've just been with us for maybe a couple of weeks, when you see all of our wonderful, wonderful uh, jewellery makers buying in twos, you know it's a super deal. Let's just take this back as well, because I haven't even talked to you about the originality of this gemstone, uh, the origin of this gemstone. Mookite is from one place in the world, Mooka Creek in Australia. It's also called Australian Jasper. Is it a coincidence that Aboriginal paintings are often mm. very similar colours, if not the same colours, to Mukai? It could have been used in that way. I don't know. But I used to work in Australia. I used to go out there um, once every two months. I would go out there for a week and I would stay somewhere called Manly. And if you go down into Manly and you go, it's near Sydney, and you go to Manly and you, there's little shops that sell uh, Aboriginal art and it's always in these colours. And you, I think these could be scorching hot, hot colours. When you think about, when I look at these colours straight away, I think country, English countryside, mm. Irish countryside, Scottish countryside, they've got those colours. The, the colours of tartan, tweed, the mustards, they're beautiful. Yes. But when you know the origin of this gemstone, Mooka Creek mm. in Australia is in the outback. It's Scorching hot there. When you know that, you can sort of start to turn this and think, no, I'm thinking leather, gladiator sandals, floaty skirts, little tops, hot weather. You can take this into the summer really easily. And that's the versatility of this gemstone. I think once you start to understand where it comes from, 
you take it into a completely different realm. This is one of my favourites, and I think it's so appropriate for the Christmas period, no, isn't it? I just like the fact that on that strand you've got that every single neighbour is completely different and yeah. a different look. And, and Tom was talking about the, the, the strand of planets. It's just yeah. phenomenal. That's exactly it? what our producer yeah. Tom just said. He said, uh, there's yeah. one on here that looks yeah. like Neptune. And, and you have got that. I mean, you've got the scorching colours here. You've got the really beautiful sort of deep mulberry colours, the mustards and the creams and the burnt oranges. This plummy tone here. This looks like a plum that's just ready for the picking, doesn't it? Or a rosy apple perfect tones and then look at this one you've got yeah. like a cloudy lemonade and a mustard there and those beautiful deep burgundies mm. they are gorgeous i love these kind but if you are working with leather and Gemma crow is going to be on on tuesday with leather then this is an ultimate strand to work with leather can i just put this this trend into perspective now Please. i went i went supermarket shopping friday yeah and i bought a pack of six braeburn apples for two pound you do shop at Waitrose, no. though. Well, OK, but they're <laughs> £2 for six apples, right? <laughs> they're grown in this country, OK? Yeah. Probably about 100 right. miles down the road. Yeah. Now, this strand is £8 from the other side of the world. I know, it's yeah. It's been mined, it's been cut, it's been polished, it's been, it, it's been um, blasted, massified. We'll have to come up with a word. It's been stranded, and then it's been shipped across to this country. It's reached us. It's gone through all the import-export controls. Yeah. It's yeah. been put into a warehouse. It's been bagged. It's... For seven ninety five, four bags of apples. I know. It's just phenomenal. I, it's mad. It is. Yeah, it it's is. Crazy. It's mad. A utter madness. Yeah. You want to get yourself an apple tree and a pear tree in that beautiful garden of yours. I know. We've got Vicky Plum at a, at a conference. Have you? Yeah. I do love a Victoria yeah. Plum. Yeah. Green Gage. We mm. used to. Have, I grew up. We had an orchard, so we had oh, all of that. Wow. Yes. V we, Vicky Plum is my favourite fruit ever. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Mm. Beautiful. Yeah. Now, we are about, those are limited stock, less than 10% available. Mm. Now we're going to go to, sorry, I've got mobility issues today, everybody. This is a very tenuous link to um, Victoria Plums, but lovely presenter Vicky Carr oh, filmed my good. first DVD with me. Did she? <laughs> yes. All about chips and nuggets. Yeah. Oh, have Back you got that? Day, we I should have. have had some clips of your there DVDs. Because <laughs> don't you? I look at myself and go, oh, what was <laughs> I wearing? Oh. This the or I go, colour. oh, look how young I am. It's my hair colour that's changed Why? What was your hair? Oh, it is it? dark, dark, dark brown. I quite know. like going back and going, oh, like I'm yeah. um, sharing. I saw, like, I think we had something like eight years ago I was with you and we were doing something. I was like, look how mm. cute we were. <laughs> we were so cute. Uh, now, these are blooming gorgeous. You've got opal wow. in a slider. But I love this. Now, we... That's now, beautiful. This is this is really stunning, really stunning. I'd put the mukai, I'd put one piece of mukai in there. So let's talk to you about slider bracelets. Everybody's mm. using them. They're in all mm. the big collections. I got last night the new Versace collection through. £400 for a necklace that is gold on brass. Well, I thought that's quite inexpensive for, for um, Versace. Wow. Oh my lord. It wasn't going to last. And, it no, said, and there was no. loads of warnings like, this may tarnish. This cannot be worn. It, you know, like, and stuff like that. I was like, okay. Now, look at this. So, so my elegant. point entirely was just to, just to let you know that some of the big names, some of the big names, of course, are using slider bracelets. I'm going to talk you through and show you indeed how fluid that slide is. You've got... <sighs> such a fluidity now oh, i also need to let you know God. that this isn't gold on brass no it's not and you could make it doesn't have to be a bracelet this could be a beautiful necklace as well this is 18 karat gold layer upon layer of 18 karat gold on sterling silver what an utter luxury to introduce to your collection for just £12.95. These are ingredients that are used by some of the top jewellers. 
and they're twelve ninety five. DPV V seventy three. Absolutely, these will sell out today. Loads of you are there. Jane takes two. Carol, uh, you've got yours. You've got three. Carol, I don't blame you. Helen, Jennifer in Kent. I have got Karen in Sussex. I have got Esther and Trevor and uh, buh, 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 Kim in Cheshire. You're there as well. Veronica joins us from Berkshire. Maker in Greater London Town, you are there. It's so lovely to see your names pop up. You are going to make, you're going to be creating the most beautiful, beautiful pieces. You've got the stopper pieces. All you need to do. Now, Mark, are these open? You've got amazing pin fire out of the Matrix Opal. I'm just asking. I'm just being asked. Is there fire in the opal? Oh, my gosh. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. This is bougie as. It is bouge. This is bouge on toast. It's so bougie. Uh, DPV V73, beautiful Australian opal. If you want to twin Australian with Australian, of course, you'd put it with these. Just one of them. Just one. I'd take, probably, I'd go with um, the burgundy. I don't know. What do you think, Mark? Mm. What do you reckon? <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it? Here we go. Isn't wow. it gorgeous? I love it. I absolutely love that. It's unusual. Wow. <laughs> DPV V73. <laughs> Sorry to anybody who is Australian I watching there. You could, you could keep that going, though, couldn't you? <laughs> Apparently, they're not the only people that will be offended by you, Jenny. I don't think I'm offensive. I think I'm a person for the people. Yeah, but that's one person, and he's a multimillionaire. He doesn't care what I think, does he? He doesn't care what I think. Now, let's keep going through. I was talking about a big corporation yesterday that did sh sh shush me. Now, my darlings, I've got a big, chunky strand that you are going to love. Look at this. Wow. What a brilliant necklace this is straight away. Love this. Well, it's stranded as though it were a necklace. So somebody's knotted it up. I love it. I actually That's am going to... Sorry to be a pain, Ben. Is there any... Could you, could, you, could you pass me that bust, please? I would take them all off the strand and I would put one stone with a little pearl bead each side yeah. on necklace memory wire. Just, just one piece. That's all they come with pearl need. beads. Yeah, just put one either side, just as is. I'm just going to pop this on the bust. I think this is lovely. So would you then make one big piece of jewellery as well? No, no, I'd, I'd, you'd, I'd you'd... really get value for money. And I'd sell them for £5 each. Well, you could. Look at the gemstones. Yeah, We've got yeah, multicoloured yeah, barrel here. Absolutely. Oh you know, my an gosh. Aquamarine memory wire necklace for a five pound. I think it'd be a bargain. Those little mm. pearls in what a yeah. gorgeous strand. But yeah. you could make the most quirky big feature cocktail rings out of these. So let's talk to you. If you're new and you're thinking, well, okay, Beryl, what is Beryl? Okay, Beryl is the name of the family. It's like the Kardashian love, family of I heard you say this yesterday. Jewel, I of love jewelry. That. I love okay, that. so you've got some of the big <laughs> names in here. You've got some uh, absolutely gorgeous aquamarine. You've got some emerald falls under the Beryl family. Goshenite, Heliodor, Morganite. So it really is an important family, a famous family in the jewellery world. 1995, you would pay for one of these. Those little glass pearls in between are just simply there for design and to separation. You can use them in, in your design separately if you want to, or you can just replicate what's here. But I like what Mark said. If you oh. are a jewellery maker that purchases to sell on, then you're going to take these individually. So I'm going to count them for you. Do I have enough time to count them? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five. 45. Wow. 45. 45 individual gemstones. And if you tell me again how much you would. So you're saying one aquamarine, that's 44 pounds. Yeah, with a little bead either side. Bead on either a, on side. A piece of necklace memory wire for £5. Pounds. Okay, so what £5 pounds a, times 45, please. What yeah. is that? If you well, have a it's stall, pounds. The, the customer could cho choose their own stone and make it while they wait. That well, apparently amazing. I said 40 twice, so there's 46 on here. Oh. You demand a recount. <laughs> oh, come on. OK, well, let's just stick with, let's just say that, OK, wow. so what's five pounds times 46? And you probably got an extra one because I didn't count it right, apparently. Mm. Yes, that's 230 pounds mm. minus 19.95, please. 
minus five pounds for the memory wire we're being because you want a few yeah, yeah. so that profit would take you into 205 pounds mm. profit which is incredible that is incredible yeah. wow. tzgp32 is your item code if you are going to lose us soon on freeview go to freeview hd that are other ways you can continue to watch us uh, you must not miss out on the next hour because if you do you are, we're not going to a break we're not going to do it we ain't doing it we don't need the break marky because we got it we've got too much to do is that all right with you it's mark fine. absolutely got, fine. we will do a break after we've done mm. the kits fine. but we've got to we've got to do the kits do first yeah, yeah. otherwise otherwise people miss out can we recap the pearls we've only got three of these piles left of course we can i've had a request it is upon split pay it is on split pay it'll come up in a minute Gosh. jay you don't have to take that option it's 26.65 interest free for hand selected high luster white freshwater pearls these have been absolutely buzzing busy JSR 097, own yourself some luxury, own yourself some regality. And when we think about, I mean, look at Kate Middleton in her pearls. Mm. Isn't she just so classy, effortlessly classy? I'm sure it's not effortless. I'm sure it's not. But my goodness me, these really are beautiful. Now, I've got unchecked baskets for that. You've got to check out your baskets. Now, I'm going to give to you... Oh... You're going to love these. Look at the shape, Marky. Oh, my word. Oh, look at that. It's our next star. Bye, Mark. It's a star. Bye. I want you to think now about Middle Earth. I want you to, even if you're not into that kind of thing, I want you to take your mind to the Shire. Let's go to Lord of the Rings. Let's go to Game of Thrones. Let's go to that magical realm, that Harry Potter realm. Let's go there in our minds right now. I think this gemstone fits inside that image beautifully. Now, I talked to you about moonstone and labradorite as gemstones I would make wishes upon, and I, I can justify that in my head because we, th we, we place too many wishes upon things that humans have made. And, of course, if you're placing wishes and it's magic, then it shouldn't be anything to do with man-made coins going down man-made wells, not walking over man-made drains. I mean, that's just common sense from people falling down them. It's nothing to do with luck. I am a saluter of the magpie. I like to listen to the weather and the trees and the animals and things like that. So I'm absolutely into crystal healing. That is just my, that is just me. It doesn't, but if you are someone, if you're saying I don't believe in that, but have you ever made a wish? Have you blown out a candle and made a wish? Have you thrown a penny down a well and made a wish? If you've answered yes to that, then something inside you uh, believes in hope. And this is a gemstone to me that I would put all of my hopes and wishes into because it's got something so strong I think it's ethereal. I do think it's an enchanted gemstone. That's just me. You know I'm a little bit quirky. I read my own tea leaves. Look at what you've got here. Look at those big, thick edges. Think about where you're going to put them. I have to have a ring made out of this strand. I've just got to. I've still got my argentium on there. I'll just pop that around like that. Look at this, Mark. It's beautiful. Oh, I love it. I love it. I just love it. <laughs> why are you Why are you going with... What, for one? Each. £8.95 each. Oh, my word. He can't do that, surely. Look at that dark blue in there. That's blue sheen, isn't it? 
Are we, oh. are we going mad here? 8 95 for the whole store. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're just over a pound something each. A pound 15 each or something like that. One pound 12 each, I'm going to guess. I'm no good at numbers. That's one pound 11. Yeah. It was one pound 11 point something. It, oh my gosh, Mark, no. I just did the best maths of my life and you missed it. <laughs> That was the best mass of my life. It's a total guess. I can do the lottery. IEV Z97. Is that not how it works? It's just fluke. <laughs> <laughs> 895, 100 carats. This is incredible value. I, at Romney, I love your name, Romney. What a beautiful name. Uh, Anthony and Kay, Mo and Olwyn, and wow. Maker in Greater London taking two. Hampshire, you're there. Linda takes two. Caroline, you've got yours. Lynn, Maker in Oxfordshire. This will sell out today. Virginia, Amanda, uh, Melanie in Essex, Irene, Christine. I've got Jane. I've got Kimberly, Tina, uh, Gillian, Helen. Make sure you're checking out baskets. This is an utterly mad. They could be symbolic of... Uh, is it called a, pl a plectrum? What's yes, it called? Yes, yeah, plectrum. it's kind of yes, like that. Yes. That's what it's reminding me of. It's reminding me of my brother singing Morrissey over and over again and getting his getting his guitar thing wrong and me going, George, shut up! <laughs> I used to hide them because he used to drive me mad over and over and over. If you've got anyone in your family that, that plays instruments. You know the pain. So I got back at him by learning the ocarina. Uh, IEV Z97, probably the most annoying sound anyone's ever made, an ocarina. Recorder, it's the same thing. Yeah. An ocarina is just a squashed recorder. Yeah. 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 Uh, I can still play London's Burning on that bad boy. 895 <laughs> is your price. Can you play the recorder? Can you? Yeah, we all can, can't yeah. we? Oh, do you know it's definitely a British thing, that is? Because they're all like, what are you doing? Yeah. What do you mean? I can still do the hand snap. Do, 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 do. <laughs> My favourite bit was, fire, fire! <laughs> 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 and the pour on water because you've got to get your thumb yeah, right at the back right. haven't you yeah. oh, and at the very end you can you can use that little finger mm. the two holes at the bottom you're like yeah I can use my little finger on that hole <laughs> you get well excited about it listen to this mum I have been for the last six days <laughs> IEV Z97 is your item code uh, massive congratulations Mark on the DVD number 50 I'm so proud of you says Amanda thank now you. Thank it's you. not Mark's 50th birthday. Somebody said the other day, what, Mark's 50th? No, Chloe, and I went, Chloe, no, of yes, course not. Yes. Jones, Jones. <laughs> uh, she has had a lot of work done. Uh, Debbie in Worcestershire, she hasn't, that was a joke. Hi, gorgeous Jen, super talented Mark and wonderful team. I'm so excited, Mark. Please could you show us a quick glimpse of all the kits before you start? I can do that by giving you just one bundle because today, for the first time ever, Debbie mm. in Worcestershire and everyone else, you can buy the entirety of the show's kits in one bundle. Included in that is the DVD. You get everything included on split pay. And by buying the bundle, you'll save yourself over £16. I think it's on three split pays. Wow. I couldn't work out how much they'd be each. Can you work that out, Mark? Yeah. What is it? 40 Thank you. Don't say no. Don't say, you can get every single element on their own, kit wise and DVD wise. But if you want to make a sixteen pound saving and you want split pay and you want everything and the DVD, go for that. Now. I think I think if you bought that 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 mega bundle kit, you could make the, every single piece of this jewellery on here at least five times. Stop it. No. How many pieces are there? I think it's about 20 altogether. So 20 times 5 is... 100, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you've got 100 pieces of jewellery out least, of that one kit? At least, yeah. Oh! Mm. Look at what we're mm. learning this afternoon. Put it... You're not going anywhere. But phone off the hook, even though we don't really have home phones anymore. Take it off the hook. Put it on silent. Give the dog a bone. Mm. And with muffled drum. <laughs> That's what it sounded like I was doing that. <laughs> oh, dear. Look at what we've got. That, that is beautiful. I'm excited. Are you excited? Yeah. I'm excited now. My painkillers kicked I'm in really as well. Humbled. Really humbled. You are humble, my mm. lord. Mm. My lord. Mm. Look at that. 
gorgeous. Um, gorgeous. Georgia look, took a look at Georgia, who put the kits together for me. She took one look at this piece of jewellery because I, whenever I've made a piece, I like to send it to her to, to a if I'm on the right lines. And she said, "Oh no, I don't think I've ordered enough kits on the back <laughs> of that on the back of that one piece." Oh, Georgia, the mm. girl who I. Yeah. Berate on a daily basis. <laughs> do you know? Do you know? Yeah. Want, do you want to know what uh, time I last emailed Georgia on a Friday night when she'd gone home from work at ten o'clock at night? And then I thought, Oh, Jenny, Ooh. it's ten o'clock at night on a Friday. Leave the girl alone. <laughs> <laughs> I have to have a word with myself sometimes, Mark. And Georgia, if we could please do this in a big bundle. Mm. She's like. Oh, We've got it for you. Mm. We had to send emails, fight like tooth and nail. Jenny Cleary nearly came up. I, you know me, Mark. I'm ready yeah, there with yeah, the yeah. Chinese burn. Didn't yeah. need it. It was all fine. Uh, now, you need to check out baskets for this. We are going to give to you first off the DVD. But don't forget, you have got an opportunity of getting the DVD in the main kit. But if you want the DVD on its own, if you want everything stay, if you want all or nothing, if you want all or nothing, we've got a bundle for you on split pay. Included in that is the DVD wow. and the every single tube, every single strand. This is on split pay and you're going to save over £16. But if you're saying to me, Jenny, I'm looking at my bead stash right now. And I can't get through my craft room door. I just want the DVD. I'm going to give you that. Now, let's go. You're already on the phone lines. You're already shopping. P-U-T-Y, putty, 82. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. <laughs> 6 95 is not the price. Mark Smith's 50th DVD. You've got the mixed double motive, the butterfly beading, the duo beaded spiral, the blackberry beads, and the celeste Motive, of course, Mark gives you that introduction. Please be as quick as you can. Uh, Caroline, Barbara, Terry, Mary, you've got yours. Uh, we have got Darlene, Alison. Oh my gosh, she's gone mad. I can't even read all those names. Look, <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show Mark the screen. Oh, don't do that because that will set me off. It's ridiculous. Look. Oh my lord! Okay. Everybody wants your DVD. <laughs> wow. Of course they That's... do. Mark Smith talked to me about what I can enjoy when I put this DVD into. Could be my laptop. Could be my DVD player. What am I going to learn? Uh, okay. So if I stand behind and then Ben, I can point at the chapter title so you can see what there is. Okay. So I'm going to right. look first to the mixed double um, motif. Okay. So please. this is the mixed double motif. So this is one of the, the snowflake pieces, and this is incorporating Beautiful. the Beautiful. mini duos alongside the super duos. So the mummy and daddy of the super duo world in one piece. So we show you how to make those little motifs. And the necklace to its right, this is also the same technique. Beautiful. And then, and then at the bottom, if I just show Ben down here, Ben, these are the so that's earrings mixed as, well. as well. So all of we, we in the introduction to the DVD, we, we just stipulate that. All of the pieces can be used in earrings, bracelet and necklace and they can all use either the super duo or the mini duo and we explain about downsizing the seed beads alongside. So you've got, you've got probably about 15, 20 different techniques in one DVD just from changing the sizes and having a play around. So it's we think lovely. it's going to sell out by the way so please, um, right. my, my producer just said in my ear, I've never seen anything like this, the butterfly beading please. So Mark. butterfly beading, now it's one project but it's over two different pieces. So it's quite difficult. So this is butterfly beading, which we show you how to turn into beaded beads. But the same technique, you can make these bracelets as well. Exactly the same technique, but just a different way of finishing. You can make the flat bracelets or the beaded beads. Beautiful. Okay. I love that. So they're the beaded beads. I love beads. those colours. Yeah. And then the bracelets. So, there's, so, so in effect, there's two projects in one, if you like. So there's six projects on the DVD, really, not five. Oh, you I know. <laughs> okay, don't tell me. Uh, duo beaded spiral, please, Mark. Oh, well, as many of the viewers know, my favourite technique in the world, apart from Kiss Cross, is the simple spiral. And whenever oh. I have a, 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 a multi-hold bead, I just have a play and see if I can do the simple spiral. So these two pieces here, 
if I just move that. Please don't forget, way. I've got something really important to ask you. Okay, so these two pieces here are, again, simple spiral using the super duos. And if I bring, um, where are they? If I bring, there's a pink spiral pair of earrings somewhere. Oh, um, there, there. Oh, here we are. Yes, there they are. In front, oh, the spiral. Yeah. So this is using the mini duos to make the earrings. So it's exactly the same mm. technique. And again, you, you can Ooh. make... You can make bracelets and you can do all sorts of things with exactly the same. So I love this technique. And it does it all itself in minimum of moves, which is lovely. Blackberry beads and then on to the Celeste motif. Uh, we've got to, we, we've, we think this is going to sell out, so we've got to actually... So, so this is, this is the, um, the Blackberry beading, which are beady beads using your super duos. And then the last is the, uh, is the green on the end here, which is... Just, I just love it, absolutely. I love that. Love this one here. So they are, they are five, so six, in effect, six projects. Now, I'm going to give you the kit. Thank you, Mark. Um, we're going to give you them individually, and then we're going to give you the bundle that sees you saving. If you're looking at all of this thinking, and, and just repeat this, if I buy the entire bundle today, yeah. how many did you say? because I get everything, I'll be able yeah. to make all the jewellery how many times? Five times. You might oh. have to add a few shell pearls, but there's enough There's enough beads in the tubes of the Super Duos and the 11s and the 8s to make all of this five, five times, times easily. Yeah. So let's go first to the first kit. And we are going to give you the bundle, um, we, but we're going to very quickly give you the individual kits. Now, OXC, X, OXX, C94, you have got... Oh. These beautiful colorways, this is called Ocean Gold, OXXC94. Uh, we are going to give you each kit individually. You can cherry pick or you can buy the bundle. We are approaching limited stock on the, on the DVD. $19.95 for this one. OXXC94 is your item code for that one. Now, we're going to have to move quite fast with this because we want to get to mark and we want to give you the entire bundle. So the next kit, you are coming through and I will give you the updates on stock afterwards. We'll do a little rundown afterwards after Mark's um, masterclass. Next up is the deep blues for you. YNXC32. You get three tubes. Two in the silver, one in the blue, and these are your little. These are your duo beads. So this aren't is they? this is the necklace that you can make, which is the piece oh, that features that. on the cover on the DVD. So this this is what you can make with this kit here. Again, Beautiful. multiple times. Beautiful. So I've got. So I've used a necklace memory whilst so I've gone a bit excessive on the shell pearl in between. But if you can see the motifs, you only use one little shell pearl in the centre. I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm going to be giving you stock updates throughout. Please don't worry. It's called Blue Moon. You get your silver 11 O's, uh, your Labrador and your metallic blue um, super duos. And you're also getting a strand of shell pearl plain rounds. And those are six millimeter rounds. Loads of messages coming through. I love Mark's DVDs. So easy to follow. Got mine. I'm so excited. I need to get my purse out. Great show, Jenny and Mark. Loads of kisses. And Thank straight you. back to you, Rosie. I love the name, Rosie. Mm. Um, now, we're going to go on to the next one. Remember, we have got a bundle with all of them. So, we're going to give you next. CYX C42. The Mulberry Tones. I love this one. You've got the mulberry tones in here. Now, this is made... So that's the green one next to you, on the, just past the little baubles on the end there. By me? The turquoise. Yes, so did, have I got row. the right shell pearl here, or did you get the... No, no, what I've done, I've mixed and matched. Brilliant. So, oh, so, yeah, yeah. You, so you've worked with yeah, the, yeah. the main bundle? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. Okay, so if you are mixing and matching like Mark, yeah. you wouldn't need the so big the, bundle. Um, looking at the, that, that photograph there, the half tube that you've got there, that's the mini duos. Could you just put one of each out on, the, on, the, on your of map course. so the viewers can see the different sizes? It's, it's a tiny difference. It's probably a millimetre in length and a millimetre in width. Oh, I can, actually, I can yes. see that they're a yeah, different they size. They are the cutest things you've ever seen. They're so cute. Let's get that eyelash out of the way. Yeah, And as I said, I've had them once before. 
Oh, they're so cute. Yes, you can see that there's a clear size oh, yeah, difference yeah. there. Different. Clear size difference. I love that colour combination. combination. It's perfect. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, really love that. Seventeen ninety-five. All your messages are springing up. Sezzy. Oh, we love Sezzy mm. from Cheshire. Congratulations, Mark. You're a great teacher. Um, and there was more there. Oh, we're just going <laughs> to keep running them through because there's so many. Uh, you've got the mulberry-coloured uh, shell pearls still available. I'm going to let you know. Is the uh, have we got anything gone limited stock yet? I'll let you know. They're all pretty much um, moving towards limited stock. I will give you an update uh, when I can. Next up, big bundle coming up soon. Don't worry. Uh, now, if you are in the rinky-dink pinks, then this is for you. So the spiral earrings have been done with this. You've yes, got you've got the yeah. beaded um, beads that have been done with That's this. Right. There's, There's a lot and those gorgeous yeah. earrings. Uh, very antique, actually, the, the big earrings from the first technique, which is the mixed double mm. motif. Um, yeah. They look really pretty. They're really, really antique looking combination, isn't it? Uh, but you will see Mark has mixed a lot of the beads. So if you want to do the same, then it's the mm. bundle for you. JKXC49 is your item code. French Rose is your... Oh, I love these colours. I love these colours. They're lovely. Are you, do you, yeah, I was going to ask because, yeah. you know, I know that you like your mustards and your deep mm. blues and mm. your blues. Um, how do you feel about making with the pinks? Fine. They are very absolutely pretty, fine. aren't no, they? No, they're absolutely beautiful. For, for the butterfly beading, I made the um, the bracelet. And again, I've mixed and matched colours pink. and things. But it's just... These are very lovely. classy pinks. They very are. classy they pinks. Are. And yes, I love yes. them. Pink is such an uplifting colour. It is feminine, girly. There is something really, I, I think, whimsical mm. about pink. I love it. Mm. I love it. And I forgot how much I loved it until recently. When I was like, I used to have everything pink when I was younger. And then I thought, no, I'm going to be red. And actually, <laughs> I really like pink. No, as you said, though, they're classy pinks. Yeah, they're, you know, they're classy they're, they're really pinks. Are, really classy yes, pinks. Yes. I love them. JKX C491795. We're going to move on to the next kit for you. Please don't forget we have got the big bundle. I know that you're waiting for that as well. But where is that one? Oh, here it is with the gold. So we've got the white, the blues and the golds here. Oh, I love this. I love the gold here. And you've got the blues, which you've so you've mixed these up. Yes. You've got white and you've yeah. got the gold and blue in here yeah. in this piece here in the first piece we showed you. Yeah. But again, so I, so I get so I get sent the kits, and so I put all of the duos in a pile, all of the eights, all of the elevens, all the shell pearl, and then I just it's just a way of showing the viewers what you can do yeah. with with different. But I think that's right, and, and of course yes. the, it's great you because we are doing that big bundle that it means yes. you can replicate yeah. every piece that Mark's replicated. Mm. If you get that, you don't have to get that. We've got we've got options for you. I'm not sure. But the but I think the DVD is very very close to selling out. This one's only fourteen ninety five. Oh it's called Blue Suede G K X C twenty eight is your item code. Uh, if you're cherry picking, this one is the lowest cost so far, uh, and it's wow. beautiful. It's absolutely <laughs> beautiful. Um, but of course. Don't forget, this will be, and if you want an even further saving, £16, over £16, you will save today in getting the entire bundle. But of course, wow. we have got options for everybody. Everybody has an option today. Um, now, we're next going to give to you... I got it. I got it. And then, don't worry, I'll do a recap on anything else that's... Uh, just at the end that we've still got stock of. We do anticipate sellouts galore. And you mm. heard Georgia say, oops, I should have ordered more mm. when she saw no. Mark's jewellery. <laughs> yes, Georgia, never mind. Here we go. You've got, so again, you've got those little wee ones. They're, They're so cute. Yes. <laughs> and then you've got them in the same colour there. And then you've got them in the pink. That's a lovely dusky pink, that is. It's like pink milk. Um, yeah. You have got here your 11 O's in AB. Uh, Chris Leby, you've got your mini duos in chalk lila luster, mini duos in matulist as well, which I, lo I love the name of that, matulist. Uh, 22.95 AWXC 34, really busy for this one. That's a lovely silver, it's like an antique silver, isn't it? It's lovely, galvanised, isn't it? Yeah, yes. galvanised yeah. silver, um, maybe a bit gunmetally. It's gorgeous, I love it. Rather than sort of mm. a really bright, we've got a couple of different silvers, haven't we? Yes. That's lovely. Yes. Really, really pretty. I love those. I love those ones. So no shell pearl in this one or the next one. 
AWX C34. Loads of you going for this. Perhaps you've already got a big collection. Alison, you've got yours. Joy, Debbie, Maker, uh, Angela in Surrey, Tina, Anne, Maker in Cornwall, Judith, uh, Maker in Cumbria takes two. Hazel, Janice, uh, Janice, Lorraine, June in Argyle, and Butte. Oh, there's absolutely stacks of you. AWX C34. A bundle coming up. Lots of you met. So, last one before we do the big bundle. And the bundle going on split pay, of course, as we know. So here we have it for you. Are you ready? Is the DVD sold out, has it? Oh, there's only a handful left. Only a handful left. Love these colours together. They're amazing, aren't they? Aren't they great? If I put them all like that, you can see this, this is a lovely combination of colours. And You've got your 11Os there. I love those ones. There's something really 1950s about that colour in my head. I think it's gorgeous. UNXC87 Caribbean Crush. Oh, £17.95 is your price for that one. I know you're waiting for that bundle. We're going to give you the bundle. Uh, have a look at the gorgeous jewellery that you could create. Beautiful. Now, we don't need a break in this hour, by the way, at all, I don't think. We'll just go through. Let's just go through. We ain't, I ain't got time for a break. Oh, don't drop it, Jenny, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you ready? I mean, the how much ultimate... that cost in postage? Well, we won't talk about thing. that. Because, yeah. So, only one PMP all day. If you've already shopped, you've paid your PMP. If you want the ultimate bundle... We've got it for you now. We've even taken a picture of it because there were so many. Look at all of your beads. I've just gone through them all individually. Now you're getting all of the seed bead tubes. You're getting the DVD. You are getting all of the shell pearls. And you can create each piece of jewellery that Mark has made because he's mixed his up. And you can create them not once, Mark, but... Five times. Five yeah, yeah. times. Yeah. Five times, and how many individual pieces again? There must be 20. I think it's so you think how many pieces of jewellery can I make out of this? 100 easy. 100 pieces yeah. of jewellery, and we're going on split pay, and yeah. we're going to give you a saving. Have a look. We're going to give you... We're going to give you a super saving. So let's go... Let's show the saving as soon as we can. YOXC79, you need to put this in a basket now. We've had so many people messaging us about this, so you need to be as quick as possible. I think this is going to fly. Do you know that? We've never done this before. We've never given you the entire... Uh, now, we've got loads of you, loads of you there with this in a basket. 39.98 today gets you everything. You're going to save how much? We're going we're gonna to show you that now. Here's what you get. Here's everything that you get. And we're going to show you the saving. You saved £16.65. We have got so many of you there. This is going to sell. We've only got a few of you. Oh, my gosh. Sold out and gone. Sold out. Sold out. You have to make a note of that because we need more of those next time, don't we? <laughs> How many in baskets? 300 unchecked baskets for that. Sold out. When I have an idea, Mark, I have an idea, don't I? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pride before fall the fall. <laughs> Mark, I think it's time wow. for you to educate us. Now, you can still get the DVD, but there's only a few left. Uh, this is sold out, I'm afraid. Sold out and gone. I think we need to go straight to the masterclass with no break because we are eating into your precious masterclass time. So um, if I've got the DVD, you're going to show us something different that's not in the DVD. We are going to give to you some inspiration to take us into the masterclass. It's time to take you over to one of our utter favourites here at Jewellery Maker. His name's Mark Smith, and he's definitely going to inspire you this afternoon. Please take it away, Marky. Well, first of all, I just want to say a massive thank you for everyone who, um, who's not only buying the kit, but the, the, the DVD and everything. As, 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 it's been, as I said, it's been 50 uh, DVDs, and I don't know where the time's gone. And, um, and I wouldn't be where I am. I wouldn't be here on the show, and I wouldn't be 
producing DVDs like this um, if it wasn't down to you guys. So a massive thank you. And as you know, I love teaching. It's one of my favourite parts of the job. And to be able to, to actually put down on a DVD disc and, and, have, and have you buy it, it, it means the world. So massive, massive thank you. And I'm coming in on Thursday next week to film number 51 and number 52. So they're both going to be launched before Christmas. So keep, keep them peeled, as it were. So I'm going to show you today on the Masterclass um, another technique that, um, that I've discovered. Um, it's, it's, it's not fast pace, it's not, it, it doesn't grow very quickly, but it's a really nice little technique. And it's a way of making super duos into a rope. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to show you a couple of pieces that I've made. I'm going to show you the technique and then how we're going to build it into a necklace. So this is, this is the rope. So this is the rope here. Okay, so this is using the dark blue segments. And again, what I wanted to do was I wanted to come up with some sort of design reminiscent of the Kiss Cross, but using Super Duos. And I've come up with this. It was a bit of a happy accident. And I love the fact that the two inner and outer angles of the zigzag actually match and surround the Super Duos. So this is a five row. And then also this is, if I show you this one, this is a three row using, the, the again, a different colour. Now for these, to get that uniform zigzag pattern, you have to do odd numbers of rows. So hence why I've done a group of three and a group of five. Now you can, if you wanted to, just continue with this to make a solid rope. Now it's quite, it's quite strong, so it, you would need quite a long length to get the fluidity and movement um, as you see, my tension is very tight. I've been beading uh, for, for a few years, and my tension is, is, I like to have my tension very tight, which is why I've made these little beaded beads. So I'm going to show you how to make the beaded bead, and then um, I've not done it before, but I'm going to actually build a necklace from scratch to finish, just to show you how, how my mind works when making jewellery. Okay, so what you're going to need, first of all, is your super duos. So for each row, as I've mentioned, it's either three, five, seven, it's another number, you need four. So for the, the dark blue beaded bead, you need 20. And for the smaller, for the three, you need 12. So as you can see, you, you don't need very many, you don't need very many super duos at all. Can we not get any more of the bundles together? I'm just trying now, that's why I'm to. on the computer. <laughs> don't worry, look at me, look at me, I'm like this. <laughs> You need to I make saw, more. I, saw smoke I told you your, it would work. I saw smoke coming from your fingertips. Every, but so many people are messaging in because they they missed out. Um, we're going to try and make more. Come on, please, can we? I'm going to ring someone. Live, bring them live on it. Uh, no. I'm going to. I think I can try and get hold of one of the buyers and ask her to make more out of the existing stock if we can do that. Okay. Watch this space. But we're going to run through the kits for you. We still have some of the individual. But we don't have loads of the other kits, to be honest. Which is why we might not be able to make. Mm. Let's say if we've only got two of one kit, That's and, we and we've make. got, then we can't. No. So it's going no. to be. It's going to be pretty difficult. But please mm. know this. I am going to make it a thing that we do this when we've got multiple kits because the saving's good, yeah. you get to split the pay, and um, absolutely. Mm. And, and yes, it, it, it takes time for us to do that, but it's worth it. Absolutely. And, and I'm yes, so sorry yes. if you missed out. I'm so sorry. I'm going to stop talking now because, of course, I mean, I'm interrupting <laughs> you. Okay, so with this as well, you can you can use a size 8, um, but for the for all my rope, I've used a size 11. So I've choos chosen this amazing sterling silver colour and then the, the dark blue. So because we're only making beaded bees, you don't actually need to make very many of um, um, length of thread. So I've probably got about two foot of thread. So it's, again, it's a little manageable. If you're making a longer rope, then you'll need a longer piece of thread or you will need to add. So first thing I'm going to do is, and I always mention this, and, I, and apologies for sounding like a broken record, but it's really important that just spend five minutes before you start any project where you have multiple hold seed beads, just to check that all the holes are clear. Because, uh, again, apologies for, for repeating myself, but if you get halfway through a project, halfway through a row, and you come across a bead that has a blocked drill hole, you'll have to undo all of that previous row, and it's a bit of a pain. So just, just check. It only takes five minutes, but it, it's definitely worth it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up a Super Duo, an 11, a Super, and a, oops, a Super 11, Super 
11, super 11. Now you can do this with five beads if you wanted to, or you can do it with six, but just bear in mind that, that um, this is the four and it's got a tiny hole going down through the centre. Every time you add a super duo and 11, that hole down the middle is going to get bigger and bigger. Now if you have maybe six or seven, unless you put something down the side, a bit of tubing just to, just to keep it nice and cylindrical, it will flatten. Okay, so just bear that in mind. So I think four or five is a really nice number to get to. So once I've threaded on my four beads of each, I'm going to slide it down and leave a tail of about six inches. I'm just simply going to tie a single knot, nice and tightly, followed by a double knot. I'm just going to pull that nice and tight. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to sew through a super and an 11 through an 11. So I'm just getting away from the knot at this point. So what I'm going to do next, if you can see, I'm, I'm exiting through the inner hole of the super duo. I'm going to do what's called a thread bridge and jump up to the exterior hole. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the space in between the super duos with an 11 -0. Now you think that might be a bit odd because of the space, but what we're going to do is we're going to what's called cinch it up. I'm just going to cut away this tail so it's not getting in the way. So I'm simply going to turn it over and I'm going to fill the gaps with an 11 -0. So 11 into the super, 11 into the super. Eleven into the super and repeat the fourth time. Oops. Okay, so we've done our four sections, and then what we're going to do is we're simply going to just pull nice and tight and we're going to form a cup. So I'm going to pull nice and tight, and you can see we've got a little cup starting to form. Okay, so there are four beads. So what I'm going to do just to strengthen it now is I'm just going to take my needle and I'm going to go all the way around and just strengthen the row that I've just put in. I just okay. need to take a lot of the kits are now limited stock. I think every single one is limited, which means that they have... I've just asked, them um, because I have a little message thing, I said, we need to do stock updates on the kits if they're going to sell out. And I've just heard, I can't. I think they're all limited, so I need to let you know every single kit individually is limited stock we are also limited stock on the dvd now limited stock means that we have less than 10 percent of the stock available um, and they were all large stocks because we we have mark smith's a big launch we have as much stock as we can possibly get um, Georgia would have liked more, and we would have liked to give you more of the big bundle, and I can only apologise that, that, that it sold out so quickly. Uh, if you don't want to miss out, you must check out Baskets. I'm so sorry to have interrupted your uh, masterclass, but I don't want anyone putting something in a basket, thinking, I'll just watch this, and I'll come back, because you're going to be disappointed. Things are selling out so fast that we can't catch up with you. I'm so sorry to have no, interrupted you, Mark. No, no, not at all. OK, so I've made my little cup. Okay, so there's my little cup. And then what I'm going to do then, this is where we start adding our seed bead row. So what I'm going to do is in between all of the 11 O's, I'm going to pick up three 11s. So one, two, three. I'm going to jump over the super duo into the next 11 O. And then I'm going to turn and I'm going to pick up three 11s. Skip the super duo into the next 11. I'm going to turn three 11 O's, one, two, three, skip the super into the next, and then skip the gap into the next. So it's three in between each bead. So I'm going to sew in. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, we're coming up to the, the three that we've just added at the beginning. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to step up through two, so I'm exiting through that middle bead. So this is what's called a step up. And you can see I'm, I'm pulling tight, and what happens is those little 
beaded sections form a little cup around. Now can you see we've got one, two, three, four beads which are slightly higher than the beads surrounding them. These are the number two bead in the group of three that we've just added. So what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to turn it sideways and then we can start with our next row of super duos. So I'm going to pick up a super, I'm going to jump the gap into the middle of that group of three elevens. Okay, don't worry about tight tension at this point. I'm going to pick up my next super duo. I'm going to jump the gap into the middle of the next group of three. Oops, sorry. And I'm going to repeat again. So I'm going to pick up my next super, jump the gap into the next middle bead, and then we do the same. And you can see that this bead is, is prominent already. So I'm picking up the super duo into the 11-0. And then I'm going to pull nice and tight. And you can see then that the four beads sit on the inside in a little cross formation. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to sew through the next super duo in the run. And then I'm going to, again, back to the beginning, I'm going to, I'm going to do a thread bridge. So I'm exiting through this inner hole and I'm going to thread bridge to the outer hole. And every time you do a step up, you will change direction. So now I'm going anti-clockwise. The previous row I've just shown you, I went clockwise, so it will change every time. And I think that's a really good way of becoming quite ambidextrous in your beading as well with this changing of direction. It just helps with, your, with all your other bead designs. So we come back to our individual 11-0. So I'm going to fill the gap into the next 11, picking up the next, jump the gap, and then the next, fill the gap. So it's, it's sort of like a kiss cross, but instead of having a cross, you have the zigzag pattern instead. Now when I get to the individual 11-0 round, I pull nice and tight, and then I just go round all the way once to secure nice and tight all the way around, just to make it nice and secure. Again, pull nice and tight. What I tend to do is I pull, t when I'm pulling my thread, I pull in the direction that the thread is, is going, and there'll be less chance then of tearing the thread against any sharp edges you have in your beads. So we're at the point now where we're adding our next row of zigzag. So we pick up one, two, three, jump over the super duo into the next 11, I've only popped on two there, let's reverse a bit. So one, two, three, jump the gap. And making sure that you don't sew through the super duo. See, already look, it wants to it wants to stand up in its zigzag, so it's telling you what it wants you to do. One, two, three, jump the super into the eleven. So you only need to do two rows and it starts to form the tube. So it's always that first initial section that, that um, throws people. So watch it over a couple of times if you're recording or on YouTube. So I'm going through the 11, which is finishing the round, and then I'm going to do my step up through two, like so. And then, as you can see, they're all standing in the zigzag waiting for the next super duo. So I'll do that now. So we pop in our super. Our next super. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you can do exactly the same technique using the little mini duos as well, if you wanted a more delicate. And if you wanted to, you could go down in size to a 15 if you wanted to. That would be really, that'd be really micro. French Rose has sold out completely. Just to let you know, I'm so sorry to interrupt. Moroccan tiles, we've only got a few left. Blue suede, there's literally single figures of. Uh, per Parisian, one left of blue suede, one left. Parisian charm, 10 left. Caribbean crush, 20 left, but they're all in baskets, just to let you know. Sold out is the big kit. And the blue moon has sold out and gone as well. Duo, French rolls, yep, sold out, just to let you know. But the DVD, if everyone checks out, it's completely gone. Sorry, Mark. The DVD? Sorry, yes, it's very busy, darling. Very busy. Very, very oh. busy. 
it's uh, offensively busy. <laughs> well, thank you, everyone. That means the world, absolute world. So I'm at the top of the zigzag. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do my next step up. So I'm going to sew through the next super duo. And again, I'm going to change direction again. So I'm going to do my step up to the outside. And then I'm going to fill the gaps in between with our single 11 -0. So we're going through, fill the gaps, one, two, three, four. Okay, again, pull nice and tight, and then you go around and reinforce once more. So for the necklace, what I would do is you would make lots of these little beaded beads and then come up with your design. So I don't need to show you any more on this little technique because I've shown you how to start, how to do your zigzag rounds, how to add your super duos. So what I'm also going to show you now is, so I keep doing that, I keep, don't know my own strength, is I'm just going to go round and round until I can't get the needle through the beads anymore. And I've discovered this is a much, I'm going to be honest, it's lazy. It's lazy. It, it means that you don't have to add a knot to finish off your beaded beads. That's not really lazy because you're... Yeah, well, going, I'm still going round and round and round, but I just think it's, 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 it's a lesson. It's another <laughs> yeah. knot that you don't have to have. I don't like knots. They're quite unsightly. So, see, I can't get through. That's really tight. So I'm going to pull that. That's a good tip to keep going round yep. until you can't go in anymore. And then I'm going to cut that off like so. Okay, and then what I did then, just to make sure that it's sitting properly, is just roll it along your mat a couple of times and that'll all interlock. So that's how you make your beaded beads. So as you can see on my board, I've got quite a few that I've laid out. So to turn it into the piece of jewellery, this is where I have, this is where the fun happens now. So I've got my 11 O's and I've chosen a magnetic clasp. I'm absolutely addicted to magnetic clasp at the moment, which I'm going to separate into two pieces. They're so easy to wear, aren't they? Love them. So what I've got here are the smaller beads that came with the kit. And what I've got, I like to have an accent bead in between my beaded beads. So I've raided my stash and I've found some 8mm, well these might be 10 mil actually, um, a colour that uh, will coordinate with the shell pearl that you get in the kit. Okay, so I'm sure you've all got shell pearls in your stash that you can use alongside the kit components. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've taken another piece of thread. Now this might be a little tip. For the for the beaded beads I'm using a six pound break weight of Fireline or Wildfire. When it comes to building your necklace I definitely recommend jumping up to an eight pound or a ten pound weight just to give you added strength because there'll be quite a bit of weight on the necklace. So, so the necklace that Ben's showing you there I've made the beaded beads, this is the butterfly beading, using a six pound, I think we mentioned this on the DVD actually, but to make the actual lariat necklace, we, we go up a couple of gauges just to add that extra, extra strength. So I've got a new piece of thread, um, slightly longer than the necklace, and then I've separated my clasp in two, and I'm going to attach the first end. Again, I always start with a single knot, followed by a couple of knots, a double knot and then one for luck, like so. Okay, and then we decide on, then we decide on how we're going to build our necklace. So what I'm going to do now, this is where your imagination comes to its own. So I like to incorporate, I like to incorporate 11s. So I'm going to pick up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Okay, so this is going to be my little, this is going to be an over the head lariat necklace, or you can do with the clasp as I've got here. So, if I'm because I'm using a clasp, you might not want to use many more beads than this. If you're using a lariat, you might want a longer gap in between your beaded sections. And then I'm going to add an 8 0 silver bead, and you'll see why in a second. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up an 8, and then I'm going to pick up my accent bead. So this is again a 10 millimeter shell pearl from my stash and then we go back to an 8. So this is going to be my space, my accent bead if you like, in between my necklace. So then we're going to pick up 11 
of our 11 O's. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then we're going to pick up an 8. Then I'm going to pick up one of my shell pearl from the kit, which is the little 6 O's. And what happens is this adds as a stopper or a bolster to when you come to add your beaded beads. So I'm going to take one of my smaller turquoise beads and I'm simply going to take my needle up through the center so it comes out exactly through the middle. You can see it perfectly there. I'm going to slide that down and then I'm going to pick up another six millimeter round. I'm going to slide that down. So as you can see that that adds as a bolster that completely solidifies it it's in, as though it was a kit that had all been beaded together so then you go back and you then add your accent section so always go back to your beading and just to, just to make sure that you've got that, that symmetrical so I'm going to pick up 11 and then we're going to go back to our accent bead which is going to be an 8-0 followed by our 10 millimeter round. Slide that down. Then we're going to replicate that. So we've got an eight. And then we do our 11s. Okay, then we'll slide those down. Then we're going to pick up our eight. Then we're going to do our next beaded section. So I'm picking up a six millimeter, which adds as the, as the bolster. And then this time I'm going to use one of my, our longer sections. And again, and if you find that it may be, if you do um, an eight, nine or 10 row section, the needle isn't going to be long enough. So you can either at this point use a long eyed needle, which goes right up to eight inches in length. Well, what you can do is take off your thread and just add a bit, a bit of wire into a needle to get through your sections. But because this is only five, the needle goes nicely straight up through the center and you've, you've got enough needle at the top there to pull through. So we slide that down and then we replicate the bolster bead. So we're going to slide that down. And then you're just going to continue. So if Jenny can give you a rundown of any stock we might have and I'll do well, a few more sections and I'll show you how we finish. I mean we, we can't remake the bundle because a lot of the individual kits have sold out. The one on your screen we have five left of. I've mixed mine are all. Mm -hmm. I've got it. So that's these, these, these and these isn't it? Um, in fact, yes, we'll have a picture. It's, it's probably a bit smoother. Um, OXXC94, 1995. I think that's one of the only kits we have any stock whatsoever left of, and it is one that we had more of. Um, honestly, we've, we are literally hanging by a thread with the stock of that. It's so limited stock that it's just not even a joke. Uh, now, we have still got some of the seed bead on their own bundles. Um, literally, again, single figures of each. Caribbean Crush is on your screen right now, and is, is this kit here. Uh, but, like I said, it is very limited stock. It's $17.95. Those are your colours for Caribbean Crush. Um, we're so busy, Mark. It's, it's just crazy. Now, you are picking your way through the checkout list on the DVD, but I need to let you know, if you don't want to miss out on the DVD, how many have gone? I think, like, 500 DVDs have gone or something crazy. Um 427 DVDs have sold out. We had 500, the rest are all allocated, and we are over allocated for the DVD. Now, over allocated means that we have far more of these in baskets than we actually have stock of. If at any point this uh, has is, is saying it's sold out on the website and I haven't vocalised it, it's because it's in an unchecked basket. So I will invite you to the phone lines 0800 644 655 where you can now start to take out of unchecked baskets. That also means that if you have this in an unchecked basket, it isn't safe there and somebody on the phone lines, the customer care team can now start to cherry pick out of unchecked baskets. You need to check out, otherwise you've definitely missed out on the DVD. We are so over allocated. We're over allocated by about 150 um, which is crazy. We, we have about 50 or so of them left because I'm that bad at maths um, uh, and we are over allocated May. Can I have this one for my mum? Um, <laughs> as it's your mum. 
I can't believe they don't give you your own copies. Are you going to sign it for her, though? Are you going to sign it for her? Okay, mummy, you can have one. (laughs) <laughs> okay, so what what you're going to do now? Um, I'll stop here because it's it's just simply rethreading, but but um, but you get you get the idea of of how you then set up your necklace. So to finish, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut my thread to about eight inches. Like Have so. we got a workshop for super duos coming up, Mark? It won't be till the new year, but I can okay. I can arrange something. Yes, I think Absolutely. we've had so yes. many messages asking for one. If, that's, okay. if that would yep, be good, I can do that, that I can would do be that. if that's doable, then yes, please. Yeah. So I've got my six inch length of thread, and I've got my second half of my clasp. So I'm just going to thread it on. Oops, and then I'm going to tie a single knot, which I'm just going to situate nice and neatly. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to slide the clasp down and pull really tight and what you just need to do is just give give your piece of jewellery just a, a little twirl just to make sure that it's all sitting nice and neatly and then we can go in and we can continue tying our knot so this is how I finish off most of my CB pieces that have a clasp so what I'm going to do I'm going to take my, my thread I'm going to go I'm going to go round and I'm going to leave a, leave a piece of thread about the size of a grape and I'm going to come from the back up once from the back up twice. Okay, pull that nice and tight. And then what I do then is I turn my work 180 degrees and then I tie a knot. So you're basically, you're knotting the front of your clasp and you're also knotting the back. So again, about the size of a grape, back to the front, back to the front, pulling nice and tight. And if you want extra security, you can go around and do that twice, do that again. But that's, that's nice and secure. So the next thing we have to do is we have to get rid of this thread. And gone are the days where I cut my thread now. I always, I always feed it through. So I'm going to take my piece of thread. I'm just going to thread my needle. Let's see if I can do it. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the clasp. Now, bear in mind this is magnetic, so my needle might stick to it. Is I'm going to start from the end that had the knot, and I'm just going to feed my needle. Just do a few at a time. So if it's five or six at a time, I'm just going to sew all the way through until I'm probably about two inches away from my knot. Now, that is a safe point that I can then go in and cut my thread nice and neatly. So there's no way that this knot is going to be compromised because the end of your thread is quite a way away from the knot. So I'll just cut this one away for demoing. So as you can see, oops, so you can see then it's a very small necklace, but you get you get the idea. And it's the same sort of um, way you would do a, a bracelet as well. And what you can do is just slowly just start to give this a little bend so you get a curve on the interior of your necklace. You don't have to do that if you wanted it to be nice and, and neat. Now also what you can do is you can, if I bring these these earrings here, so if Ben looks at these earrings here, this is the butterfly beading, which is again is another uh, technique to make Lovely. these little tubes. They look Japanese. Yeah, so what you can do is you can treat these, these little rope sections that we've just made and you can actually do exactly the same technique. So I've got a head pin that goes up through the centre with a little accent B top and bottom and then pop that onto a shepherd's hook. So yet again, you can use these in your bracelets, your slider bracelets, your earrings, your necklaces, anything at all. And I think using the six mil rounds that you get with the kits is the perfect size for your your super duos, absolutely perfect. So as I mentioned earlier, you've actually got six projects on the DVD because we've got the, the bead, the butterfly beading, which we've turned into these little tubular beaded beads, and also the flat variety for your bracelets and your, your choker necklaces. But give this rope a little go, and as I said, you can just make it one continuous rope if you want to. But to get that movement, you will need to make quite a long length, and you'll be able to bend it into shape. Or what you could do, it's just popped into my head, is make a long section and thread it onto your necklace memory wire. So actually make a torque, make a torque necklace using that, that Ooh, combination. Lovely. Yes, or, or lovely. Pop, or pop that onto your memory wire and then a bead, and then another section, a bead, another section. As long as you've got some sort of movement, you might even be able to get that on your bracelet memoir, actually. But again, as long as you, you remember that um, the more beads you add, 
on your round, this has got four, as you can see. Every time you add an 11 and a super duo, that hole down the center is gonna get larger. So if you had six or more, there might be an occasion where it might flatten, which you don't want. So I think, I think four or five is, is the perfect amount for use on that. And uh, as I said earlier, apart from the dart and the bobby bead, which will also, always have a place in my heart, my, and I've, I've made it no secret, the super duo has been since we launched my favourite. Your favourite. My favourite. And I just adore it. And this is the first exclusive DVD I've made with the Super Duos. They featured on other DVDs before, but they've never had a own. So I think I think there will be a follow-up projects DVD There's for this one be. as well. Because I just adore one. this is part one. Yeah. Now I've got to yeah. just give you a little bit of information. So Mark's Super Kit Bundle has sold out and gone. Uh, Blue Suede sold out and gone. French Rose sold out and gone. Moroccan Tiles sold out and gone. Blue Moon has now sold out and gone. Ocean Gold has now sold out and gone. The only product we have left in terms of kits now is the Caribbean Crush. And we've got, oh, is the Caribbean Crush sold out? For, we've two left of that, sorry, two left of that. And the one that we've just put on screen, which we are, we are down to the last very, very, very few of Parisian charm, which uh, my producer was calling Parmesan charm, which, yeah, you <laughs> yes. just called it Parmesan charm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it really made me chuckle. Parmesan charm. We've got three left of Parmesan charm. Parisian charm. I mean, par Parmesan does have a certain element it of charm. does, yeah. Uh, now, I need to let you know... If you don't check out for Mark Smith's DVD, then that is it. Now, let me just tell you something. We are very unlikely to be able to make more before Christmas. Mm -hmm. You have to, have to, have to check this out. We are over allocated by hundreds now. Hundreds, not hundred, hundreds. If you don't check out, we are down to the last 40 of these now. 40 left, over allocated by hundreds. So if you don't check out, you have undoubtedly missed out. We will probably not get that back before Christmas. So now is the time to check out or miss out. We've got beading foundation, which you can use with this if you want to. If you wanted to do a brooch, I don't have that with me, unfortunately. I've got a chain in my in that box. Do you want an exclusive? I don't, I'm probably not supposed to Absolutely say anything. Absolutely, spill the beans, sir. You, you know, you what know like. we you know love exclusive. Like. Wait, wait there. <laughs> this is Jenny Cleary. You are watching Jewelry Maker. Exclusive <laughs> news just in. Um, I think I might have mentioned it on a previous show, but for, for no, for I the, want the for exclusive. The, you want the exclusive? Did you okay. dare mention so it? So I am going to be doing the morning shows on Christmas Eve and on New Year's Eve. Oh. And on New Year's Eve, I'm going to be launching DVD number fifty-two, oh. which is all about the long-awaited return of one of Jenny's favourites, the Magatamas. I love the Magatamas, so not got, Magamatama. We've got the small and the original sizes in an amazing DVD, which I'm putting together at the moment, and we're Can going to we be do launching a that. Return of the Magamatama um, VT, please. Okay, so that's going to be New Year's Eve morning show launch. Wow, that's the way you keep going. But there's going to be another one in between, between now and then, but I definitely can't mention that one yet. You mustn't. No, I've you said mustn't. too much. You've said too much. <laughs> You've been hanging around me too long. So limited stock, it hurts. Uh, now, we, cut, we are pretty much sold out of everything on this hour. Uh, a huge thank you to the wonderful uh, Mark Smith. Now, we've got the introduction. We've got a few other DVDs available on the website for Mark if you haven't um, got those. We've got Katie Parker coming up in the next hour. I'm going to give you beading foundation. Unfortunately, I don't have it with me, but we're going to bring it on for you. Black beading foundation, uh, 4.25 by 5.5 inches. Beading foundation is wonderful if you want to make brooches or anything that's going against the skin. You don't want it to scratch. You can embroider straight onto it. Uh, it it's wonderful stuff. Uh, UVB D66, wow. £1.95 today as an on-air deal, which is super, isn't it? And beading um, foundation is used a lot a in the industry. A couple of weeks ago, um, I was on the show and we launched, we relaunched uh, Green Caribbean Amber. And I on the show, that. I actually showed how to do um, um, cabochon onto backing foundation and then beading around it. And super duos are fantastic for beading <laughs> around your cabochons once they're on your beading foundation. And I haven't seen black for ages. I know. It's, so it's it, really it comes in, it goes yes. out. Everyone's oh, going mad for yeah. it. Here yes. it yeah. is for you. 
beading Ooh. foundation in black. It's nice and thick. Yeah. Um, it could be a vortex, uh, but it is actually be beading foundation. Yeah, it could be that door in Monsters, Inc. Yeah. Uh, £1.95 <laughs> UVVD66. Um, now, we've got Fireline for you, but again, I don't have it here. So I, I don't have any of my products here. Just say that, uh, yes. Um, so we're going to give you some beading foundation. Now, this is in grey, smoke grey. And that's oh, something wow. that is incredibly popular and is one of your favourites, Mark. It is. So we smoke smoke grey and green. Now, the reason that I love smoke grey and green are the fact that whichever colour you put them with, yeah. there's no, you can't see the thread. It completely disappears. The, wow. So the green and the, and the, and the smoky grey. There, there we go. That's lovely. I mean, it looks, it looks quite bold there. But once you're actually using it's it, got translucency it does it. disappear into your beading. Yes, yeah, it's amazing. You're amazing. FMBD35, ah. FMBD. Every time we bring you something that's BD, it's always got BD in the middle yeah. of the... £10 weight, which we mentioned a moment ago, is perfect for actually building your necklaces onto. So what, so you use a finer mm. gauge for your yeah. beaded beads, yeah. but then use a thicker, oh, heavier yeah. gauge for your necklace. Because it's, it's going to, to carry pounds. the weight. That's why that's it's called right. £10. Yeah. So we carry the weight. That's brilliant. Uh, really good quality, and it's thermally bonded, so that will prevent fraying or any of that nonsense, won't yes, it? Yes, absolutely. And I, 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 I've not you, I've not done this for for months and months now, but I used to pierce the thread. And once you pierce through the thread, and you get into all sorts of knots, and it's a nightmare. That isn't. That's yeah. fray factor. Yeah. Um, we yeah. don't want to get into the fray factor. Yeah. We want the bead factor. Six ninety five for this, and loads of you are coming in for it. Now we've got two minutes left. Is there anything you wanted to show us? Or have you, you're pretty, pretty much done and dusted yes. kipper and custard. But just, just thank you everyone again for continuing kindness and support. It doesn't mean the world. And as I said, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have been able to have done 50 DVDs if it weren't for you guys. So massive thank you. Well, and, and um, thank you to you, Mark, because actually you were so dead against doing seed beads because you said no it's too special it's, it's too detailed i can't mm. i can't do that and when i so i went away somewhere else crafty for uh four years i mean i can't yeah. even remember how many years came back how long was i gone gosh three years was it I can't something remember. like that yeah and there you are, in the middle of a beading well, this is, frenzy. This is, after I've done the two up to Christmas, it'll be 22 seed bead related huh. DVDs. So, um, yeah, I love The what, man I love who them. said he never would. Now, that could <laughs> no. be you. You could be thinking, I'm, no. a, I'm, I'm, I'm making bracelets, I'm doing stretchies, I'm not going into that. Please try it, because seed beading is so therapeutic. Uh, it really is wonderful. And we talk very much about making jewellery. It doesn't matter what kind of thing you're making, anything. It could be baking a cake. Uh, we definitely think crafting of any kind is certainly going hand in hand with mindfulness. Take some time for you and get yourself making jewellery with beautiful gemstones. Or, or do something. Take some time for you today, every day. Uh, now, we have got the beautiful Katie Parker joining us via the power of Skype. Mark's not going anywhere. He's going to stay here. Uh, and more demonstrations, more inspiration, uh, more gemstones, more equipment. We've got so much more coming your way. Huge thank you to you all uh, for rushing in and grabbing your kits nice and early. While we go to the break, make sure you take the time to check out the DVD because we've only got about nine of these left now. <music> Jake Thompson travels the globe to find the very best gemstone deals in the industry. As Gemporia's gemstone buyer and investor, Jake is confident in supplying the finest gemstones firsthand, directly from the source. So your jewellery is of the highest standard at remarkable prices. With the inside knowledge Jake has collected and the relationships he has forged, we are able to bring you the most up-to-date news on mines, gems and the trade itself. Jake Thompson lifts the veil on the gemstone and jewellery industry, giving you a unique insight into the gem markets and the ability to buy from Gemporia with confidence. If you have a question or query for Jewellery Maker, then contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Email help at jewellerymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page.
Introducing Toby Cabell. His family have deep roots in the jewellery trade for well over 50 years. Best known for their diamond jewellery and designing pieces for top celebrities from the prominent jewellery quarter of Birmingham. After travelling in Chanterbury, Thailand, Toby's love for exotic gemstones and the city itself soared, quickly establishing himself in what is considered to be one of the major gemstone and jewellery centres of the world. He has spent the last 10 years working in some of the most hands-on expanses of the gemstone trade. Whether looking at developments of certain gemstone cuts, to looking at the ergonomics of jewellery design, all the way to negotiating deals on quality and price, on location, at the mines. He uses his experience and knowledge to help Gemporia always stay ahead of the curve. Welcome back. You're watching Jewelry Maker. My name's Jenny Cleary and this hour we're going to be introducing you to the wonderful Katie Parker. More demonstrations are coming your way. Beautiful kits, stunning value. We've got some sterling silver. We've got some rose gold. We've got uh, Mark Smith's DVD, which is still hanging on by tooth and nail. We are approaching single figures for that. We're over allocated uh, by about 211 or something it was we just worked out. So you do need to be checking that out as soon as possible. Now the kits we're about to bring you are just beautiful actually. They're really, really gorgeous. Old school kits, so they come with all the findings. Um, and they're just, I, I know you're gonna love them. The colors are stunning. Katie Parker picked a peckled peck of something is hanging on the telephone. Uh, please welcome to the show, Katie Parker, everybody. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Mark Smith says hello. Hi, Mark. Hello. Well done. Amazing DVD. Congratulations on 50 DVDs. Thank you ever so much. That's really kind. Thank you. Now, Katie, you have had some stunning kits. We're just grabbing the jewellery because, as you can see, it's a, a absolutely mad for all the wonderful designs that we've got uh, collecting here in the studio. I love both kits, and I think it's kind. Of, I, I think it's very difficult to make a choice here. And I think you've got iolite in one of those, and then the other kit you've got tourmaline. I mean, this is this is amazing. Yeah, so many gemstones, so much to choose from. They're amazing. Katie, for those that don't know you, um, we've got loads of brand new buyers coming in today. Loads of brand new jewelry makers. Uh, just let, let just talk to us about your journey as a jewelry maker. How long have you been making jewelry for? I've been making jewelry for around just over six years now. Um, I used to be a hairdresser, so it was quite a creative industry I was in to start with. And then I found jewelry maker just channel flicking. I saw, initially saw wire work and thought I could have a go at that. So I, I automatically was a little bit skeptical, the amazing prices and genuine gemstones. So I ordered amethyst, which most people do to start with. And I was overwhelmed and it just snowballed from there. And then I ended up on our screens. Which we absolutely love. You do lots of online tutorials. You do lots of workshops. So please go and check Katie Parker out uh, online on Facebook, Katie Parker Designs. My daughter wears uh, one of your pearl necklaces. She absolutely loves it. She put it all over Instagram. Uh, you're such a great jewellery maker. Now, I've got some of your designs here. Um, and you were talking to us about the first kit you bought being amethyst. What is it about amethyst that you think makes it one of the first gemstones that everyone goes for? I think for myself, it's my birthstone, but it is one that the majority of people out there will know. And it's it's an affordable gemstone. So most people will have con come into contact with some form of amethyst. Um, it's just a really beautiful and the tone of the amethyst that we've got in this kit is so so pretty it's unbelievable now we're going to give you um at home the viewers um our wonderful jewelry makers the first kit and i can't believe the ingredients i've got a beautiful bracelet to show you there in a minute but um i love what you've done with the hoop earrings in this kit they look oh, i love those last they're so modern i love those have a look at what kit. aren't they gorgeous Beyonce, eat your heart out. Let's look at those like that angle. Isn't that, aren't they great? I've never seen that before. I think it's so wonderful. Beautiful. They need to be going in my ears and they probably will. Now, I'm going to give you the kits. It's on your screen just now. 
first of all, I'm sure Mark might rush out actually to get this. When do we ever get chips and nuggets in tourmaline? Mm. How beautiful is this? Lovely, the the colours in this tourmaline are absolutely magnificent. Oh, I could not believe how much colour was in the strand. They are stunning. You've got rubelite tones in here. They're absolutely beautiful. Then, wait a minute, because you're also getting emerald. Stop buying. No, don't stop buying. But you're, I'm just hearing my, okay, okay, this is going quite mad already. Uh, you've already, you've got, this kit, by the way, is going under £20. Look at the ingredients. Whoa. You'd pay that for the emerald alone. You've got a whopping carat weight of emerald, 100 carats of emerald, natural emerald, only had an oiling. And we all do that after we get out of the bath. This is incredible. Then look at those tubes. Here they come. That's what made the earrings beautiful adventuring. I absolutely adore this kit. I think well done to the kit makers. Uh, beautiful. It's called Landscape. And it really has got those wonderfully floral uh, tones, those sort of wild wood flower tones. I absolutely adore those earrings. And, of course, you've got... The uh, you've got those exact findings. Now, this is 18 karat gold, these loops. Now, let's just put this into perspective for a moment because 18 karat gold on base metal. Now, that's brilliant. I was telling Mark earlier, Versace have just launched their new jewelry collection, which I got an email for only because I bought my son some stuff before because you know, kids get kids get labels, I get primani. That's the way it goes, isn't it, girls and boys? Uh, so they four hundred pounds for a base metal necklace, and that's the same base metal there or thereabouts that we're using here. Now you're also getting the toggle class we've been raving about. And these are the ones that Rachel Norris was talking about yesterday that have been so useful with the three loops in them. You get those. You get head pins, eye pins, jump rings, chain. You get the lot. Here it is. You're not going to believe the price. I think you'd sell the earrings alone for the price that we're about to bring to you. This is a surefire profit maker, I think. Those earrings are absolutely stunning. And we've got so much more. It's not just about the earrings. 1795 NAXC08. But those earrings are definitely my favourite. I love them. Steel of the day for Jenny. 1795. Mark's just showing you that beautiful multi layered necklace. Isn't that gorgeous, look at the back. Mark? Look what Kate's done at the back. Look. Isn't that just. Oh, I Beautiful. love how she's lent in. She leads into those yeah. findings with the adventuring. Incredible. I love those, those clasps Beautiful. as well. They're amazing. Aren't that they is just? so beautiful. And don't you think, in having everything, all those ingredients, you've even got the uh, crimp bead covers, mm, it yes. looks so professional. Absolutely. That's everything beautiful. is. Well, the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed. Beautiful. Cat in Derbyshire, you've got yours. Margaret wow. Olive, you're on the telephones. Maker in Merseyside, maker in Perth and Kim Ross, maker in London. Wendy in Wisconsin. Hello to you, Wendy, all the way from Wisconsin, USA. Uh, we have got Maker in Angus, Julie in Essex, Linda in Nottinghamshire, Margaret in Devon, Melanie in Suffolk, brand new telephone caller. There are so many of you shopping. This is so, so that's so beautiful. I think that is definitely bridesmaidy. We're going to move on to the next kit now. And, you know, Katie, you were saying, um, I can't believe that. Katie, you've got iolite and fluorite and amethyst in one kit. This is, this is amazing. I know so many absolutely beautiful gems. So I like one of my favourites as well. It's beautiful. Mine too. I love iolite. Isn't that beautiful? The Viking gemstone, inky blue, squid ink blues that you get from Iolite. It has a polarizing quality. Uh, and so we believe that the uh, Vikings used that to navigate their ships so they could see the uh, sun through the clouds. It was found during a lot of archaeological digs next to sundials. But wait, but wait. So you've got the most beautiful Iolite. Now, I want you to think about how much that would be, at least £20. If you're shopping outside a jewellery maker, you're going to pay near on £100 for a strand of Iolite. Now, look at this. Fluorite tubes. When have you ever seen fluorite tubes? This will glow naturally. The word fluorescent comes from fluorite. That's where it derives from. Then pink amethyst. Look at this tone. 
Then, of course, we've got to have rose gold, the same findings this time in rose gold. I'm in love with both kits. I've got to have them both. You know, you know me. I'm going to be what I'm going to be asking for. OJX C47. Let's go shopping. You have got so many findings. 15 carats in the fluorite tubes. They're two by four. You've got two lots of, um, sorry, you've got 220 carats in the pink amethyst as well. So you've got the pink amethyst there. Beautiful. The iolite there. And look at the fluorite. Wow. It's mermadial, isn't it? These are, the, these are the sort of tempestuous seas. And then you've got the mermadial tones. Oh, you want me to show? Oh, sorry. We don't have a picture of the findings. I'm so sorry. You've got eye pins in rose gold. This is real rose gold on base metal. And remember, a lot of the big names using base metal at the moment. Then you've got your um, featherweight head pins. You've got your chain. You've got your ball head pins. Crimp tubes, crimp tube covers, toggle clasps. And of course, you have got your hoop earrings that everyone's going wild for and the open jump rings. Katie, uh, thank you so much. It's lovely to see you. What are you going to show us in your recorded demonstration? I'm going to show you how to make those earrings. So the earrings with the tubes, <laughs> with the, I think it was the adventuring that I used on the demonstration. Yeah, those are our favourites. I'm yeah. so glad you're showing me those. Thank you so much, Katie. Uh, we're going to have to say goodbye so that we can switch over our screens just now. So love you loads. Mwah. Bye. See you soon. Bye, Bye Katie. She didn't say Bye. love me back. She didn't love me back. <laughs> now I'm going to feel insecure for the rest of the day. Um, we'll catch up with Katie later on. You need to be checking out your baskets. What's your favourite? Which one would you go for if you could only go for oh, one, Mark? you like, go for like the Amethyst. Katie's our birthstone, so I would, um, I'd um, go for that. You're yeah. a February baby, um, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, Mark. <laughs> Oh, I love these kits. So do you two on the telephones. Wow. Margaret, maker in Cheshire. Sandra, Jane, Shirley, Kath, uh, Ali, maker in London, maker in Angus, maker in Yorkshire, Kath in Derbyshire, new telephone callers. You are all there. And of course, there's a queue on the phones. But right now, it's time to sit back, relax and be inspired. Hello, this is Katie Parker. So today we are going to be making these amazing hoop style earrings. I've added the tubes from both of the kits to these earrings. So this is the fluorite pair so, and I'm going to make the aventurine pair. I love the way that because we're wrapping them on they'll sit at a slight angle so it gives you another kind of way that the light will interact with the gemstone and the flashes of metal in between as you wear them. So these are the earrings I'm going to make and I'm going to make the gold and adventurine version. So I'm just going to pop that to one side. So we are going to need 10 of your tubular beads, so your fluorite or your adventure. And I've popped those onto some 0.4 millimeter wire. So I'm using the gold color silver plated um, copper wire in a 0.4 millimeter. And I've just got about 30 centimeters and I've just slotted them onto there. So what we need to do is just so that our beads don't come off just move those out of the way a second so so that our beads don't come off I'm just gonna pop my round nose pliers at the end and just wind a little spiral down to the end just so that we don't lose any of our beads and just give that a bit of a squash so we've just got a little kind of stop at the end there okay so I'm just gonna let those fall down to one end and we're gonna pick up one of our earring findings so what you need to do is to open up the earring finding so that we can see which side the hinge is on and which side the other side is on. So the hinge side is where we're going to start and we're going to pop our wire in between. So popping our wire in between, holding the actual hinged part in our hand and then we're going to wrap around. Now by opening it up, what we can do is we can pass in between so it'll make it life a little bit easier. So we're going to pop about three or four wraps because we want it to be sort of a design feature as well. So we want to be able to see these wraps. So I've got four wraps on there and I've pushed them really nice and close up together and I've moved them sort of within a few millimeters of the hinge. We don't want it right up to the hinge, but that's where we're gonna start. We're gonna leave that tail attached for now. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop one of our gemstones down the, the wire. So we're gonna drop that down. I'm gonna ask that very nicely to lay upon the edge so my wire is coming up from the back, my gemstone tube is sat on the edge and then I'm going to bring my wire over and inside and I'm going to do that twice. So we're popping two wraps in between 
and that's my first gemstone attached. Now this way it looks like it's flat, but if I turn it this way, it's got that slight angle to it, and that's what's gonna give us that really nice effect. So we're gonna pop another one of our gemstones down. So I found that 10 of mine fit on. You might find yours is slightly different because some of the lengths of these are very, very slightly different, but it doesn't make any difference because they're gonna be sat really lovely in your ear anyway, so two wraps around and drop a gemstone down. So just asking it to lay nicely. So we're just laying it nicely upon that edge, holding the gemstone and two wraps. And again, dropping the next one down. You can see how quickly these could be made as well. Two wraps like so. So we've already got four in there. And again, laying another one on the edge, one, two wraps, and laying the other one down, laying that on the edge, and then coming onto the inside and two wraps around, and again, onto the edge, just making sure it's sat in the position you want it to be in, right at the start, and two wraps around. And again, dropping your next one down, one, two, and dropping the next one down. And one, two, like so. And we'll just fit another one on. Don't worry if yours don't quite fit on, but we do want it to get right to the end if we can. So, and then we're gonna go one, two, three I'm just going to fit three on there okay so that is the part where this is going to be able to go in and out of your earring so it can close back up again so I've got all those on there and now all I need to do is snip off my wire now when we snip off wire what we need to make sure is that I'm just going to push that down a little bit make sure that we're snipping it off on the inside so I'm going to bring my wire through up the inside and snip it off on the inside of the ring. So just popping my pliers in there on the inside and then I'm gonna go in with my pliers and just give that a little squish like so. And then I'm gonna do the same with this side. So I'm gonna pull it through the middle, turn it over, making sure I'm cutting my wire on the inside and then go in with my pliers and give that a little squish. And that is my earring all made. And I think it looks amazing from this side. And I like the kind of way that they all sit at that very slight angle and it creates a lot of texture within the earring design. So, so now we have a pair of earrings all ready to be worn. And I think they're amazing. So thank you very much for watching. Take care and I'll see you again very soon. a beautiful amber and if you love amber or if you want to give the gift of amber I think this is it you've got the heart here and it's utterly beautiful look at that now I always tell you the story every day I tell you about something crazy that my grandma used to do or used to say or what have you but this is a gemstone that she had and in beads and I always tell you she used to ask me, uh, she used to say, tell, tell your worries to the amber. Um, 
Now, sorry about that, Jory, makes it a little blip. Um, tell your worries to the amber and they will take them away for you. And I used to do that. And the amber um, that my grandma had, I now have, but it looks incredibly different because it gets darker over time. So I think it's a great one to hand down. I love, I love this in the heart. Now I'm gonna to talk to you about design. Um, Elizabeth from Argentium taught us how to make a very similar bracelet to the one that I'm wearing here. Now, I actually think that if you wanted to make something similar, this would be a really amazing addition to that. And maybe you've got some flat wire. I am working on, I've asked them and asked them for you. We need flat wire back, I know that. Um, look, look at this with that heart. Now, amber will always be a special gemstone. We heard from Rachel Norris yesterday saying that's one of her all-time favourites. The history of amber. This is millions of years old. We have learnt so much from this incredibly organic gemstone given to us from the trees, uh, encapsulating whatever, whatever gets in its way. It's entrapped inside this gemstone. And from that, and because of that, we've been able to extract some amazing information from amber. We know that some dinosaur tails had feathers. We know uh, that we've been able to take from the DNA of mosquitoes that have been t uh, um, encapsulated inside, and that's given us a real insight of uh, you know what 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 mosquitoes were um, were feasting upon. So dinosaur DNA and all sorts of things. So it can get quite sciency as well as quite mystical. This gemstone, but it, if you look at sort of medieval styles, I think amber goes very well with that kind of look. If you're going for, in fact, Rachel and I was saying yesterday, Amber and Chainmail for her were a definite, uh, a definite couple. And I've got to agree with that. This is your star by Mark Smith is back on our hour. Thank you so much for your company here today, uh, jewelry makers. It's been such a super day right from the off. Baltic, Cognac, Amber. Cognac is my favourite. $17.95. But Mark Smith, would it be a wish bracelet for you? Would you cord this? What would you do with this? I would. You remember we were talking earlier about um, popping amber and cabochons on top of backing foundation and doing the bead yes. embroidery around. Well, even though it's got little loops as a connector, you can still treat that as a cabochon. We can use that Ab to Absolutely. And then you can, you can use it to hang a tassel from or something like that. So, um, yeah, just because it's got connectors and it's got a sterling silver mount, there's no reason why you can't backing foundation that and embroider around it. I think it would be amazing with that, that little silver heart in the centre of your, your big cabochon piece. I think it would be amazing. I love that idea. And I think mm. it could be a brooch. It could be really regal yeah, in a brooch. I'm, I'm on a mission to bring back brooches in the way that we wore them years ago. Mm. Big diamond oh, yeah, brooches yeah. to show yeah. off your wealth. and I, I th But also style. and, and stuff. I love brooches. Mm. I think they're fabulous. And you can make it a, an entire outfit look completely different just by wearing a brooch, can't you? $17.95 for these. And you are wow. away. So if you bought the beading foundation, if you're thinking, wait, what? Beading foundation? I need that. It's on the website. Click on Watch Us Now and scroll down. If we've got any stock of it, it will be there for you. Lots of you are checking out baskets for that one. Next up, we're going to give to you a beautiful strand. Look at the colours. I think stretchy bracelet with this one. And in fact, sir, you have been challenged, <laughs> have you not? I have. I've never made stretches on the show before, so I'm looking forward to that. Oh, have you not? No, never. Never. Well, here we no. go. Here we go. Mark Smith is stretching it out. So Delight is a brilliant gemstone uh, for the masses because it's denim blue. I can wear it. Mark can wear it. We can all wear this gemstone. I think it's neither ma masculine or feminine. I don't think it's uh, particularly seasonal. I think you can wear this at any point. Now, blue is statistically the world's favourite colour. And I think that's something to do with the fact that it doesn't matter what skin tone you have, you're always going to look fabulous in blue. Seven ninety five for these wonderful pebbles. And they do remind me of Brighton Beach pebbles. And Mark Smith still hasn't been to Brighton. I've got to take him. <laughs> EVG, Pete, you will love it when everything's up and running again, yes. of course. EPG, uh, sorry, EVG, P78. Um, now, I got that code completely wrong. EVG, P28. I don't know what's wrong with me. I haven't picked my glasses up yet. Do uh, text us in. We'd love to hear from you today. What are you up to? Are you making a Sunday roast? I had to make mine last night so that my son had his Sunday roast uh, in the, while I was not there. <laughs> I know. 
I have. Oh, I, keep, I do this, Mark, and then I have to make like seventeen Yorkshire puddings, and he'll eat them throughout the week with gravy as a snack. Honestly, <laughs> your children are incredibly lucky. Do they realise how lucky they are having a mum like you? They honestly, better. they better. They do. No, actually, <laughs> apart from yesterday with the ungratefulness, we get on. They're not too very, bad. We're very close. Good. Good. We are. Uh, but you know the boy is molly coddled by both of us. I, I realise that I've created <laughs> what I've done, but you know we're very close. We're very close. He's doing his mock exams tomorrow. His first one, so wow. we've got all that. Are you anybody uh, doing their GCSE mock exams at the moment? Mm. Big, big, great, good luck. It's so unfair for them. Bless them. Um, but let's have a look at this one. So this one reminds me of... So you know Rachel Norris does like the turtle designs oh, and things yes, like that. Yeah. I think the colours here remind me very much of terrapins and turtles. Terrapins bite and it really does hurt. I just thought I'd let you know, share the knowledge that I have on that. <laughs> my cousins had terrapins and my auntie Bernie used to always tell me not to do stuff. Um, and I just used to be like... Oh, don't put your fingers near the terrapins. I love animals, don't I? I wanted to give them a stroke. Don't touch them, they bite. And I thought, you're just saying that because you don't like me. So, I, you know, it does hurt, actually. Oh, she was gosh. Right. Uh, so <laughs> you used to have terrapins, did you? Yeah, they're bitey, aren't they? Christ the praise! In that gorgeous colour that's making us think of tortoiseshells and terrapins. It reminds me of a whizzed-up Viennetta. Don't you think? Viennetta is right. Yeah, yeah. It's mad. Whizzed up Viennetta is mad. Yeah. 195 oh, is even madder. No. I was just fed two very strange things there. Whizzed up Viennetta and 195 for a strand. Are you putting your Viennettas wow. in the blender, are you? Well, I'm just thinking. It's amazing. Chocolate limes, pistachio. You know, it's got it's definitely pistachio green. You, can, you can't green. get a Viennetta for 195, by no, the way. That's true. And if it's in my no. fridge, it's not in there for long. <laughs> I love a traditional pud. I'm an Arctic roll kind of girl as well. 195, ZFG, P82, Sue, Debbie, Sandra, Lorraine, Karen. Of course you're going mad for this. Look at the price on your screen. Sorry, I'm shouting. I, do, I absolutely apologise. I'm so sorry. Only dogs and cats can hear me. Mute, don't mute me. Um, can I just, well, just be lucky that you can mute me if you want to. Look at those little toffee colours as well in here. Beautiful, aren't This they? is beautiful. But 195, if just, let's, let's just bring, break this down a minute. Are you watching us for the first time? Because let me tell you, for 195 today, you can get a strand. But guess what we give you if it's your first ever order? If we don't have your email address on our screens, you're a new customer, you will get two free strands and a Get Started DVD. So wow. for one ninety five, you'll actually get three genuine gemstone strands and a get started DVD today. That does not happen. This comes for free with your first order. So guess what? I think you should do. Try us out for one ninety five. This is a genuine gemstone strand going lower cost than glass. This is mm. absolute madness. You've got to put it into perspective. What could you buy for one ninety five? If you walked into the place that rhymes with Rabucks, you can't get much <laughs> for one ninety five. One of those little biscuits. But those coffees, not a chance. I don't get those anymore because I've decided it's a complete waste of money. That's just me. Please continue to support local businesses and stuff, though. Um, but we don't need, uh, you know, five pounds for a coffee. One ninety five mm. for genuine gemstones that you could make. Stretch your braces out of and sell them on so this could be a profit maker for you. I mean, let's just let's just think about this. Mark Smith's got mm. something to say, I can see. I was thinking what I, what I would do with it. Again, Chipahimo we were talking about earlier. Oh, I'd make love a really chip nice wintry Chipahimo piece, wouldn't it? It'd be lovely. It would. Do you know what else is lovely? Mm. Amethyst oh, is your birthstone. Uh, we heard from Katie, it's her favourite. It's going as a star bite. It's going to be under £10. We've gone mad. These beautiful berries. Look at these berries of colours. They're like little Ribena berries, aren't they? Black currants. And this is a Zambian amethyst strand. Let's talk about 
amethyst because historically, what a main player of a gemstone. We've known and loved and adored this gemstone. I'm just going to take from the kit, actually, and put this together. Um, we've loved this gemstone for hundreds and hundreds of years. Bacchus the wine god, Greek mythology, they talk of, and that was a long time ago, they talk of amethyst. Bacchus the wine god uh, turned a maiden into a clear stone out of pure rage. She hadn't done anything wrong. She just crossed his path. Um, and uh, she was actually on her way to worship at um, the goddess Diana. And it was the goddess Diana that... Um, that actually turned, he was going to have her savaged by his tigers, but the goddess Diana um, came in and, and had her turned into a clear stone instead because she couldn't override um, the curse of Bacchus the wine guard altogether, but she could change it. So she changed her into a clear stone. And then, having had an afterthought, Bacchus felt rather bad. And I think he's, he's the worst person at, um, at, at showing his remorse because instead of turning her back into a human being, which would be the you know, polite thing to do. He he poured the juice of his grapes over her and turned her into a... Oh, oh, Neri hasn't heard this. So Bacchus the wine god poured the juice of his grapes over, over Amethyst, who had been turned into a clear stone, to forever make her a beautiful purple colour. That's where the myth and legend begins. Now, we've got to think about Bacchus the wine god when we're thinking about the legend and the history of this gemstone because um he was the you know the wine god Bacchus so in in the catholic faith and i think this is definitely connected in the catholic faith you wear amethyst uh, bishops wear amethyst to um signify their sobriety their promise to god that they they won't ever overindulge in alcohol they are of course allowed to drink alcohol you know because of uh, blood of christ but they won't overindulge in it. And in fact, amethyst is worn by bishops uh, not only to show off their sobriety, but also to protect them from intoxication when it comes to um, alcohol, but also intoxication from evil spirits. And it is the ring of the bishop that he will offer um, any of his um, any any of his subjects it, it, that come to him and ask for redemption he will offer them a ring of amethyst to kiss his ring of amethyst in order to prevent intoxication from evil spirits intoxication from evil thoughts or alcohol so that's really interesting as it is now this gemstone is also the gemstone of saint valentine which then which is in february and we do believe that that's probably why it's february's birth gemstone as well so links to catholic to catholicism links to um to greek mythology and links also of course to february and saint valentine links to tranquility. This gemstone is so beautiful and so bursting with colour that you just can't not want it in your stash for eight ninety five today. Put this with gold, put it with rose gold, makes it come to life, doesn't it? Uh, you could do the technique that Katie just showed you, but with a round, they are that gorgeous. That's it with rose gold. Let's bring some gold into the mix. Uh, I think that's my favourite. It's very regal. In fact, you think of purples and golds, you think of kings and queens of time gone by, you think of Henry VIII, you think of our Tudor, um, ancestors and you think of that kind of look don't you now this really is gorgeous with silver as well it gives it a certain freshness I didn't need to do that I've got silver bracelet on but these little rounds are so useful for their tassels if you're doing marlin necklaces if you're doing rosary linking and, and in fact you want to rosary link a story into it and I like to I like to um, think about stories as I'm going together you know if you listen to songs like Coat of Many Colours by Dolly Parton where everything's stitched with love and a story was told this is definitely one of those gemstones you could do that you could tell the story of Bacchus the wine god as you stitch or you could tell the story of the catholic faith and and the sobriety as you make your rosary links with this and isn't that a lovely thing to be able to do that mark when you're mm. making you can tell stories because this is a genuine gemstone it's steeped in history it's beautiful beautiful is any there's only one thing that i would do with this gem, go on, go and, on, that would, and that would be that would be micro kiss cross Micro you need, kiss cross. You need three strands for an 18-inch necklace of this size. 15 O and 11 O's. Just perfect. Absolutely perfect. I'm determined next year to do... Because all my kiss cross shows um, are all, all mostly using seed beads. And I want, to, I want to be able to produce kits that you can make 
kiss cross but with gemstones, so four millimetre and two millimetre rounds, just do the most, so have gemstone necklaces rather than, than sea bead and Swarovski. So that's where I'm going to go with that. And this would be perfect strand. Well, I'll get this in my stash in anticipation mm, yeah, of that absolutely. then. Three and strands, these have got good yeah. drill holes on them yeah, too. Yeah, so three strands you'll need for a necklace. Okay, well, there you go. Yeah. Take three. Well, somebody yeah. on the phone has taken yeah. four, in fact. Middlesex takes two. Wow. Jane takes three, so she might have had mm, that in mind. Yes. Uh, Morgan, Paulette, uh, Carol, you've got yours. Uh, five on the phones. Vera, Maker in Middlesex, Perth and Kim Ross, Jane, Francis, Vanya, Paula in Bedfordshire. At this time, uh, Jenny, you've got yours. Good name. Maker in Perth and Kim Ross, Lynn. Do you ever hear your name and think... What does my name mean? Like, I always ask my kids, what is, liken my name to another name. Is Jenny like Sarah, like Claire? Is it like Jessica? What is it? Like, what is it like? Do you ever think that, Mark? Like, mm. what is your name like? It's like Heather. Jenny is like a Heather. Is it? Hmm. Is it? Like, when you go to Ireland, everyone's called Jenny. It's like a real thing. Mm. There's a lot of Jennies. So, tell me again what you want from me. That's right here. I've got rose gold or I've got... You want the rose gold? Do, 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 it's right here next to me. Couldn't see for looking. I, I always do that, don't I? Throw something to you so that now you've got to think, what, what is Mark like? <laughs> Mark is like... Well, 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 you know what I mean? Do you ever do that? I just... Do you know what I do? drive my own self crazy on a daily basis i was <laughs> I, i'm just, i'll tell you in a minute i do the most random things like i must know what rita aura's mum looks like at 2 a.m quickly google it for no reason i don't know why i do that can't not sleep i can't sleep if i don't know now i'm Oof. about to give you the most amazing findings pack have a look at this 18 karat gold on sterling silver and look at these on the most earrings they're just so beautiful but you can make your own shepherd's hook out of that it would be stunning but then you've got shepherd's hooks in here you've also got i love these i love them that would be a nice nose stud as well won't it you get how many of those i've got four you probably get four you get your ball head pins as well you get two pairs of uh, shepherd hook earring findings you also get your bolt ring clasps have a little look at that. So you get your bolt ring clasps, you get your um, crimp covers, you get your open jump rings, you've got your crimp tubes. They're like gold dust, those, aren't they? Literally. Hen's teeth. Have a look. You've also got your beads. 18 karat gold on sterling silver. And look at this. You get 40 pieces. That's 50 pence of findings if my maths is still good today. 50 pence of finding. Have we gone completely bananas? Is that is my maths good? Nineteen ninety five, and you get 50, and you get forty pieces. Is that fifty? It is. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Jenny, you're getting cleverer <laughs> by the minute. Um, <laughs> VKR. I know that was an easy one. I know that, but listen, it's baby steps for me in maths. VKR F eighty three nineteen ninety five is your price. So what an amazing price for eighteen karat gold on sterling silver. It's super. Really, really super. And Mark, when you're selling your jewellery on, and you're selling... Do you know what? I, I, I always think about this as well. We could give you solid gold, but the, the, the price would be about £50. No, it would be more than that, actually. Way more than that if it was solid 18 karat gold. But instead, we want you to keep the integrity of your jewellery. So we want you to keep that sterling silver and, uh, and 18 karat gold. It's important to have... Oh, it's I important, so. isn't yeah, it? absolutely. You, when absolutely. you sell your jewellery, yeah. you like to use sterling, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. What's, what difference well, does it make, do you think? Can you tell on your customers' faces when they have something well, created again? they ask for it now. Really? They, they ask, they really? ask, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. They deserve the best, I think. Well, wow, look at this chain. Look at this chain. <laughs> Great big open links. So you can make a charm bracelet if you want to. Bright wow. silver. It's beautiful, so it's isn't it? very shiny, isn't it? Very That's shiny, amazing. bright silver. Now, this is, this is different to the last one I just gave you because you've got chain in it. And you've got, I'd say, Mark, ooh, at least 30 centimetres there. What do you reckon that is? I think it's 50, 50 centimetres. Yes, 50, yeah. Half a metre of sterling silver chain. Think about that. You've got your eye loop head pins. You've got your, so you've got your eye loops. You've got your 
bolt ring clasps, a pair of shepherd hooks, crimp tubes, crimp tube covers, and you've got your silver beads and your open cut, open jump rings, saw cut open jump rings, 14.95, and you've got 40 pieces. What's that an element? I can't even work that out. 14.95 divided by 40. 37 pence for this chain mark. You've got to multi buy this. 37 pence an element. You've got to see the value in that. It's amazing. C E R F. When I make necklaces or bracelets, um, but then when I used to sell on my stall, I used to charge five pound for the clasp before I added thread, beads, if it was stolen. anything. Yeah, absolutely. Well, of course, and yeah. I'm happy to pay it. Yeah. You're happy to pay it, aren't you? When you okay. th because there's Absolutely. a clear difference. Yeah. It's, it's especially a bit of... I think when you're buying for, predominantly, if you're buying for a gift, I've met lots of people who, mm. if they're buying it for themselves, they weren't they weren't really bothered. But if they're making for other people and as gifts, yeah. you know, they want only the best, don't they? Of for, course, for yeah. I, and yeah. I, I would say the same. I, yes. If I'm giving a gift, I want it to be the nicest thing I Absolutely. can possibly give. Yes. Yeah. And I think this is just ridiculous. We're definitely gifting you that value now, my darlings. Oh, did you hear what I just I did. heard? I did. Natural blue Malawi sapphire is coming your way and you are going to fall in love with it. And then you wait to see the earring findings I've got for you. Oh, I love sapphire so much. I am a bit, I am absolutely a sucker for something bougie. I am. If you're, if you're talking about emeralds, rubies, sapphires, diamonds, I'm there for it. Who doesn't want sapphire, the gemstone, Princess Diana chose in her ring the gemstone that is very, very regal. That probably the most famous piece of jewellery, that engagement ring. Uh, but then, uh, of course, Kate Middleton wears it. We know that Sapphire was chosen by Princess Eugenie and her sister. They both have, everybody has sapphires bar Meghan. Everybody else had sapphires. Now, this really is really is beautiful this is a true sapphire blue the incredible depth it's regal the royal family choose this gemstone for a reason look it's got a certain regality there is definitely a sense of wealth when it comes to this kind of blue it's classy it's effortlessly classy and it absolutely should be going with those round pearls that we had on split pay when we first started our show at 12 o'clock i think there's one left of those are you ready? This is absolutely nuts. This is more nuts than a squirrel's tummy. Twenty-seven ninety-five for this. I would pay that for two or three pieces. That's what I mean. They store the nuts in their tummy. So yes, well they store them in their larders. Yeah, they do eat them. Yes, but their tummies are mainly made of nuts. Anyway, you know what I mean. Twenty-seven ninety-five. I M J N sixty-three. You've got a huge carrot weight. You've got, now I'd make this last, I think. I think it's utterly beautiful, I do. Do you? It's not an overtly feminine sapphire either, is it? I mean, I'd be happy wearing that as well. On I the think list. anybody yeah, would. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's bujo meter. It's from Malawi as well. This Malawi. is the only gemstone that we have from Malawi, I think. It is. is. Yeah. And wouldn't this go very, very beautifully well with any of the slider bracelets that you it may would. have purchased earlier? Yeah, absolutely. And it would go I with any metal go as well, wouldn't it? Yeah. I tend to use gold with blue. I like that, that juxtaposition. Too. It's lovely. I love gold and rose gold with this gemstone. That's not to say silver oh, won't go. Goodbye. It's just I like the bouge. I like to bring the full-on bouge. It's got to be, hasn't it? Now, <laughs> we have got... We have got... Now, these, this is beautiful and so needed. We've got every shade pretty much. In the longest strand of amber we have here... This is beautiful. And you know, Mark, I'm all about that big layering. I'm all about layering. Look at this. This is an amber strand of rounds. You need it. Amber. Amber rounds. And look, Five it's shaded. Mil. Look. Uh, no. Oh. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's going under £100 today. That would and it's going on split pay. Kiss cross. Oh, yes. You can graduate. Graduated kiss cross would be incredible. Look at the tones. And yes, you could graduate the colours, mm, couldn't you? Yeah. And it's so lightweight. You could really throw them in. I love this strand. This is my favourite strand of amber of all time ever. I love it. I think this is gorgeous. Look at this. No. I mean, it is bougie. It is very bougie. Oh, my word. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Ben. I will have that just to show. Do you know what, Ben? Right, I'm going to show you something. So Ben has just 
given me the bust. Look how long this is. That in fact, I think I'm going to have to do a little bit of doubling up. And you can. So what I'm going to do is the very classic twist on this. I want to get it so that it's... Look, so you've got... You could twist this. Ba -ba 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 -bam. Look at that. It's the JC twist. Sold out. Well done, oh. everyone. Well done. We've got another one for you. Thank you so much, darling. Uh, our producer's gone quite mad. He's like, Rumble still skin in there. Before. Oh, he or loves the song. I tried to sing. Oh, he doesn't know. Mark, you know when you, you're with young people, they're like, who's Rumpelstiltskin? And you're like, who's Rumpelstiltskin? What kind of upbringing have you had that you don't know who Rumpelstiltskin is? <laughs> A sports-based upbringing, you say. Oh, dear. I'm going to go home and make sure my son knows who Rumpelstiltskin is. Sometimes I rush home and, and I'm like, I forgot to tell you something really important. I forgot to, set, I forgot to let you watch this movie, you know? Now, oh! Now, I wasn't fuming because my gate wouldn't open. I said, I have to go because my electric gate's going to shut on me because it hasn't got a sensor. And he thought it was a really funny, hilarious thing that I had an electric gate. It's just a five-bar gate with an electric motor on it. It's nothing like bouge. Have a look at this. Baltic lemon. I love this. And this is the perfect way to start your journey. And do you oh, know why? Food. It's... Oh, I've got the... Hang on a minute. This is a meter. Wait oh, there. Oh, my word. This is what you're getting. I've got the wrong one. So you get... You get a meter wow. of amber, but I have got the same colour for you. So these... Are these all the same size? Can you tell me? The one I've got is graduated. Yeah. yeah. Okay, wow. so this is what you'll get. I'll get the five mil. Don't worry. You'll get this, but a meter of this. So you'll get this, but in a meter. My strand here is graduated, and it's not a meter. Wow. If you want that consistency of colour throughout, then you need to grab this. So what I was saying is, why I think it's a great idea to start your journey with amb uh, amber in this colour is because, of course, we know that from the minute this is um, take, fished out from the ocean, because we get this in a very unique way, it deepens and darkens That's with right. every so year. So no one else has ever had this before. It's exactly. Yeah, it's so you will start it. your journey yeah. a, as fresh and as light as possible, but it will get darker and darker and darker. A whole meter of freshness. Wow. For 26.65 on split pay, we think this is going to sell out, you know. BPGY67. Kiss crosser. Kiss crosser. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, and I'd go black. Just completely yes. black. Bumblebees. With the other bees. Yeah. Incredible, wouldn't it? It really is. You get a meter. I haven't wow. got a meter, but you will get a meter. I promise. We can pretend this is a meter. Look at this. It's gorgeous. And it's so lightweight. It's so lightweight. It's like a feather. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, now, we are going to give you... It's just like left, right and centre deals here. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can handle it. Can we handle it? A four-strand gemstone collection for you. Have you this, Mark Smith? Have you been using this? No, I think, this, you're, going not to, this I one. think you're going to give it to me after you've... I am going to yes. give this to you. Yes, yes I am. Of course, because you're not actually supposed to be here, no. are you? We just, I just didn't want you to leave. I'd have been ever so... Uh, I just was like, no, no, don't, please don't go. That's an old song. Uh, it is Star By, of course. going to give to you a really perfect collection for the beginner for the jewelry maker that wants to gift to another jewelry maker because you want to entice them in for the jewelry maker that wants to push boundaries uh, I've got something amazing for you first of all I'm going to take 
the lapis lazuli strand. Steeped in history, this is a gemstone that will date, we can date back to ancient times. The ancient Egyptians used this gemstone. It's the gemstone that created the blue in Tutankhamun's sarcophagus. So if you've seen that, you will, and in fact, I think you can visualize that now. It's very gold and very deep blue. The deep blue is this strand here crushed down and used in paint and in makeup. Cleopatra would use this alongside uh, turquoise in her makeup. She would crush it down. Crushed down and used by Michelangelo to paint the um, ceiling in the Sistine Chapel. This has been used by the Aztecs, by the uh, Romans. It is a gemstone that we really can date back for many years. It's also a gemstone that we get from Afghanistan and you can only get to the mine by horseback. So I want you to remember the journey that this gemstone has gone on. I wouldn't want to be taking my, uh, my horse all that way, very stony, very rocky, and also in Afghanistan, the situation there isn't isn't so safe. I wouldn't want to make that journey, but remember that you can only bring back what you and your horse can carry. It's beautiful, isn't it? Now I'm going to give you a cheeky gemstone, actually, I think, and that is uh, your magnesite. Now, we, magnesite can take a dye so well that it's, uh, and I call it a cheeky gemstone because uh, mo a lot of people are confused by this gemstone, thinking, oh, well, that's turquoise. We've dyed it a turquoise colour. Whatever colour you dye this gemstone, it takes it like that. So you've all, and we've also got, and I'll show you another example of that in just a second. Now these are hand carved leaves. If you are following hashtag make jewelry, I think it is on um, Instagram at the moment, you will know that hand carved leaves are very much a pinnacle of the designs that are being put out on Instagram. Uh, a really fresh design that's been coming out, but it's quite a few different uh, jewelry makers. And, and so inspiring, it's like a, uh, it, it goes down, tapers down in rounds like a bunch of grapes in a bubble technique. And then there's two hand carved flowers at the top and it looks beautiful. It's very much trending at the moment. I will tag you in the, tr in the trend because I know that you'll love it. Then I'm going to show you, I was just talking to you about how I think Magnesite is so <laughs> cheeky because look how well it takes to a dye. You can get every single color. Now, if you're looking to make chakra bracelets, Please let me introduce you to this strand. You've got all your chakra colors on there. But you've also got the veining on here as well that's really um, really favored in chakra bracelets. So if you've got a black gemstone of this size um, and, and in rounds, then I would definitely be thinking to get this strand because you can make chakra bracelets. If you don't know what they are, go and have a look. There's loads of people selling them at the moment. They are six millimeters. Now, I'm going to give you something that has snuck into this bundle that we should be, we were supposed to be giving you on its own. Now, I don't know what happened, but there was a mix-up and it ended up in the bundle. So the bundle was these three, and it was bright and bold colours. Now, what happened was Tom accidentally bundled this exclusive, <laughs> beautiful, very unique... Oh, no. <laughs> white topaz this should be on its own at a really not not a low price but put it that way it's a it's a very exclusive strand so now tom's saying i don't know what to do because that shouldn't be in there okay we're going to give you the price of the topaz on its own which by the way isn't this is mad okay we're going to give you the price of the white topaz and you're going to get everything else for free this is total madness £4.48 oh, a strand. This topaz should never be £4.48. Lapis lazuli, the guide price on that was twelve ninety five. So I think you know that you are getting a, a super value bundle here. And you know what you could do, Mark? You can create delicate with the topaz. Mm, but you can pre create bold yeah. and striking with the rest, can't you? So what I would do, I would, I would take the topaz and the lapis and put to one side for your high end. Yeah. And then you keep the magnesite as your everyday fun, bougie. Yeah. Fun bouge. Bouge Fun means bouge. extra and luxru luxury. Right. So this would be, yes. I think Happy. this would be for your yes. money makers. I think you could make wish bracelets out of this strand. And I think mm. actually these are for offering your customers maybe five pound bracelets. So you've given them value. Whereas the topaz, I, I, there's your bouge right mm. there. That's your extra luxe, yes. hot yes. bath of luxury. That's what bougie is about, Mark. You're quite bougie. I've not had a bath in 20 odd years. Mark, he's a shower yeah, man, that's why. Yeah, My son said to me, yeah. why don't we have, because we're having a new bathroom, why don't we just have a shower? And I was like, are you mad? My best times are in that bath. I love that bath. I love putting bath bombs in there, essential oils in there, watching a film on my phone in there. Don't wow. mess with my bath time. Of course. Mm. 
Well, because I can put the flick of net on my phone. Oh, yeah. It's really naughty, but I remember having a cigarette in the bath. Yeah, that that's how bougie probably, baths are. That was probably are. the last time You I should be so relaxed. <laughs> You can't do that anymore. People no. would be like, oh! I know. Oh, gosh. Hey, the things we so used to pleased. do, Mark. That was the, the worst thing I've do. ever done in my life, and I'm so pleased that I stopped. Hey, listen. Yeah. We Look, we have all done bad things, Mark. Yes. Uh, the grand scheme of it, if that's the worst thing you've ever done in your life, it you're is, winning. Yeah. Uh, you're doing all right. Uh, I could tell you some stories mm. that will make your hair curl. <laughs> KIXC25, 17.95 is your price. And, and you would pay that for the topaz alone. Well, Mark has named one of his new super duo designs uh, after yes. me. Yeah. Celeste, yes. Yeah. What a gorgeous name. Mm. Beautiful name. You can't oh. shorten Celeste either, can no. you? No, no. You can't. Another message, oh. Sandra says, having already checked out, can I add to my order? So only oh. Yes, of course. You must check out each time. Click combine order. We actually don't charge your car till after midnight, um, Sandra. So what happens is we you'll see that we've only charged you one PMP. If ever there's an instance where we haven't, we will refund it for you. From midnight until midnight, you combine all of your postage. Now, there is a box that says click combine order, is, isn't it? I use that all the time. Do that. But yeah. if you don't do that, we will usually do it yeah. do it anyway. Yeah. So you don't have to panic about mm. that. Sorry. Um, so please don't worry, Sandra. Yes, check out each time, darling. Each time, my love. Yes. Thank you for your messages. They keep them coming. Now, I've got to, and I'm sorry, Tom, but we must, must talk about this. There are... Hundreds of you with this in your basket. It is so over allocated. It's worse than the Boxing Day sale at IKEA. We have got hundreds of you with unchecked baskets. We are seriously, seriously, seriously over allocated. Four ninety five, and I've got unchecked baskets. Now, we don't think it's going to be possible. We've already text Chloe. We need more of these. Um, we don't think it's going to be possible for Christmas. Mark's got other DVDs that are being launched. Mm. We need this to be reprinted. We, um, if that's what it's called when it's a DVD, repressed. Um, we, we don't think it's going to be possible before Christmas. Now, as it stands at the moment, most of you that have got this in a basket, I think like 80% of you are going to miss out on it. If you don't check out your basket now. We only have a small slice of the cake left. And lots of you waiting with your napkin. Not everyone's going to get some of this chocolate cake. You're just not. P-U-T, Y-82. We have got so much coming up for you after the break. While we're, t while we're taking that break, you need to do me a favour and check out. I will be coming back with a sellout message. I can feel it in me waters. <laughs> Have a question or query for jewellery maker then contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2 email help at jewellerymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page Jake Thompson travels the globe to find the very best gemstone deals in the industry. As Gemporia's gemstone buyer and investor, Jake is confident in supplying the finest gemstones firsthand, directly from the source. So your jewellery is of the highest standard at remarkable prices. With the inside knowledge Jake has collected and the relationships he has forged, we are able to bring you the most up-to-date news on mines, gems and the trade itself. Jake Thompson lifts the veil on the gemstone and jewellery industry, giving you a unique insight into the gem markets and the ability to buy from Gemporia with confidence.
The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back. You're watching Jewelry Maker with me, Jenny Cleary, and Sir Mark Smith. We have got for you a manager's smes special. 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 I like that. It is special. <laughs> it's smashing and special. It's a special. Have a look at these. I just want to make. T I love this. How gorgeous would tassels be? Look at the parade wow. tones. <gasps> look at the clarity. Is this the best clarity you've seen in the multi strand tourmaline ever? Isn't it uh, gorgeous? I love that, I do. I think that's beautiful. I'm thinking tassels. I'm thinking stacker bracelets. I'm thinking waterfall earrings. I'm thinking the bubble technique in bracelets. I just love the colour. Parade tourmaline is one of the rarest gemstones in the world. And I think if you look closely, you might see ooh, rrr, a few parade tones in here. What about beaded kumahimo with this? Be perfect. Again, chipahimo. Go down the micro. I um, I did a show recently with. I had a strand that that producer Tom kindly gave me of three millimeter grandidiorite <gasps> and sterling silver beads. And Wouldn't we, this look lovely with grandidiorite? It would be amazing. So you could do really micro crisscross. It was beautiful. Oh crikey, O'Reilly! Mm. I love this strand. I'm just going to twist it together. Do the GC twist. I have an MS twist. Oh, the MS twist? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Smith. The, sm <laughs> the Smithy twist? The Smithy twist. Let's have a look at the Smith. Have you got... So you do the... Oh, yes, you do. That's the Smith. I've got a... Yes. We're yes, calling it the Smith yes, now. <laughs> totally natural. From Madagascar. Tourmaline represents uh, October's birth gemstone alongside opal. Look at those. It's, it's a gemstone said to protect you from ill fortune, so we could all do it with a bit of that, couldn't we? We're taking this incredible strand under £20 today as your manager's special. Let's appreciate the clarity. Let's appreciate those rubelite and paraba tones for what they are. Simply stunning and £20 would change at £14.95. You can do your Vida Kumahimo. You can absolutely put this onto beading thread. Little clasp. Let's not do anything too clunky. Keep it delicate. Keep it fresh. This is a definite one for you if you want to make uh, beautiful pieces of jewellery for Christmas gifts. I want to show you because there's a real depth to the to the colour here and then actually you can move that now Mark Smith I'm wondering whether you would put these all in their colour groups I'd, I'd separate not into their six separate colours but a hot range and a cold range oh. so, the, so the pinks and yellows and oranges into a warm range and then the greens and blues and paler colours into a cold range that's wow that, that. yeah that's yeah, a good idea really nice. You could blend them. I, I love this so much. I think um, rosary linking would be, uh, is a great idea with this. I'm just going to move it forward to the white because I want to show you the clarity. Because the clarity is, the, this is the best strand of tourmaline I've seen clarity-wise in a long time. It's utterly beautiful. Look at, the, look at those colours. 
And, you know, a white really is going to show it up for any flaws. Look at those three green in the centre. I'd be putting those in a ring. I love the yellow tourmaline, that golden tone. But look how strong the rubelite is in there. Look at these tones. They're stunning. Look at the depth of blue you're getting. Incredibly beautiful. Make sure you're checking out baskets. I've got my screen isn't showing me your names. Uh, I will give it a tap in a second. Uh, 14 pounds and 95 pence. Margaret, you've got yours and you've got yours. You're on the telephones, maker in Middlesex, Lorraine in Herefordshire. France is in Yorkshire. Herefordshire is beautiful, isn't it? 14 pounds and 95 pence. WTNV60 is your item code. Oh, I love that. Keep coming through for that one. Now. We have got, oh yes, we're, Elasticity is going over to Marky. Uh, and Marky McBarky is going to be giving you a little demonstration on le, le stretchy bracelet, bracelet. I don't know what bracelet is in French. I'm doing that thing that I do when I go to France and it drives my children mad where I speak English in a French accent. It drives my kids bonkers. Here we go. But that's what I'm here for, right? 82 foot or 25 meters of elasticity. DOB N38 is your item code. Elasticity from Beadalon is absolutely snaffled up. Uh, by you because it's got such super quality it's not overly boingy so you won't get a sag in your stretchy bracelets now Mark you're using this can you explain that in, in, a, in better terminology because some elastic is too boingy isn't it this isn't absolutely so I always recommend if it, is that sealed in a container or... it, it certainly is sir okay so what I definitely I'll give it to you because is... it is, it's coming to you anyway oh, okay. I'm just going to swizz this over to Marky okay Thank you very much. Oof. So what I'd always recommend doing when you when you have your elasticity, just get in there and oik it out. Oik. Oh, it's got a seal. There we go. Take that off. That never used to come with that before. So you cut off your, your length. Always cut off more than you need because you do get a lot. Always on cut the off reel. more than you can chew. Yeah. Now at the moment those um those molecules are quite loose inside that elastic so as you said if you if you just tied that into a bracelet after a while after a, a few weeks of use you would you it would sag and you get gaps appearing in the sagging's never um, a good no. thing so the first thing you have to do is you have to um is to change the molecular structure sounds really boring in the elastic so what you do is you stretch it and as you're stretching it those molecules are sticking together they're getting tighter and tighter and tighter so now when you come to make up your bracelet you won't get the sag so that's and that's why a, we stretch balloons before that's why we blow we stretch them. Balloons, absolutely, yeah. yeah. So, so when you so when you're pulling your your elastic, the molecules are hugging together and becoming more tight. So, um, yeah. So always do that first of all. And uh, yes, yeah, so I'm going to make a bracelet, and then a bit later on, I'll show you how we finish it off. Because I'm going to add jump rings and things to it as well. Oh, so I'm going to bling it up. Up in the bouge, if <laughs> bougeing it up, bougeometer. Yeah, so, yeah. I wore a I wore a checked skirt today for you, so I knew you'd be wearing checks. <laughs> and do you remember when we had a tweed day when we both we wore tweed? We must do a tweed. For oh, instance, tweed. Gold Cup day. Oh, I love it. Oh, you want to see my hat I got for my 40th? Because I was supposed to be going to Punchestown. Couldn't uh, go, could no, I? No. It's amazing. It's got big feathers. Fedora it is. Oh, Deep gosh. blue. Wow. With amazing uh, peacock feathers. Not peacock feathers. Um, pheasant feathers with the colour on them. Wow. I love it. And I've got a matching jacket. Very you nice. have to come racing yeah, with me, so you absolutely. will. Absolutely. Now... Let's give you, look at these. I'm just, I'm just picking what I want to pick. Look at these. They're juicy. They have the most amazing jam jar red to them. I think these look like they would taste divine with a dollop of cream. Look at this Hessonite garnet. And we were talking earlier... We were talking... Yes, they have those strawberry jam tones to them, don't they? Now... We were talking earlier about um, history with gemstones. Well, here's another one for you. Garnet, we can trace back as an adornment uh, since before the Bronze Age, so about 4,000 years, which is amazing, isn't it? So we, we've, uh, I mean, I'm saying as an adornment because it was found in tools and things before that. And in fact, garnet would have been a precious gemstone uh, in ancient times. Now, Hessonite garnet gives us all these fabulous tones and these really will go with anything have a look with the amber look at that beautiful with the amber that we had earlier hessonite garnet 
is a really unique color. And I think um, a lot of us are guilty of thinking that garnet is a rouge noir and that's it. Well, it's not. This is the reddest garnet I think I've ever seen. It's almost treading ruby waters, isn't it? It's beautiful, very regal. This is a gemstone. It's in the breastplate of Aaron. It's a very high-end gemstone. Very, very stunning. Very regal. I'd put this with gold, Marky. What would you do? Gold, 90. Gold, yeah, definitely. Absolutely. 90, 90, it's, a it's a strange colour, isn't it? It's not it's red. A, it's, it's a not unique orange. colour. It's, yeah. Yes, it's, it's beautiful. You brought back so many memories to me yesterday. I watched the show. Go on. And you mentioned Mr Ratner. And, do you um, remember the scandal? <laughs> yeah, and, it, and, it all the, and you, you're right. The, the garnet that, the, that you would buy in those sort of shops were, were nearly black. It was 100%. My, first, my mum and dad bought me my first piece of jewellery when, for my 13th birthday, and it was a garnet ring. And you're right, it's that really dark, 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 nearly black yeah, stone, isn't exactly. it? Yeah, exactly. Which they were famous for. Like a rouge noir, but yeah, without clarity. Right. I remember yes. that. I remember <laughs> it. Yes. And I used to sort of dismiss garnet because of it, because I just thought it was kind of, there yeah. was nothing yeah. colourful about it it how wrong were we how wonderful is it to show you the life in the garnet to show you the real color genuine high-end garnet is this color it's not it's those incredible. black pieces of garnet that you see in the high street and we were talking about those sort of high street uh, jewelers because i think that we get the wrong impression from some of those jewelers because they want to give you a, uh, what they want to do is give you low prices so they they, they sacrifice on the quality of the colored gemstone we are here as part of Gemporia. You know that Gemporia's whole ethos is about celebrating the coloured gemstone, bringing it to the forefront of your mind. And isn't that a wonderful thing? It is, isn't it? Hessenite garnet. Look at that colour. It's neither orange nor red. Mm. It's like it's the burning lovely, embers of a fire, a hot coal of a colour. It's beautiful. Margaret, you've got yours in Fife. Uh, Virginia, you've got yours. Maker in Berkshire, Lynn in Hampshire. Now, we are going to give to you, and I'm, okay, I've got, oh yes, now, okay, this is fabulous. So I've been talking to you a, a lot about how amazing it is to have chains like this, first of all, because this is a really contemporary design, but look, look at that color, looks like platinum, doesn't it? But it's rhodium plated, now, Rhodium is more expensive than platinum. Rhodium is rarer than platinum. Rhodium, often, we will have as a plating on our white gold or platinum pieces. A lot of people have white gold wedding rings. They have them rhodium plated. Why? Because it prevents scratching because of its strength. Now, rhodium also, can, when it's compacted and it's in a, a big amount, is uh, it can become brittle, which is why you don't see it in big pieces. We use it as a plating to give us that look of platinum. Have a look at this. You get the look of platinum. Now, I think this could be feminine or masculine. Mark, do you have, have you got a gold or a white gold wedding ring or a platinum wedding ring? Um, I have... Uh, oh gosh. Okay. So this is this is yellow gold and white gold wedding ring. Oh, so it's both. And then um, this is a, a ring that Andrew bought me, which is white gold, rose gold, and yellow gold. Is it Cartier? Um, I don't know. You've got that. So yeah. uh, oh, wow, that's beautiful. And then this was bought by my mum for my fortieth, which is a diamond half eternity band. Yeah. That's beautiful. I love, I love this. Look at that. Mm. But if you had the white gold, you'd need to have it yeah. rhodium plated. Yeah. It would prevent scratching. It would keep it beautifully. Now, these are from Italy. Italian chains are really sought after. We're going to give you the price that is still lower than a sterling silver chain on the high street at $14.95, especially with this contemporary design, with these open links, the more square look link. It's really in. It was bought in by Versace, uh, and it's something that we are all looking at. Uh, but if you went to even Argos or you went to H. Samuels you or, or you went to Warren James, you would see a normal sterling silver chain for about $29.95. However, this isn't just sterling silver. We're giving you the utter luxury, the rarity of rhodium. Rhodium is the rarest precious metal. Rhodium is a precious metal 
metal. Did you know that? And uh, what I also love is the fact, because I'm a massive, massive Swarovski fan, and Swarovski only use rodium plating on all of their cabochon yeah. lamps. Because of the strength reason. of it. And, and it has longevity yes. in the plating as yeah. well. Yeah. Now, Vicky Carr telling us that never is it okay for us to scrimp on plating. It's got to be layer upon layer upon layer. I don't know how we're doing this, but we are. Fourteen ninety five is your price <sighs> for sterling silver and rodium plating. It's incredibly low priced. A, a, a super opportunity for you to get something really bougie, really high end as a Christmas gift. Now, ordinarily, if you saw something like this in the high street jewellers, you're going to look at about an eighty pound price tag, and that is in the lower end of the high, do you know what I mean, the high street prices. Whereas if you are going into the likes of Monica Veneda, if you're going, which I think Monica Veneda is more of an affordable, along with Thomas Sabo, before we then get to the heights of Tiffany & Co or Chopard. You know, I think we go in levels, don't we? This, which means that prices are going to fluctuate because of course you are going to uh, be looking in, into paying for the brand names. But even at the very low level, you're looking at about £80 for something like this. And that's in the, the very accessible jewellers. I love rhodium plating. I'm all, all about the rhodium plating. Now, you don't just get one with this, and I love the design on this. I'd wear this on its own. Um, I don't think there's any kind of pressure to be... Uh, it feels amazing. I love this design. It's really fresh, really modern, um, and I, I know you're going to love it. So it comes with a bolt ring clasp. And I want you to look at the luster that you get with this. It's got, got some length to it, this chain as well. Look, look at that twist. Now, I think there's no pressure for you to put any kind of pendant on there if you don't want to. You don't have to. Now, you don't just get one. You actually get two. Two. Rhodium on sterling silver. They're both the same. Oh, I've that one. There we go. They're both the same length. But what I am going to do is just bring this up to show you that you've got two. They are both the same length, though. What do you mean, uh-oh? Well, what? you're a rascal. He's good, got the... Okay, fine. Well, that's okay. Don't you think this is so pretty with the twist and that's the luster? That's amazing. There's a lot of... Oh! going on in our ears now mark isn't there sounds like my producer is gargling he's not he's regretting deeply the accident wow. of this price 12.95 cig p82 two For chains two. with rhodium placing two at that price now remember rhodium is rarer than platinum rhodium can be incredibly oh, incredibly expensive i've done a powerpoint on rhodium i did a powerpoint the other day on rhodium plating um, sorry, I should have mentioned this, shouldn't I? No, I, I, I didn't send it to you uh, because I'm a fool, okay? 12 95 a rhodium plating. It's just wonderful. Wonderful. You won't find it because it's on the system saved under my login, so you can't get it. Maker in Surrey. Jane, you've got two. Ros, you've got yours. Wow. Jackie in Sterlingshire, two for you. Sandra, Alan in Bedfordshire at this time. Patricia in Kent. Well, it is a Sunday. Anything goes on a Sunday. Listen, if I could be in bed, I probably would. I can't, uh, I've never had an afternoon nap in my life, I don't think. Mary in Cambridgeshire, Jack, apart from when I was ill, then, then, then I never nap. I can't do it. No, I'm not a napper. I'm too nosy. I, I can't. If, there's, if the telly's on, even if I don't want to watch it, I'm not napping. I'm too nosy. What about you? Are you a napper? No, I don't think I've ever had a nap either. I've never had a nap. No. Are they good? Am I missing out? You can have like half an hour and feel so much better. Power naps. No. I couldn't do it to myself. No, I need to, we need to try it, really, because you should try everything at least once. Um, power napping, maybe we should. No. My mind is very busy. You snooze, you lose! You can't be power napping on deals like this. CIG, P82, no power naps for us. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Pip, you've got yours. Marion, Jackie, Maker in London. Rene, you have got yours. Barbara's got two. Loads of you there. Now, we're going to give to you. Um, aren't we chirpy on this shift side market? It's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> it's lovely. <laughs> uh, now... Another, I love, I love this chain. I love it. And I love it in gold because it is bouge o -Misa. That is really high-end looking. It's, the, yeah, it's bougeometer. I love this. I think it definitely belongs in the high-end jewellers. 
Which designer bought out the paperclip necklace? I think it was a Versace at first. Was it? Yeah, right. it, was on the, it was a red carpet. Um, right. But I keep telling you, don't I? Yeah, the, yeah. the paperclip necklace probably came out about seven or eight years ago. It was a real high-end... High Red carpet, must have. And yeah. then, actually, it took quite a few years for everybody to re replicate that, and they're doing it now. And they're very timeless pieces. Mm. And I think when, when somebody brings out something that's really high-end fashionable, we then go to... It, it, so it becomes that classic, iconic yes. Yes. piece of jewellery that everybody tries to replicate, and, and this is no exception. Now, you've got layer upon layer upon layer of real rose gold. Objective is not for this to tarnish. So you should get a lot of longevity out of it. Years. FKG P09 is your item code. 1495 for real rose gold on sterling silver. Please remember, the new collection from Versace, as beautiful and wanton as it is, is actually base metal. Gold on base metal. They don't even specify which gold. I know that because I got the email yesterday with the new collection. And yeah, it's nice, but it's going to tarnish. Now, we're going to give to you. Oh, we've still got some left. So please hurry. Now. Now, we got, so this is the same deal I gave you in the rhodium a moment ago, but this time in rose gold. Oh, I love this chain. I do, I love it. So can rhodium be coloured? No, because it's like a platinum or a white gold. It's always oh, okay. that colour. Right, right. Um, and we don't have big, solid pieces of rhodium because no, when it's no. um, built up, it becomes brittle, but it's really strong okay. when it's in layers which is why you normally see a rhodium plating. Right. Um, it's so strong there, but you won't see it in like massive great big pieces, no. apparently. Oh, right. Mm. I think, let me just check that. Rhodium can be brittle when it's rhodium brittle. I'm just gonna look that up, that fact, make sure that I didn't just dream it. You know when you say something and go, did I dream that? No, I'm sure. Rhodium is both too expensive and too brittle to make heavy jewelry out of. It makes right. an excellent plating material. Yeah, oh, perfect. and it's used to hide imperfections, um, but yeah. Mm. There we go. Okay, look at this. Look at this. You get two. They're both the same. Um, yes, you get two again, yes. Why do you not look at this? Well, no, it's not in one. It's in two. It's a double, it's a duo deal, so I can't. Sorry, just having a little in-house um, quibble. Squirrel, squirrel, quarrel, squirrel. Uh, yes, this is mad. Are you ready? W O G P eighty seven thirteen ninety five. Incredible. We are having nap messages, which I'm very. I mean, I'm there for those. Put them on. I'm there for those. Jackie, you've got your Sue says Jenny. Whenever I attempt a nap, it lasts eighteen hours or more. <laughs> I wish my naps lasted that. I can't sleep at night. I wake up. I'm my, like that. My I've reached dog. the age where I, where oh. I get up at two o'clock to, to go to the bathroom and then that's it. I just lay there trying yeah. to put the world to rights. That's what yeah. I do. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I start Googling weird stuff like, like things like what order is an actual rainbow in colour wise and stupid, <laughs> pointless things that nobody needs no. to. Or I relive the most embarrassing moments of my life. I'm just about to go to sleep. I'm like, well, I don't at 2 a.m. I'm just about to go to sleep. Oh, yeah, Richard of York gave battle in vain. You know when you're just about to um, go to sleep, your brain goes, let's relive the moment you did this. <laughs> and you just go, oh, everyone hates me. Do you ever do that? <laughs> I relive moments of extreme embarrassment in the middle of my sleep. But this morning, my dog woke me up at, like, half four. She never does that because she wanted to go outside. My fault, I gave her a bone before bed. Right. I won't do that again. Now, we are, we are literally breaking the phone lines. We've had about 20 nap-related messages. But I'll tell you what, my darling angels, it's now time to bring to you another fabulous star -by.
chain is an essential part of your jewellery making. It's the bones of your jewellery making. It keeps your pieces together. So inevitably, you need it. You do. You need it. It is like you need to shop for this like you need to shop for butter. You've got to have it. Otherwise, you can't have that toast. Now, the infinity chain is something that um, I absolutely love. I also love the snaffle link. It was bought to light by Gucci. It's, it's a very equestrian. You know the little links uh, that are done by Gucci, the round, the bar, the round. It's called a snaffle link, and it's really in. And Gucci bought it in um, to handbags and jewellery a long time ago. I think that replicates. And I love the deal that you're about to get. Now, you might be saying to me, Jenny, I use chain, but it's not a major feature. Well, what about if you want to make tassels out of chain? What about if you want to be able to make a necklace and a matching bracelet? And you can't because you haven't got the ingredients to do that. I'd put this on a reel. If I were you, keep a bobbin and put this on a bobbin uh, because it, uh, this is an in ingredient that you would walk into any bespoke jewellers, you know, the artisan jewellers, and you'd see this in their workshop. This jewellers need chain, or they, uh, and it's very difficult to make chain. It takes a very long time. You can do it, of course, a very expensive process. Or you could just get this deal. A whole metre of the infinity link chain. So you've already got that infinity link that everybody wants just now. JSRF98 is your item code. Solid sterling silver going under £10 for a metre, which means it's utterly bonkers. Let's go. Let's kick this one into trot. Uh, we've only got 100 of these. And we think this will sell out fast at 9.95. And away you go, Jane, Margaret, Alan in Bedfordshire at this time. Olive, you've got yours. Tracy, Linda taking two. Uh, I've got multi buyers galore going on here. Valerie shops from Cambridgeshire. Have you been to Cambridgeshire, Mark? Yes. Actually. Have you been on the punt? I love Cambridgeshire. I love it. I love Cambridgeshire. It's one of my, isn't it romantic? Mm, it's Cambridgeshire. Lovely. I love the punts. I love them. So, Mark, um, for you. Is this going in a tassel? Is this going to, going to be uh, the main ingredient of a piece of jewellery? I think I'd cut them into inch long sections and then put a bead in between to have a station necklace, like a, like a spade. Like, yes. What do they call it? What do they call it? Well, it's like, a you know, the classic yeah. Chanel where yes. it was uh, yes. yeah, spaced out. Yes. Uh, yeah, beautiful. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, that's what I would do with that. Or again, chain tassels. I love that. I love a chain. Or use them as a chain in between cufflink beads. You have a piece of little piece. That would be amazing. Yes. Especially with the infinity. Like, there's just a couple of those links. It's quite masculine looking, wouldn't it, in cufflinks? It I could be. Yeah. Well, it's infinity, so it would be great if they were your wedding mm. uh, cufflinks because yeah. the yeah. infinity lasts yeah. forever, doesn't it, infinity? And beyond. Imagine if you get to Mars and you could refuel and then carry on going for another... And you discover a new plaque. There's definitely more mm, out there. No, we just absolutely. keep running out of petrol, yeah. don't we? Fuel, whatever it is. Yeah, but why can't we just have something that reads you? Why can't we get to Mars? <laughs> oh, my producer's is going mad. What are you talking about? I was talking about the infinity, and I said infinity and beyond. Yeah. He was wondering how on earth we got there. And I'm thinking... Now, uh, actually, if you get to Mars, then what we should have developed is, and I don't work for NASA, but if I did, I'd be annoying them, I can tell you that. Well, why can't we develop a solar that goes on dark? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> we'll talk about this later. 9.95, because it's completely irrelevant to this chain, even though this is an infinity chain. This is a beautiful chain. It's going to add value to your jewellery. It's just stunning. Alan, you've got two. Uh, Anna Marie is shopping from Hertfordshire. Maker in Surrey takes two. Mary and Jerry take two. Uh, Mary, wow. another Mary takes two. Uh, Gillian, Tracy, Linda has four in a basket. Olive shopping. Maker in Sussex. Karen in Fife takes two. Sandra D is shopping. Sandra D. There we go. She's hopelessly devoted to yeah. jewellery making. <laughs> Uh, J S R F ninety eight. Did you like that joke? Yeah. It's brilliant. Yeah. I like that's my favourite song in that whole thing. And mine. I can't show you the lemon amber. I'm afraid because we simply we got the wrong. It was a whole strand of lemon amber. Uh, 
Message about naps coming in. Jenny, I nap every day after work. I am a, a postie and I start very early. Um, someone has to deliver all the JM goodies. It's true. Is it Shan, Sean? Who's it? Shan, you're right. My um, brother-in-law is a postie and he used to do that nap thing and then he has kids now, so he can't. Uh. You have to get up well early, don't you? Uh, my dad asked my mum on going to bed, who wrote, hang on, Laura, Lorna Doon, to get her down, to get her own back, she woke him up at 3am and said, R.D. Blackmore. <laughs> Love it. That's it. Why does someone have to ask you a question you don't know right mm. before you sleep? That's hilarious, isn't it? And you're like, oh. Uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> now, we're going to give you more. Oh. oh, no, the cupboard's bare. Tell me what it is. They're on the tea bar, I believe. Uh, 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 They've just been uh, delivered. Oh, no, oh, no. there's oh, a plate later. on. Uh, uh, oh. Now, have we got a picture of what we want to do or no? no uh, unfortunately, we can't bring that to you. Uh, but we can bring you... We can bring you these. I think these are utterly beautiful. Here they are, the Kardashian family, uh, the Beryl family, the Kardashians of jewellery making. You liked that yesterday, I'll keep saying I it. I did, yeah. It'll annoy everyone after a while. I do like to repeat my own jokes. Uh, Multicoloured Beryl slices. What would you do with these, Mark? I love the colour. Look at all the Heliodor there. No, with Beryl, Beryl is the only gemstone that I don't colour separate. I leave them together yeah. because they belong together. They they're they're really part of the do. same family, so why, why should you separate them? And again, you, I would macrame with these or I would do a nice crochet bib, maybe. That would be really nice as oh, well. Because yeah. you could yeah. bring these up like a button face. You can, absolutely. And Turn they will look beautiful like yeah. that. Please yeah. don't think that they have to be like... That's look at look at these. If you bring them up, they're really quite large. Some of these. Look at this morganite. Look at the size of that. That could go in a ring. So please don't think that they are all just that shape to go in a, a sweetie style bracelet. I mean, that would be absolutely wonderful. But it doesn't limit you. You're not limited by that shape, and that's what I love about these because they're drilled through the centre. Look at this piece of emerald, for instance. Emerald, heliodor, aquamarine, goshenite. Uh, we have got morganite in there. All part of that wonderful beryl family keep them together maker in middlesex uh, you've got yours uh, jasvinda you've got yours sharon in gloucestershire you've got yours aren't they lovely they're just so beautiful very delicate very whimsical the color of summer bunting i think these are now we're going to give to you i've got it you don't this is beautiful swiss blue topaz this is mm, look at this look at this <laughs> In fact, I'm going, I'm going towards oh the, word. I know, going towards the white. Isn't this oh my word. divine and heavenly? No, you are not just about to dive into the waters. Oh, look at that, of a lagoon. This is just literally Santorini. Thailand Sea Blue. We are going to give you this strand at a very super, very cheeky price. Are you ready? It's a star buy. Let's give you the most beautiful strand. Uh, mark the facets. I, I think I'd use these separately. I think I think some of these could go into rings. They're so beautiful, aren't they? Uh, I, it took me back actually when you bought it, so bought it to our screens. It's incredible. It makes you double take, doesn't it? The blue. It's just perfect. Imagine Absolutely seeing perfect. somebody with eyes this blue. This will take mm. your breath away. Yeah, did mine. It's exquisite. Just literally heavenly blue isn't it if you think of the blues of heaven mm, yeah. and you see all of the sort of uh, the, those pre-raphaelite paintings of heaven um this is like that like a Completely, botticelli yeah, or something yeah. of heaven maybe as well 
it has that kind of wow. idealism to it. This this blue is absolutely stunning. Abs I, I love it with the silver, but if you want to enrich in it, you put it with gold. <sighs> Rose gold would give it that more of a feminine touch. I just think it's it's got versatility to it because of that. It will go with any of our precious metals, and you can imagine them. Look at the way that these have been cut. Look at the saturation of colour, deep and true in every single gem. This is a gemstone said to ease insomnia, which takes us back to nap chat. But it's not nap chat time now. Let's talk about how this is a gemstone that's said to have more curative powers than any other gemstone on the planet, if you believe in that kind of thing. But let's believe in style, because we can surely make some really stylish pieces of jewellery out of this strand. And, and they will always look luxe. They will always look extra bougie. These will always look as colourful as a show pard masterpiece, because this is a gemstone you would find at the likes of show pard, Tiffany & Co, Cartier. Beautiful. Paul Newman, less oh, we're getting, uh, mm. has eyes this colour. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful, Paul Hollywood. beautiful. Paul Hollywood. Currently Paul Hollywood does as well. My son has got eyes this colour, like literally, like, whoa. Wow. But his hair is super blonde. Swiss blue topaz. You could fall in love with that colour. You really could. And we're going to give you such a super price. There should be a one in front of this, Tom. There should be, but it's going on <laughs> split pay as well. So we are, we are both sides of cheeky today. At 59.95, we've managed to get this on split pay of 29.97. This could be the only opportunity you've ever had to own a gemstone with this kind of beauty. Jake tells us every time, topaz, blue topaz in particular, is a really difficult one for us to get. We only ever get small parcels of it because we have to reject so much of it because we only accept topaz, uh, the blue topaz with no grey veiling. A huge percentage of, uh, percentage of the world's blue topaz has grey veiling. So Jake was telling us that, you know, you'll, you'll look at Chopard, you'll look at uh, Cartier, and you'll look at Fabergé, and this is the kind of quality, if not, if not the same quality, that you will see that is offered to Chopard. And look at the colour that you're getting, and look at the price tag. Two split papers of 29.97. This will sell out today. Two for earrings. One for a ring. One for a ring. I'd love this in a ring. Alan in Bedfordshire. Two on the telephones. Uh, Jennifer in Essex. Nigel in Surrey. Maker in uh, Sussex. Tess in the Isle of uh, Man. Ros in Warwickshire. Loads of you there. We are now at single figures. This is limited stock. 29.97 takes it today. You don't have to take split pay, but there is no charge for split pay. You are not even charged interest. All that we ask is that you have a debit card or a credit card registered to a UK address. If that's you, then you qualify. ZUS F47, so affordable for you today, so within your reach today, and of course a profit maker for you if you do make to sell. You'll know that already. Sought after topaz. November's birth gemstone. A gemstone used. And blue topaz by the greats. By the greats of this industry they use blue topaz you walk into selfridges on in london and you see show part. you see if you've ever been to selfridges in london i have to go there it's my son's favorite shop when it's his birthday we spend three blooming hours in there but i am always allowed to go and have a look at the jewelry concessions and they're not even you know this is i'm not talking about bond street show part i'm talking about the concession show part inside of the uh, of um We've only got one left of selfridges. You go there and you sort of you see the first thing you see in a glass case is that beautiful leopard with all of the colours and yeah, it is yeah. incredible. It is beautiful. Have you ever been to yeah. London um, to selfridges? No. Yeah. I'll meet you there. We'll do lunch, so I'll take you everywhere. We still haven't done the gherkin yet. Oh, well, I can go there anytime because yeah, not at the you moment. Promised because me lunch in the gherkin. So, so, my friend who's the director is coming to my house oh, for Christmas Day right. lunch uh, because we're they're, they're in my bubble because that's my best friend. Mm. Um, and uh, so, he's married to my best friend, so I can take you there anytime. We'll get the star right. treatment, Babs. Yeah. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I was looking at the Tiffany Advent calendar this morning before oh, I came oh. to work. <sighs> How much is it? 100,000. Hundred thousand pounds with Tiffany. How? Yeah, I mean, only yeah. Paris Hilton has that, right? Yeah, it's amazing. I'd love it. Can't we do? 
I wonder if you can have it on split pay. <laughs> Credit card. I'd love it if Gemporia did a... Can you imagine if Gemporia did amazing, one? It would be amazing, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. you wait till we see... Uh, the, uh, no, num- I know num- we do one, yeah. it's wonderful, but I'd like Gemporia to do one with that. Ooh, yeah. I've got New a Year's ring in this. Um, Christmas Eve, this is, uh, the 24th, the last door, is a four-carat, brilliant-cut diamond in white gold. And a ring? That's, that's number 24. And there's earrings, pendants, rings, studs, all sorts, all diamonds. I Beautiful. thought my lint chocolate was bougie. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You know when you get, you're not paying a pound yeah, for the yeah. for the one that's at, at Aldi. Yeah. You go, oh, I'll get, oh, the kids can have a lint this year. Bougie, I know. Yeah, yeah. I once spent twenty four pounds on a Lego calendar, and I thought that was bougie. <laughs> <laughs> this is another level. Oh my gosh! Hang on, I've got a great idea. Why aren't we making our own advent calendars out of all these gorgeous things? You could do that. Let's make... Yeah. I've got a strand here of pearls. Mm. You could make an advent calendar with pearl jewellery in it, couldn't you? It'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. White, fresh water, potato pearls. If you've got ideas of anything you want us to do, we're all ears, and I'm particularly annoying. Uh, so if I like your idea, uh, that is true, they're all saying. I text the buying team at 10 o'clock at night on a Friday. That's how annoying I am, just so you know. <laughs> If there was a slime tank in this building, I would get a daily dunking, <laughs> let me tell you. We're about to shock you with a price. Not only are we shocking, this is a daily dunking of a fabulous price right now. Are you ready? It's going to shock you. Twelve ninety-five. Are they real pearls? Yes. How can they be? Because we give you the most amazing value. No treatment on these. These are white freshwater pearls. Now, let's talk about the term potato pearls as well. Um, so as I understand it, potato pearls are named so because they are random shapes and sizes as though you were buying a bag of potatoes. I don't know who decided that was a great analogy. No, I, don't I don't know who either. decided that. No. But these are, are not, they don't, they, they are all very similar shapes and sizes. They're quite uniform to me. They're just beautiful. Now what you will notice is that these are drilled through the centre, not the top. Now that's, a, that's different. Because ordinarily, these would be drilled the other way up. Now, this means that these will sit beautifully in a necklace and a ring. Put three together and put them in a ring. Whereas if they were the other way up, they wouldn't sit so well in a ring. I think these would sit beautifully in your macrame pieces. If you did wire macrame, it would look beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. They'd sit exactly how you'd want them to sit. Let me just explain that to you. So ordinarily, if you've got something that's this shape in a pearl, we're going to drill hole it from the top through there. These are through the center, which makes this ideal for a ring. Wow. Ideal for macrame, ideal. And the 12.95, this is absolutely, I mean, you find glass. Can I just say something? If you go to Sainsbury's, well, I'm going to say it anyway, Sainsbury's, Tesco's, and, and you go to the big ones where they do jewelry, you're paying 12.95 for something that is fake pearls, right? And you're like, oh yeah, I like that. In it goes, wear it once. Don't wear it again because it probably isn't going to last. That's just my opinion. Um, or, or you could buy real pearls that are going to last forever that you could pull or not. It, it's just not going it to. It's, it's a false economy. It's a false economy if you go into those supermarkets and buy jewellery that is going to break, that you're not going to. This is going to last forever. Forever and ever and ever. Amen. Two on the telephone is Maker and Surrey. Shannon Norfolk takes three. Uh, I've got a queue forming for these. Uh, now, Mark Smith's DVD, I think, is sold out. Has it? Did it sell out? Grr, grr. Final call. Oh, come on! <laughs> there are four left. And how, how many are we over-allocated by? This is redonkulous. We sold out of so much. Okay, well, sorry, I need to know. Because it, it could be that a lot of jewelry makers have just had their finished doing their dinner and all that. Waiting for their Yorkshire puddings to rise. This is, this is my mum's, remember, this one. This oh, yeah, is don't forget, mom. this no. is it for your mum. Will I sign it? Hi, mum. Love, Jen. Can you sign it? Yeah, huh? oh, yes, you'll love that. I've got a pen here. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. What's your mum's name? Joan. Oh, yeah, of course it is. Yeah. Hi, darling Joan. I'm going to put... <laughs> I'm doing it now. Oh, she'll be made up. I'm going to put nice work on your son, by the way. Because <laughs> I think, because we don't get enough credit for that. Sometimes I think 
you know. Well done, Joan. He mm. turned out nice, didn't he? Now, we're going to give you... Oh, marquees. Oh, yes. Look at these. They're not marquees. <laughs> they are marquees. So you've got here... Top drilled marquees gemstones. I think you know you get three wow. of these, Mark. Is it a pendant and earrings? What are you doing, sir? Oh my look. For all We've of just them. heard the price, yes. I think he's gone quite mad actually. Sorry about my nails. It's locked down and there's no one available to do them. Look at that. And actually my daughter stole my gel kit because I did have a really good oh, twelve ninety five is absolute madness for Baltic Cognac oh Amber. This is this really is mad. It's complete madness. Again, just just one on a necklace on a memory wire. That's three pound thirty two yeah. each. Three pound thirty two each. No, sorry, four pound thirty one. That's mad. Mm, that is That's ridiculous. mad. Under five pounds each. Oh, God. Of course, there's multi buyers. Everyone's gone bananas for this. Real amber, millions of years old. And I love how we get this. It's washed up by the I ocean, know, by the I sea. Know. How There's a fish for it. Yeah. How, yeah, how long that process must be take for mm. ages. I never find anything getting washed up by the sea, apart from pebbles. They really hurt. PBG Y09. I did watch Rebecca Redican picked one off the sand in Poland. She got lucky there, didn't she? I think they were there all day waiting for that, you know. Now, I'll tell you what. Let's squeeze Gosh. a cheeky little star by in, shall we? Let's see. You have got toggle class at this is the T, isn't it, Mark? It is. Absolutely. Oh, I've locked my tweezers. And this is the ogle. Now, Mark, I'm gonna get all three of the precious metal um colours. So am I keeping them together if I'm you, or am I going oh. to mix them up because I just saw your ring you've got very oh, yes. Cartier of you mm. to have all of the precious metals so what would you do sir I never thought of that I probably wouldn't mix the rose gold I like to keep that separate but the, swapping the silver and the gold I think that's a really nice yeah, idea yeah I think it would yeah. be quite yeah quite high end wouldn't it so toggle class let's talk because they are a really important element to your jewellery and I think they give the impression of expense mm. value you can and, and also they, you can make a feature out of these absolutely can't you? absolutely what i'm just thinking is take the tea bars away and use those for for cufflinks yeah but i would do a smaller version a micro version of the demo that katie parker did earlier with the earrings remember how around the beads it. on the outside you could do that and with delicas couldn't you yeah you could you could do it with delicas and around the outside of the ogle and have those as amazing earrings that's Exactly. So, oh, Mark, so that's a design that, coming from you, sir. But a smaller, daintier version around the ogles. I think that'd be beautiful. Well, wouldn't I it? love that idea. Yeah. How wonderful. That'd be lovely. And again, we're talking about jewellers' mm. elements. I think these are really, really uh, perfect if you work with pearls. I think these are perfect if you want to. Do you remember, Mark, in the 90s, it was very, very, very fashionable to have a chainmail necklace but with this with yeah. the T as actually yes. um, a pendant yes absolutely um, or a very thick silver link if mm. not chainmail mm. now I really like that look and I think it's kind of the pocket watch design I think it was it. it was a yes, spin off of, right. because you yeah. look at this and you think pocket watch as well you think long chain and you could replicate something like that but essentially you've got again ingredients that jewellers make things that you would absolutely find in a jeweller's workshop and it is that it is about you know the eye is in the detail with your jewellery if you're using professional looking findings it's giving the impression you, you know it's giving the right impression you're guessing professional finishes professional results 
we're going to give you a really super deal. You get five toggles in total. Wow. They're all in sterling silver, 18 karat gold uh, overlay on the yellow gold, rose gold there in the overlay as well. 14.95 makes that per toggle. £2.99. That wasn't my math, so you can rely on it, actually. You did, no, 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 no. When I math, I math. I, I let everybody know. Maths. Uh, please be as quick as you can. KUG P67, £14.95. And oh. away we go. 806 444 We have been buzzing, busy, all day long. Jewelrymaker.com is how you do it online tap the app if you would like to do it uh, as quickly as possible lots of you there elaine rachel gary maker in surrey aaron in, alan in bedfordshire <laughs> this time christine maker in northampton never gets old alan uh, lots of you there and, and mark you do make sure you have a lot of these in your stash, i've got masses you? of toggles absolutely massive it's my favorite class but I just love i love that i've always loved them because they're appropriate but even yeah, if it's yeah. delicate that's absolutely because yeah, you can use them for because i tend to find that lobster claws i tend to use for bracelets they're not they're not yeah. substantial and elegant enough for a necklace but the toggles they work with everything i love agree them. yeah i really like them oh, i agree i really like a toggle class yes, and i think you yeah. sort of look for that and they have all got hallmark well not hallmarks but 925 marks on yeah. them as well kug p67 14 pounds and 95 pence uh, you get five pe- Well, actually, you get ten pieces, mm, but you right. get five pairs. So that's wrong. It is a ten-piece toggle clasp uh, set, but you get five pairs. Uh, well done, Barbara. Diane is shopping from Cornwall. We do love a bit of Cornwall, don't we? Uh, Stirlingshire. Christine, you're in Stirlingshire. Loads of you there. It's great to have your company. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, my darling angels, I'm going to scoop these up. A little massage. Come just in. This type of clasp is mm. great for lariats. Yep. Uh, the round on the lariat and the and then save the bar for cufflinks. Yep. Uh, thank you so much, Sarah. That's a lovely Sarah's idea. Sarah's in Cheshire. Yeah. And it was a heart, not a question mark. Mm. It's come through on my iPad, but it didn't oh. come through <laughs> on there. It's an emoji. Thank you, Sarah, my darling girl. Now, oh, look at these. Green tourmaline. This is beautiful. Look at this, Mark. Look at this. This would be the love child of Ooh. chrome diopside and moldavite. Yes, it would. But you might have mm. a bit of uh, you might have a bit of emerald in the breeding there as well. Right. Look at them together. Oh, la, la. For me, that's 10 green bottles, bottle green, isn't it? Absolutely. It's British racing wow. green, isn't it? This is stunning. Wait there. Wait, watch wow. this, watch this. There's your Christmas jewellery, in a nutshell, darling. That is incredible. Oh, yes, oh, oh yes, perfect. Get those with bows of holly. <laughs> oh, tra la 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 These are beautiful wow. together. What I love those two together. I want that as a bundle. Look at the depth of colour. This is just beautiful. Fifty nine ninety five today uh, for the most incredibly stunning green with such a wonderful clarity, such a unique green. This is my green's my favourite colour. You know that, yes, Mark, don't you? Yeah. It's my favourite colour. The green, the luscious green of that's the countryside, that's and phenomenal. I love it. How often do we do we have just exclusively green tourmaline? I know, it's mad, isn't it? That's incredible. It is. I love that. That's my favourite strand of the day, I think. That's just exquisite. It's, it's wow. got to be in your collection, hasn't it? It's got to be. And with a ruby light red, you've got those yeah. rhubarb tones together. And they, they just, I love it. I love it so much. Like a pinky red with this would be beautiful. Look at, look at the colour. Look at the cut of these. And the very finely drill hold at the top. And, and, and maybe it's a waterfall cascade... Maybe it's charms. I, I kind of want to put it in a necklace. Mm. I want to keep those greens together. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Now, my darlings. Oh, my elbow clicked then. Did you hear it? Do you mean you've lost it? Boop, 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 bum, bum, bum. Oh, now these are brilliant for pendulums. If you're into pendulums. Have you ever done the yes-no game with things like gemstones? Have you done that? I've done it at the Wainwright Stones. With the what stone? At the Wainwright stones. Do I mean the Wainwright, Wainwright stones? stones? No, does that mean Wainwright? No, I Wainwright don't mean Wainwright. Stones. No, near Chipping Camden, there's a ring of, there's a circle of stone. Oh, what's it called? 
I don't know, but I need to go there. I'll t- I'll... I'm supposed to be at Stornoway with Mia. Oh. Somebody, don't worry. Our customers are brilliant. They'll tell you what it is. Yeah. Not like Stonehenge. Look at this. I love these because they're pendulums. For me, this would be a pendulum piece. I think the smaller one I'd put into a ring look. I love this shape, but Alice and Terry would be putting these into wire, making swords out of them, because that's Lady Terry for you. Look at the size of that middle one. They're, aren't they gorgeous? Aren't they really different, Mark? Look yeah, at those. Look at that, that looks Glendidierite tone. Yeah. I love these. I love them. 14 95 I've got one, two, three, four, five, six on my strand. Very unique. Big drill hole on them, and you get those glass bead spacers. Last few available. Oh, okay, 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 we're now. We are running out of time. We haven't even noticed, have we? Big slab, totally. Oops, sorry, sorry, darlings. Big dendrite opal, and I always say this, snow flurry, and then when a little robin dances across <laughs> it, that's what this reminds me of, the little foot. Yes, robin Ooh. prints in the snow. We be, we put some, um, like woolen stuff out so that the robins can take it for their nests they get very cold and they might look they might look plump but they probably need more food look at these look don't you think they're lovely don't they tell a story so somebody's asked if uh, okay i'm just gonna Fourteen ninety five for that. Then look at these. So I would treat these with wire. I think. I think that it would yeah. be a big wire piece or a big necklace. I'm just going to hold them up to my probably fluffy neckline. But I think if it's the winter time, and even if you look from afar, I think that's a great one to have. Let me get my mane out of the way um, over the top of a jumper because they're nice and Absolutely. chunky, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and it strands like this that you do. Uh, they this will take you into the summertime because with a with mm. a maxi dress, they would look great too. So somebody has sent in a question asking, will rose gold tarnish over time? Well, any plating will tarnish over time. But the objective is for it not to t- tarnish quickly. You should get years out of your jewellery. You take care of it. Take it off when you're applying makeup and when you're in the bath and things. You should get years out of it. Now, some plating that is bought from some places, you'll only get one layer, two layers on there. We give you, and Vicky Carr touched on this um, a couple of weeks ago, so if you go back to Vicky Carr's show, she'll tell you. We have to give you layer, and I say we have to because Vicky Carr selects our chains. There's no way she will um, scrimp when it comes to quality. You just send them back. We give you layer upon layer upon layer upon layer of plating. Now, this will give you longevity. Now, we're going to show you what's coming up. (laughs) Nearly. Yes, look, it's hanging over a cliff edge. That's why. Let me bring it in. Uh, we're going to give you this evening with Rebecca Redican your amethyst rounds. They are gorgeous. It's coming up at five thirty. Who's your guest this afternoon, this evening? Oh, the gorgeous Katie is back. Rebecca Redican is also going to brighten up your life. Thank you so much to the amazing Mark Smith. I do believe your uh, your DVD has now gone and sold out. Thank you so much. Thank You've been amazing. You. Thank when are you, you back? I'm back Friday, Black Friday morning show. Woo! Yes. We'll see you <laughs> Friday. We'll see you in a minute. to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker.
Jake Thompson travels the globe to find the very best gemstone deals in the industry. As Gemporia's gemstone buyer and investor, Jake is confident in supplying the finest gemstones firsthand, directly from the source. So your jewellery is of the highest standard at remarkable prices. With the inside knowledge Jake has collected and the relationships he has forged, we are able to bring you the most up-to-date news on mines, gems and the trade itself. Jake Thompson lifts the veil on the gemstone and jewellery industry, giving you a unique insight into the gem markets and the ability to buy from Gemporia with confidence. If you have a question or query for Jewellery Maker, then contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Email help at jewellerymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page. Here at Jewelry Maker, we've got some really exciting news. After 10 and a half years, we can finally launch Split Pay. The whole point of this is to make it as affordable as possible to buy things from Jewelry Maker. So you have the opportunity to pay either two or three fixed interest free payments depending on the item's value. It's that simple. Thank you, Carols. We are so excited about this opportunity and we know that you will be as well. So enjoy this new way of shopping on Jewelry Maker. So from the three of us and everyone else here at Jewelry Maker, see it, love it, split it. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. Hi, hi, hi. Oh my gosh, so lush to be with you this Sunday. Um, if you tuned in yesterday, you will know that I uh, was doing a double shift, so I was working off three and a half hours sleep. I've had a full eight hours, and I'm so glad because I need my energy today. We have got oodles coming up for you. If you follow me on Rebecca Reddicon Presenter on my Instagram or Facebook, you will know earlier on I put up a story with just five products that are coming up in my Mineral Man Hour. I'm bringing it to you at six o'clock today. If you don't know what Mineral Man is, for example, these are some pieces. These are some of the smallest pieces that I could actually fit on my desk. Some of these pieces are huge. These are the types of things that we're doing. I've got meteors coming up in that hour. I've got massive carvings coming up in that hour. They're all genuine gemstones, all minerals, all beautiful for their own reason. I've even got the likes of phone stickers as well to stick onto the back of your phone. Um, but yeah, I've got loads of things coming up for you in that hour. The only thing is I really do need you to set your alarm for it because I know life gets in the way. You might sort of go dottering off doing other things. Will you set your alarm, say, for... 5.55 let's say if you do have to nip off because at 6 o'clock I'm going to go live with them some of these brand new first time ever on split pay but because it's viewer's choice first off I need you to message in with what you want to see because we won't get through all of it and second off um, it will all disappear at 7 so if you tune in at 2 minutes past 7 or even 2 minutes to 7 and go oh quite like the look of that head oh I might have a look at that do a bit of research by the time you come back it will be gone so that's coming up for you I've got the wonderful Katie joining me as well today we'll be saying hello to her in just a few mo's but before that let me show you some of my start buys today I've got a pink opal necklace coming up for you oh wow some of the largest pieces we have seen. We're going to do this about 10 mins. I've got my pick of the day. Oh, I just love the qualities of colours there. These are absolutely wonderful. And if you're um, fancying some amber, but not as you know it, 
maybe, then you're in the right place today. I'm keeping that under my hat because I'm feeling a bit festive and I'm a sneaky little elf today. As well as that, I'm ready to light up your screens. The night owl coming up at 7.45. This is an absolutely captivating opportunity to get the most ancient and remarkable gemstone, in my opinion, on our planet. It's coming up for you 7.45. So all of that are just a few of the big hits I've got, but I've also got kits. Check out what I'm wearing. I've already got on one of Katie's pieces of jewellery, Lava Kite, in this kit. That's why we get to see that often, is it Lava Kite? But today, we're getting it in a kit. The creator of this piece, and much more, which we'll show you soon, is the lovely Katie. Hi, Katie! Hi, Katie. Hi, team. How on earth are you doing? I'm great, thank you. I'm doing all right. How's good? second lockdown going for you? Sorry? How's second lockdown going? Um, it's probably a bit harder than the first. I think it's a bit weirder. Yeah. But yeah, it's going okay. We're homeschooling again. Yes, yeah, absolutely. It's definitely a bit more difficult with, um, especially as you can't even go and sit in the garden. It's freezing. Yeah, it's cold. <laughs> yeah. Um, Katie, we've got some real treats and treasures coming up today, including your kits. What are you looking forward to with your kits? Oh, gosh, so much. I mean, the gemstones. I've been treated so well with these gemstones this weekend lava kite is one of my absolute favorites and teamed with my top favorite labradorite yeah it's absolutely fantastic and the size of those lava kite and the amount of effect that's inside them are amazing absolutely beautiful they are coming up for you very soon in this hour not long at all, though it'll be happening soon after the pink opal necklace. Before it, I'm going to get started with a chain. And we have had some chains on this weekend. Indeed, we've not quite had one as dainty as this. So if you wanted a dainty and delicate chain, you're in the right place. 925 solid sterling silver. Oh, it's just going to be so comfortable. You can see how wonderfully that moves, can't you? You can see how beautifully intriguing that light interaction is. Is four pounds seventy five for base metal. Yeah, all right, maybe that'd be a good price, but not for sterling silver until today. That's why you're tuning into Jewelry Maker TV. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name's Bex. It's lush to be with you. I hope you have had an absolutely stellar weekend, and I hope to end it with a high for you. I've got so many. Oh my days! I've not seen this one before. I've got so many treats coming up for you and so many surprises. And this is a surprise even to me. I want that as a ring. Sunburst connector. I think I'd have it as a ring though. Maybe like that. Oh my gosh, if I got two, I could do one like that and then one sort of the other way around. That could be really interesting. So one like that and then one like that. Yeah. Oh, seamless that, wasn't it? Seamless. <laughs> we have got for you today the opportunity to get real Baltic amber. Now, I've got Dominican Republic amber coming up for you later. I'll t tell you more about that if you don't know much on it. Um, but this is Baltic amber. This is minimum 44 million years old, but dating way up into the hundreds of millions of years. It's solid sterling silver around the outside, and I love the optimism of this sort of sunburst that you've got. The amber itself is a lovely doming. And can you see as I rock that back and forth, the light interaction? How would you describe that? Would you say it's like a, a brilliance almost? Or are you thinking of it more like a glow? Either way, it's definitely got the connotations to the sunbeams, doesn't it? I'm bringing to you today solid sterling silver. You've got a loop at each side, which means you can attach it to a bracelet, a necklace, or even a ring, as I've said. £9.95 for the optimism of this beauty. It is bursting with sunlight. It is bursting with light as well, reacting from that solid sterling silver. If you did get that chain earlier on, what you could do, that I've just done, where my tweezers are now, pop a jump ring, then pop that onto the chain. And then from here, maybe if you've got any other amber at home, you could put another amber, couldn't you? 
because this to me when i put it this way is actually reminiscent of sun and moon so it obviously looks like the sun but also it's almost like a crescent moon at the same time so possibly you could play off that with crystal healing thoughts for example 9.95 on that one today 9.95 well done let me bring you some more goodies these ones are your black spinel. Katie, have a little look at these black spinel. Tell me, would they be good in one of your kits, do you think? And if so, how? Oh, with the, um, the lava kite kit, they would match in beautifully. I'd probably swap out maybe the aquamarine in, in that necklace design that you're working and it'd give it that even more dramatic look, that kind of stormy skies and it's going to have that sparkle in it as well. Oh, I love that idea. Yes. We are bringing to you 30 carats worth here of your black spinel. It has got a real, real silky luster to it. And that is because spinel can take a really nice high shine polish, which means you get that lovely juxtaposition between the body color and the light interaction. It's 30 full carats. It's 8 and 95. Is it a genuine gemstone? Yep. So, Katie's saying, on the necklace I'm wearing, maybe swap out the aquamarines that are kind of here and here, you see in between, and pop in. I think that's going to turn it really, really nighttime, you know? Yeah, it's going to take it more of that evening look, isn't it? Definitely, yeah. That evening glitz and glamour. Well done to all of you. That is 30 carats worth. Okay, it's time for me to bring you something a little bit different the first time i heard about this gemstone um it was actually being auctioned off this stone was auctioned off at an auction house and it was a record-breaking auction and it kind of piqued my interest and i went to look a little bit more about this stone and no one really at the time was selling it it was nigh on impossible to find and then a well-known brand, Pandora, started working with it. And then you couldn't move from big, well-known brands and shops, even the likes of Macy's, selling their own line using this stone. It maybe used to be something safe for the elites and therefore was only auctioned off. But with that resurgence of big, well-known brands using it, this really is at the forefront of the high street now. But not the type of high street, maybe, that you can just pop into and grab on a whim. Prices are still elevated. But not when you've got a best ever deal. When we talk about pink opal, we're talking about words that we understand, but maybe words that don't naturally kind of equate in our mind. Pink, a beautiful, tranquil color, it's often referred to as a feminine hue, something which is very much a flora color, something we are used to seeing outside. And then opal. Opal itself is a well-known birthstone of October. It's also a stone that from different locations around the planet has different personalities. So the two words individually we know tie them together. It's still not maybe a world-renowned recognised name. But as I've said before, with big brands using this, it all of a sudden is becoming that. What I'm about to bring to you is a necklace. And this is stranded no clasp needed, so if you have got anyone who maybe uh, has metal allergies, this is going to be absolutely fine for them. It's pop it on over the head. It's mind your microphone, do apologise. <laughs> and you are ready and raring to go. There's enough length on this if you wanted to, that you can knot it off in a sort of 1920s style way. But what you've got here really, when we're looking at this, is easy style for winter. When it's winter and you've got on your bigger, chunkier clothes, you're heading outside and you've got layers and layers of knitwear, 
you do not want to maybe be wearing tiny, tiny, tiny little delicate pendants. You want something you can throw on that's nice, big and chunky and gets you noticed. So if we've got here a beautiful pink opal, what do we need to know about it? Well, have a little look at my first slide. And just to give everyone sort of an overview or a recap, you can see in here a little bit about it. I thought I'd show you a picture of the mining of this because I think it's a really interesting mining position. Different opals are mined in different ways. In some of them, um, we do open pit mining. With some opals, we'll actually burrow into the ground and kind of abseil down. This one's slightly different. So as always with my slides, read them at your own speed. I'm just going to give you the key pointers of this. So it talks to you about this gemstone and says that it is a valued stone for its unique pink hue, pleasant luster and high durability rather than play of color. So what does that mean? Right, we're talking wallow opal here. We're talking Ethiopian opal, jelly opal, you know? Jelly opal, Ethiopian opal has the play of colour in it. And part of that reason is because it has a higher level of water, essentially, within it. So because of that, it's not as durable as this. So again, for winter, if you're going to be throwing on your big knitwear, you've got your coat over the top, your scarf over the top, you want to make sure you're wearing something that isn't going to brush against maybe a button and scratch. This is less likely to do it because it is more durable than your everyday opal. Also in this, it talks to you about pink opal and it talks to you about how it is the stone of love with deep connections to the heart chakra. And it also talks in here about how it is often referred to as the stone of resolution. Could that be good for New Year? Possibly. It also mentions the colour and it says it is a compassionate and nurturing stone. Opal's gentle vibrations and soothing pink colours will encourage pink, peace and tranquility. We'll have a look at that. What do you think? This is lovely. This is beautiful. And it feels quite tranquil, I think. So, let's ask this. Pink opal. In this shape, is it popular? Let's have a look at the next slide. Because there are lots of people working with nuggets right now. Here, beautiful nugget design. And I really liked this design because I thought it's like a rosary link style and there's just used one every sort of centimetre and a half or so. And I really liked this design because it's a choker design that's only used a couple. And you can know how to recreate that, don't you? You know how to recreate that design. So if I count them up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight at the uh, front of them, let's say there's another eight at the back, shall we? So from here, if I wanted to recreate that, because this is a necklace, but you can't cut it apart. You're a jewellery maker. It'd be what? About that section there? How many times do you think you could make that necklace over and over and over and over and over? Remember, it goes all the way to the back. Fair few times, right? Have a look at this next design. I really liked this one because I think it's a really nice way to show that you can pair it with other gemstones. Have a little look at this one. Now, this one here is a beautiful Peruvian nugget um, bracelet little design, uh, like a choker design, sorry. And it is with black spinel. So in, in between every single one of these, it is black spinel that you've got there. The price there is uh, £382. It's not like for like, obviously, but I just wanted to show you that because I thought it was quite interesting for the black spinel in between it. I thought you could take that off and actually recreate that. And lastly, but by no means leastly, who notices and recognises this website? Bing! It's our sister channel, Gems TV. And I wanted to show you this because I really like what they've done with theirs. What they've done, they've got um, 231 carrots, or 300 and something carrots? 231 carrots there. And uh, what I really like, and I thought you could do at home if you wanted to, was take this off the strand and you see how they've paired theirs in with those lovely golden opals. Maybe if you've got any like fire opals at home, you could recreate that and do a multi-layered look. 
I just thought I'd show you them as inspiration because I think it was really nice seeing the first one about how just using one or two or three, you know, make a simple design with rosary link, how you can use loads together with black spinel or how you can spread them out with other stones. Best ever deal, I promised you. And that is exactly what you've got. $29.95, $29.95 is an incredible deal, best deal, best deal, but $9.95 it comes in today. I think this is a necklace ready and wearing to go. It's perfect for winter, it's perfectly durable, it's perfect for you now. I also think for you right here today, take some of those examples because yes, this is a necklace. It says in the graphics it is a necklace, but you are a jewelry maker. You know that you can cut this middle strand and it is a strand that's running through it. It's not like wire, it's a strand running through it. What you can do is you can cut that off and you could use it with wire and do that choker design we saw in the first one and use just a small section. Or you could use it maybe with your black spinel. I've just had some on, haven't I? And you could use it with your black spinel to space it out and go a little bit further. Also, you could do a multi-layered design like you saw from Gems. You know, Gems TV, they, are, they have such a great good design team that they're only going to create things that they know they're going to sell. You saw in that necklace, you know, three layers, different colors. You could recreate something like that. For you today, 750 carats, nine pounds and 95 pence. What a treat for you. Well done, everyone. Okay, I've got more goodies and I'm going to bring one now that actually... <gasps> could go really well with this. Pastels. Those lovely baby powdery colours. Katie, when I say aquamarine and you look at this strand, what springs to mind, please? Oh, the intensity of that colour. That looks amazing, doesn't it? Yeah. Doesn't it? We don't normally see that much colour in our aquamarine. It's beautiful. We forgive aquamarine sometimes for being a bit watery, don't we? Like a little bit dilute, should I say. This is strong. It is bold. So with the boldness in account, I'm going to show it to you briefly with a little star by I've got coming up later. There we go. Because I just want to show you it with other deeper and darker shades of blue. It can actually stand up to those. I would never normally put one of those slightly watery... Um, aquamarines that we normally get or well not normally often get I would never normally put them with stones like this but today I will because I think that's strong enough to kind of play up to it if you will these ones coming up for you in the box at about uh, 17 15 we're going to give you a deal and a final price on this huge strand with big color that big color means it's gonna get noticed it's 17 pounds and 95 pence with this being noticed you could just use one couldn't you katie yeah absolutely i would just be using one in a ring and getting double that amount back straight away absolutely they are amazing i could imagine the amount of cocktail rings you could make from those Absolutely beautiful. I'd definitely go with sterling silver wire. 12, 13, 14, 15 cocktail rings about. Even if you only sold them for a fiver each, we're in the money, right? Right? Yeah? Ooh, like like Scrooge McDuck <laughs> diving into all the coins. Anyway, well done to everybody who treated yourself to that. I want to give you a little heads up about a few more things that I've got coming up for you. If you've just tuned in, hello, hola, bonjour. My name is Becky and I have got for you today so many treats. Six till seven, I have to keep mentioning this because if you tune in even at like two minutes to seven, you'll basically have missed out. I have got a one hour and one hour only before it disappears mineral man extravaganza i've got so many treats and goodies in that time some of it for the first time ever on split pay if you don't know some mineral man things these are just the small things that i could actually fit on my desk and um, because the other things i couldn't this does include the likes of your gemstone phone stickers as well uh, these are just some i've got some other big ones coming up that is between six and seven but as i say come seven it all disappears so make sure you're tuning in then as well as that i've got me pick of the day amethyst february's birthstone and the gemstone of love and valentine's day these are coming in together one bundle one price about half past five, about half past five. 
the group, both the kits. And speaking of the kits, let me bring them to you. Now it's time to get inspired. We have got fabulous affordable kits and a great demo in our kit time. The last time I saw Lava Kit, it, like Lava Kite in a kit, it we were doing a £30 kit. Today, my kit is under £30, and I don't mean by a fiver. These kits are so different in the sense that you've got stash topper upper here, in my opinion. Do you remember old school kits? That's the term I use semi-regularly. Uh, it's like an old school kit. And I mean by that, it's just genuine gemstones. No seed beads of glass. Um, and it's just your essentials. It's just the stash topper uppers. That's exactly what I've got here. Threading pack, check. Monofilament, elastic, beading thread. Essentials, check. A bundle of clasps. These are rose gold plated, 10 of them. Genuine gemstones with serious different personalities. Check, check and check. I've got 290 carats worth of big 10 mil lava kite rounds. I've also got aquamarine 30 carats. Those ones are so sparkly. And I've got that labradorite. Those ones are 6 mil diamond cut. Katie, when you opened this collection, what sprung out to you first and why? Oh god, it all jumped out at me. I like I've said before, I adore lava kite, and I think it's it's well over a year since I had lava kite in a kit. The next strand that jumped out to me was definitely the aquamarine, and then when I cut the strand, you, the drill hole is so generous. It was oh. fantastic. It threads straight onto the 0.8 elastic, which is amazing, and the labradorite. It's it's got that beautiful labrador essence. I love that facet as well. It's amazing. It's got such an interesting personality. I'm just looking at the quality of this lava kite and it really is superb. What made you go for these designs when you were making, Katie? I wanted to really kind of join everything together as, as much as I can. And I really do think, I, well, let me just take it back a second. I personally wouldn't have thought aquamarine and lava kite. I just, you would have never thought them to put them together, but... After seeing them together on my board, I thought they worked really, really well. So just adding those little drops, and they were like little drops of, of like a liquid adding, added to it because of the clarity in the actual aquamarine. They're absolutely gorgeous. This is the thing. They work in so nicely together. It's the necklace I'm wearing too. I've just been made aware that we've had a brand new buyer in on that last product, which was our necklace. If you're a brand new buyer, hey, how are you? Thanks for joining. My name's Becky. If you've never bought from us before and you've just treated yourself to that necklace, um, you will be getting two free strands and a free DVD teaching you how to make jewellery with your first order. So may I give you a little bit of advice if you fancy it? I'd say head on over to jewellerymaker.com um, or call the call centre, ask for a toolkit, like a basic toolkit or basic tools, grab them and also purchase one of these kits because Katie's about to do a demo that you're going to be able to follow. So just thought I'd let you know that. <laughs> We're going to give you also a get ready to start out deal, okay? How much would you pay for this necklace? It's genuine gemstones. It's not plastic. It's not glass. It's all the real deal. How much would you pay for this gemstone, in a, this gemstone necklace in a shop? What about, so put that in your mind, how much you would pay for that? Be realistic. Be honest. Now, what about the uh, bracelet? What, how much would you pay for the bracelet? Start doing little totals in your mind. What about the earrings next to it? How much would you pay for them? And then what about this necklace as well? Because all of this kit that's now only $14.95 will make all of that jewellery. Katie hasn't been given loads and loads and loads and loads of added extra ones. She has made only using what is in this kit in the sense of, um, you know, obviously she's needed, uh, if she's needed to use tools and, and crimps and things like that. But it's not like she's added more gemstones in or added more threading material this is what it's being created with what do you think of that price katie i 
I'm, I'm in shock. I'm speechless. I expected the aquamarine to be more than that on its own, to be quite honest. Yeah, I, and I completely agree with you there. It is a total beauty. I have got an alternate colourway if you would like to choose a different colourway. I'll show you that one so you can pick which one you want. They would, of course, go really nicely together too. But I think this one's got a really different feel. You've got more of the pinks, the blushes, the reds within this one. We're going with the gold findings. We've got for you the um, diamond cut again, six mil rose quartz. We've then got that beautiful, really incredibly crisp and clean Mozambique faceted garnet. I love how fresh that is. And that really plays in lovely with those moments of real, ruby trapped within this real zoocyte these big pieces are again 10 mil you've then got all of your threaded materials which you will need if you want to thread these on and add clasps and things katie how did this one grab you when you first saw it because it's such a different feel yeah this one had a very different feel for it and i really i, I adore that ruby zoocyte in any case and with the garnet it ha almost had that kind of christmasy feel to it so the kind of necklace that I just did that was interspaced with, with those, yes, that one there, I really enjoyed making that. And then all that garnet around the neckline, I mean, that must be, it must be a fortune if you were going to go buy that in the shop with all that garnet in there and, and the ruby zoocyte, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely loads in there, there really is. You've also created the um, lovely, like, snacker bracelet, the uh, design where you've got just the... Um, you've got the big, big rounds with the charm on them. I really like that design. Yeah, using the clasp as a charm, because then you could you could swap that to another bracelet if you wanted to as well. Mm. You can see there as well, actually, how um, the aquamarine has such a big drill hole because you've been able to make a little design out of that too. Fab, isn't it? I'm bringing to you today your climbing roses. And... Ooh... Okay, how much would you pay just for that na real deal natural Mozambique uh, garnet? Surely that, even at jewellery maker prices, you know when at jewellery maker prices we can become slightly nonchalant, yeah? Surely you would be happy to pay that price point for those alone. Even those earrings, I would honestly, honestly, honestly pay $14.95 for those quirky little earrings just for those alone, because they're genuine gemstones and they're different. I love the motif you've gone for in this one, and I love the wonderful detail that you've got in this necklace as well. You've created absolutely loads, Katie. Oh, I really, really enjoyed making these kits. They were absolutely fantastic. Love them. Now, Katie, you have got a demo for us. We're going to be learning. What are we going to be learning to make? And, we're going um, to learn who... to make the necklace that you're wearing. So I made the rose quartz one first, and then I made that one as the demo. So I thought I may as well send them both, and then people can see the contrast between the two. But it's the exact same design. Beautiful. Well, Katie, we're going to say goodbye f uh, to you for now. We'll see you in a few minutes. See you soon. So Katie's going to be joining us back in just a few moments. We're just going to load her video and then we'll um, say hello to her again um, after that demo. Just whilst we're loading that, let me remind you, the Night Owl is going to be up at 7.45. The reason I'm showing you this now is because I think it goes so well in with those kits. Look how great it looks with the Aquamarine. Um, and I just wanted to point out, because we didn't show this um, earlier on because it was on a slightly different sound, but this is from that first kit and it is large enough drill hole to go on the elastic. That is so unusual for something of this size. So yeah, either of those are available. We're now going to dive on into the demo and we're going to be back with Katie after this wonderful make. Hello, this is Katie Parker. Today we're going to be making this flower motif necklace. So in the necklace that you have in the studio, I have used the rose quartz to make the little flower motifs. The one that I'm going to make for the demo is going to have the labradorite motifs. So I'm going to use the opposite colourway so you can see what it turns out like from both kits. It's using all of the gemstones from the kits, which the one that I'm going to be doing this afternoon is the labradorite, the lava kites and the amazing aquamarine which is absolutely stunning. All the gemstones are absolutely amazing in these kits. We're also going to be using from the kits the monofilament and the beading thread and we're also going to be using one of the clasps that come with the kit too. Now there's a couple of things that I added extra which was one jump ring, two crimp tubes, two crimp covers and a short length of chain. 
but you don't have to have add the chain if you want to if you want to go on and continue your gemstones all the way to the back that's fine the tools that i'm going to be using are round nose pliers chain nose pliers side cutters or flush cutters and also some crimping pliers so i'm just going to move all these out of the way and we'll get started making one of these flowers okay so to make one of the flowers what we need to do is we need six of our labradorites for each flower so as you can see i've got five on my thread here and then one extra that's going to go in the center so the thread i've used is the monofilament and i've got about 20 centimeters of it it's more than what you will actually need but you need enough length to be able to tie it as well so we've got our five onto our thread and i just one set aside there and all we're going to do is make a loop so we're just going to come around and tie an overhand knot and that will form those into that lovely flower shape so with five petals and then another overhand knot and pull that nice and tight and that's the first part of your flower made so with one of the strands it doesn't matter which one with one of the ends that you've got because we want that to kind of sit in the middle so with one of the ends I just want you to kind of come through and move away from that knot light bits just so we're not working too much on that knotted section okay so with just one of them so I've gone through two beads now this one that I just went through those two beads I'm just going to pop the next labradorite on and what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay that across so I'm just going to lay it across I'm going to my threads coming out of here and I'm just going to choose one of these sides so I'm going to choose this one so that I can come back towards this one so I'm going to come across so I've gone one one two gemstones and then to this gap here and then I can take my thread through that gemstone and then my threads have joined up at one spot so and then from there all I'm going to do is tie another overhand knot and then again so it makes a double knot so there we go and then you'll see that we'll have that nice flower shape just make sure it's sitting nicely and we've got that nice little flower shape in there and then all we need to do is just move away from that knot again so just come through a bead or two beads away and then snip off and it will be really super secure because once we've tied a double knot into monofilament it's very very hard to get that undone again so it will be super secure so you don't need to worry about that at all so I've just gone through one bead at each side like so my flowers all made and then all I need to do is snip off the monofilament so snip off those extra pieces like so and that's my fifth flower made so now I have five flowers for my design which is here which I've used the five flowers in so now we'll move on to actually threading it onto your beading thread okay so as we move on to the threading what we need to do is attach our threading material to one end of our chain so we do that by adding a crimp bead popping our chain on so going through the last loop of the chain so my length of chain are about four inches or about 10 centimeters the piece of beading thread I have is about 30 centimeters long so I've brought that through the through the crimp bead through the end of the chain then back down through the crimp bead and then what I can do is I can push all this together leaving a small loop at the top there and then crimp so when we use crimping pliers we're going to use the crimped part first so the little part that's got the bite in on so in mine it's the closest one to me and then we move up to the next one so I'm going to go in with my crimping pliers on that second notch the one closest to me and then I can just squish this down and it will create a little fold in the crimp so on this side it's domed then if we turn it over we should be able to see on this side it's got that little groove in it so we're going to get that groove to face upwards and then we're going to go in with the top part of our crimp and very gently squeeze that together and that will bring that together to make a smaller bead so it reforms the tube but more kind of squashed together and that is super strong now that's not going anywhere so we can cut the tail thread shorter so we don't need all that and just leave a small piece and then we can start threading on our beads 
so for this I thread on in alternates eight of my Labradorite and the Aquamarine in between so I'm just going to thread these on so once I've threaded these on, I'm just going to make sure that that little tail of wire goes over that last, that first bead that we added. So we're making sure we're covering up that little tail there. And I've made sure I've finished on an aquamarine. So now we need to start threading on some more beads. So we need to look at the design that we had originally. And you can see this is where I've ended on that aquamarine here, which is a garnet on this one. And then I've thread on my lava kite and then another aquamarine and then I can thread on one of my flowers so because we used the monofilaments what we can do is we can still pass through these um, these beads because of the fineness so just make sure that um, that you're passing through the right way so what, what I mean by the right way is some, the ones that have got the knots in you might just have a little bit of trouble but what I mean by the right way is that once you've popped one on like so so once you've popped that on make sure you're putting the other ones on so the front of the flower is to the front I'll show you again so we're going to pop on another aquamarine a lava kite another aquamarine so I'm making sure that our flower is going to sit upwards so the front that extra bead that we added at the front is on the front. So letting those drop down, you can see that one's added the right way around too. So just make sure, especially before you get to right to the, the far end when you finish threading all these on, that all these flowers are the right way around. So they've all got the little middle one towards the front. So I'm just going to continue threading all the way along and we'll um, take a look at finishing off. So once you've threaded up your whole necklace, just have a look at it, make sure it's looking nice and even, make sure you've missed no beads out and also make sure your flowers are all the right way around. Then you can just pop your other crimp bead on the other end, grab your opposite piece of chain, the other piece of chain, so again about four inches, and then you can pop your chain on and then come back down through that crimp bead and through that first bead. Now what I tend to do is I'll grab this with my pliers, so I will hold this nice and tightly down. So I've got my chain on here, I'm holding my pliers and that's going to give me a nice loop size when I pull this in. So I can pull that all the way down to those pliers and now I can take hold of everything together and I know I've got a nice loop size on the end of my beading thread. Then again, I'm going to go in with my creeping pliers. So the exact same thing again. We're going to crimp down with the crimpy part of our pliers. Then we're going to turn this over. So we've got the groove on the upside. And again, just very gently squeeze that together. So always take your time with that and make sure you get a really good connection. Make sure it's nice and tightly connected. And then we can lose this little bit of beading thread so we can snip that off there we go so that is all ready to be worn apart from the clasps so now what you will find is the clasps that we've given you in the kit they do have an opening so you'll be able to just open that up just like a, a door type of thing and you can just pop your clasp onto the end link of your chain and just position that so you can just close that up very nicely so I'll just give that a wiggle make sure that's closed nicely and then on the opposite side you can use a jump ring so you may want to use another pair of chain nose pliers just to open up your jump ring so holding one nice and still and then closing up and you'll be able to feel that that grip as it as the ends touch each other so the only other thing you need to do is add your crimp cover so we add a crimp cover by popping over that crimp we just made, like so, holding the chain out of the way. And once we've got our crimp over the crimp and the chain's out of the way, what we're going to do is we're going to start squeezing and just keep changing your angle just very slightly, little squeezes bit by bit until that crimp is on and closed and again the same on the opposite side. That's our necklace all made in place in the Labradorite version. And again, here is the rose quartz version. 
to me but I'll leave it so thank you very much for watching take care and I'll see you again soon we will see Katie again soon in fact in approx three mins thank you so much Katie for doing that now if you're watching closely close closely closely do you know what I've been um been speaking to me northern friends on the phone today you ever noticed that when you talk to someone who's like you know from your hometown or whatever and you just find your accent comes a bit stronger anyway hence the closely um i'm bringing to you if you're watching closely you will notice that uh, crimps were used and crimping players are the way to do it these are your zuron zuron brand name well-known brand all about crafting and jewelry making jewelry making zircon four in one crimper with chain nose pliers the chain nose pliers there are right at the end and then you've got the sections here where you crimp you saw katie how to crimp before but it also tells you on the back of the packet which is very handy gives you a nice professional finish every single time making your jewelry comfortable but also secure today four in one crimpers your deal today on these ones 19 pounds and 95 pence a highly competitive price point if you do want to get inspired we have got plenty more to inspire you i've got dominican republic amber on its way i have also got coming up for you a selection of three different amethysts they're going to be coming up great if you're brand new great if you need to stock up on your rounds and i've also got the mineral man it's a select hour it means that it will all disappear at seven o'clock so make sure you're in for six for that some of it is first time ever on split pay so katie is back in with us katie you love a crimping player right I do. I've not seen those ones before, and I love the, Z the Zuron brand. I'm going to have to get those. What is it you love about Definitely. Zuron as a brand? I love the fact that you've got the chain nose plier in there as well. So that means I'm not like when I made the little loop to kind of draw it in, I wouldn't have to pick up another pair of pliers. I can just use the same pair of pliers. That's going to be amazing. Very handy tool there. 1995. Shared a bit of sunshine to your life. Oh, go on then. We could do with it, couldn't we? Have a little look at these citrine. They are so bright and bold. I love how impressive that colour is. I'm just thinking, actually, maybe juxtapose it with those oceanic colours coming from your kit. Yeah. When you think That's citrine, Casey, what springs today. to mind? You could make some amazing spring makes with them because as a jewellery maker, Christmas is kind of done now when you're kind of looking towards the spring makes and Eastern. They would make fantastic with the aquamarine and that beautiful citrine. Beautiful. Actually, I'm thinking, you know, ametrine, when you're thinking of citrine and amethyst together, get a take on that with my pick of the day oh, coming up yeah. 5.30. They look good, don't they? We're bringing to you Citrine. It's such a bold and bright, summery, optimistic strand. And I'm bringing it to you £31.95, usually. But this is why you watch us live on air, isn't it? This is why you love keeping us company and we adore you for it. We are bringing it a live on air deal. It's going lower. Seven ninety five is your deal. There's going a little bit lower in price, and then there's absolutely nibbling off every penny, and that's exactly what we've done here for you. It's seven pounds ninety five only to get your hands on this one. Um, I'm going to bring to you now an amber. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love these. I didn't realise we had this shape in. The other day, I sent my producer a um a bit of a slide about hexagonal ambers and in those in those pieces this is actually what i expected uh, them to look like i adore amber you know that i was lucky enough to be invited by management to go to the headquarters of baltic amber and um, the wonderful gdansk in uh, poland not so long ago and actually just seeing the whole journey of this and the process of this was just amazing the pieces when I was looking for hexagonal amber the other day, I found some lovely earrings that was just one little stud in each ear. Can't quite remember the price of them, but I remember them as a real standout design because I'd never seen anything like them before. And have you ever seen that before when you you go and research something, you see something so standout and different that even if you just glance at it, it really sticks in your head? Yeah, that's what these shapes can do for your jewellery. Sometimes we want that, don't we? 
sometimes you want a design and a look that just gives you something that nothing else quite does. Is that the reason maybe you got into jewellery making a little bit? Did you possibly get into jewellery making because you were going out onto the high street and you were seeing things that you were a bit all same old, same old, and you thought, hey up, maybe I could do that, but I'll use the colours I like, the shapes I like, things that are different. If so, this is the strand for you. It's talking to you. It's saying, if you want something different, if you want something unique, grab me, pop me in your basket and check me out. Oh, check me out. We have got for you Baltic Cognac Amber. Today, we're bringing it to you with those lovely spaces in between. Should be... Eight nine ninety five. Now, let me just explain the price point of this to you, especially if you're new. This is an organic. It's a real organic. In fact, Baltic Amber, one of the most ancient organics, around about 100 million years old, some pieces even beyond that. Um, when we're talking about an organic, it will not come with a carat weight. Because it's an organic, it doesn't have a crystal structure. So we don't have a weight to this. The lovely thing about amber is these are so, so, so big and bold that say if these were spinel, which has a really heavy gravitational direction, um, input, very heavy, basically, this would be very, very weighty. It would be far too weighty to have one in each ear, say, for an earring. But because this is amber, it's comfy. So if you love bold looks, but with the comfort, this is your chance to get it, especially as we've got that discount, 39.95. Only whilst we're live on air, though, all of these prices will disappear at 8 a.m. tomorrow, apart from my Mineral Man hour some of it on split pay all of it at great prices those will vanish at seven they will vanish completely 10 of these ones available now hello katie hello susan hello new buyer thanks for joining me sylvia hello sue west yorkshire's collecting as well thanks for getting us 10 only available now katie when you're looking at this unusual shape what would you do with it please for me i would be saying earrings all the way that katie that you just read on the list might have been me Oh, yes, Katie, West Yorkshire. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah, rumbled. Yeah, these, these are just, for me, I look at everything and, and because I run a business, I, I need to know that I can sell it and I know I can, I can sell all those as pair of earrings straight off. How do you know, as someone who runs a business and you run your business very successfully, you sell plenty of your pieces, how do you know that these are going to sell? What is it about them that you know because that is going to be popular? Yeah, just like you said earlier, they're not what's on the high street. So, so that shape, that that facet, them being that amazing amber, the size of them. So, just to make them into simple drop earrings, I know that they they're gonna be they're gonna kind of jump out on the page when people search online. They're not just gonna be the norm that everybody else has got. Yeah. And that's such an important thing when you're selling online nowadays. There's quite a bit of competition out there. You want to stand out, and this is definitely a great way to do it. It is £39.95. Well done to all of you on that one. I have got so much more to bring you. We have got absolutely oodles and oodles of goodies. One little treat I haven't showed you yet, which isn't too far away, I think would go really nicely actually with that amber. I love amber um, hues with these kind of greens. I just think they work so nicely. Can you see the glow internally? Yeah, that's natural. That's natural. They're coming up for you, those wonderful top drilled amethyst at 1930. Sorry, checking my notes then. Um, so, so much more to come, including the treat I have got for you now. Sentence. <clears throat> amber is amber. Right? Stop by. Amber, right? Well, sort of, but no. I wish I could answer that a little bit better and a bit more succinctly, but I think it's nearly impossible. What we bring to you when we bring to you Amber, and I feel like when I say Amber, your mind, if you've been watching us for a while, will instantly go Baltic Amber. 
there are, as I sometimes mention, different types of amber around the world. What I'm about to bring to you is a different variety of amber. It is from a different location. And it's actually a very, very, very different beast. Is it still a resin from a tree? Yes. Is it still ancient? Yes. Um, Dominican amber can age up to about 25 million years old. Those are the older pieces. Uh, you can be looking around a million at the, the younger scale as well um, and slightly younger than that. But maxing out usually about 25 million years old. So amber itself from this location is a very, very, very different beast. And I think, I know full well that I could just show you this amber and you would just treat yourself to it because it is different, it's unusual and it is beautiful and it's really, really workable as well. But you know what I'm like and I do like to point out why this is different just so you can make an educated decision as to whether or not this is right for you. Because yes, you know, a lot of us will say we're your shop windows, but I also hope that we are here to give you a bit of information too. So this is a very different amber. Amber is amber, right? Well, no, not when you have a look at this slide. So as always, read it at your own rate. But let me give you the overall gist of this, if I may. So let's talk a few things. OK, so this stone specifically, you've got here the three different areas in which you can get these ones. So these ones that you can get um, from um, this um, southern area, you can get the Midlands here and you can get it up at, up at higher in the state of the Dominican Republic. So you've got these three main locations. What you may well notice if you're looking at the scale at the bottom, which is um, up to 80 kil uh, kilometres, what you may well notice is some of these are quite inland. And that is partly due to tectonic movement and partly due to back in ancient times when the trees that formed these, and, and this is an up-to-date version of the tree, this is actually a um, Hymencias tree, Hymen e Hymen Eas, that's it, Hymen Eas tree. And this is obviously an updated version. These trees way, 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 way back when they, um, the tree would have excreted the resin, the, which, which then dries up over a long period of time. These will then get knocked over and they will be washed downstream. And at this point is when they get embedded into the clay, into the sandstone. So all of this will have taken place. When we get it from the Dominican Republic, we always talk about it washing up on shore. This is so, so, so different because the, it gets nestled in sediment, which I know Baltic Amber does too, but it gets nestled into things like sandstone. So actually when we go and get this, we go to mine for it. And the way we do that, is by burrowing in to the sides of these rock formations. So we get this out of the ground and we get this out of the ground, not big with big sort of churning it. We actually dig into the ground and, and get it a little bit like you might certain amethysts say. So it's mined really differently. It's from these very distinctive areas. It comes from a different variety of tree entirely. And the thing that I find most interesting about this is it has much more clarity. So because of the formation, because of the tree, because of the type of resin, which again is, is extinct now, the tree is extinct now, it gives you a very different overall finish. The look you will get, and you can get different colours, but the look you will get is a different shade to your general amber, which if we call general amber a cognac colour, this is very different. And also the clarity of it is very different. What you get with this amber, sorry, I can swim like a belt. When you get with this amber is different internal textures and inclusions, partly from the rock formations. And what you get then is almost like looking in to a rock pool. This is a very, very different beast. Amber is amber. Not really. What do you think? Can you see inside? I'll just turn it a little bit. Can you see inside what I'm talking about with this different type of amber? It is a completely, completely different type of organic. It's not, but it is, if that makes sense. Amber is amber. Well, yeah, but no, this has a totally different story. This is a totally different age. This is a totally different texture. 
Can you see when you're looking into this how it is almost like looking into a rock pool? Can you see how the transparency of it is quite considerably different? And so you almost get the layers within this. I have got for you today something even more exciting about this, I think. And I'm going to use one word. And I think this is what makes it the most exciting for me. I mean, you know me, I'm a good, good old geek with all this sort of stuff. I love, you know, explaining all of these things to you. But there is one thing for me that makes this mega. One word. Natural. Just let that sink in for a moment. Think about what you know about amber. How many times do you see H and T next to it? Mm? Or oh, H and P, sorry, like the sauce. It's heat and it's pressure. It's heated and it's pressurized. That's what happens to amber most of the time. And when I say most of the time, I'm talking from my mind 99.7% of the time here at Jewelry Maker. This is natural. Natural, unique, different, transparent, mind amber today. At a record low price, let's do it. We are going to give you a £160 saving. Go and grab these whilst you can and just think of the jewellery that you can make. It's £19.95 for natural Dominican amber. This is something really, really, really unusual, really different. If you don't own any Dominican amber, now is your chance to do it. Compare it with your Baltic amber. See which one speaks to you most. Could they work well together? Could you maybe tell a story about how they're different in your jewellery, using them in together? This is your chance. Collectors, 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 I love you, you're in. Hello and nice to see you all. What would you be doing with this? Are you wire working? Are you maybe going to just glue on the back a flat um, based head pin and make stud earrings with this? Because now you could at that price point, right? Surely you could. Katie, what are you loving about this one, please? Difference that we can see in inside out, absolutely. Views is so unusual, and again, it's something that's not going to be seen on the high street. So to create a piece of jewellery with that would be amazing. I'm thinking maybe into some silver clay or something like that. That's a gorgeous idea, silver clay, because it's a really statement piece. So it would work really nicely, actually, with silver clay to just or make your it. Gallery pop. wire, that gallery wire would look beautiful. <gasps> it? Really simple to make. Gallery wire would look great with it. What about pairing it with other amber colours? Now, this isn't amber. Um, obviously, this is a garnet. But what do you think about pairing them in together? Oh, I like those together. They look amazing together, don't they? Mm. You get that really nice contrast. I've got for you now your mandarin garnet. For all of you January babies, garnet is your birthstone. This is a slightly different colour to what you would normally get. Mandarin garnet, it's cinnamon hues, isn't it? It's those kind of um, millionaire shortbread colours. It's creme brulee toppers, you know? It's that beautiful caramelised sugar hue that we're getting with this. And it is, as garnets go, one of the rarer garnets. I know, Katie, that you've worked with Hessonite garnet um, a couple of times before, sort of Hessonite ma mandarin garnets. What is it with this that, that you like on this strand as a, as a creative? I think it's the warmth of that, but I also like when we get these sort of strands of the, the fact that it's actually plain and we can see right within the gemstone. So sometimes for me personally, facets can kind of take away from what we can actually see sort of it colour-wise, clarity-wise. So I love to see the, the plain, or well, I don't even like calling it plain, the smooth rondelles. I think they're absolutely beautiful. They work so nicely, don't they? And I just want to show you with some other kind of colours. Um, you can pair it nicely with baby colours like this one here. Or you can pair it nicely with other ambers as well if you want to keep that interaction up a little bit. There's plenty of treats and goodies that you can do with these ones with the colour. So let's get ready. Let's get raring. Let's get owning for you today. We're bringing 30 carats worth of your mandarin garnet. And it's just £30.95. pence. Usually. Usually. Um, 
this price point. Sixteen ninety five. I just don't get it. It's brilliant, that, isn't it, really, considering that this is one of the lesser seen garnets. You know, this isn't one of the best known garnets. It's one of the lesser seen. But also, don't you think that's great for something which is oh so now? I mean, these are, if you had to say, put, put these colours in a season, it'd be now, wouldn't it? It'd be autumn, yeah? So what a great time to purchase them. What a great time to treat yourself. What a great opportunity to get some goodies whilst you can. And speaking of some goodies, um, producer Danny, you know we've got these coming up at six. How many items have we got in that hour? 48 items. <gasps> 48 items of Mineral Man coming up for you in the 6 o'clock. We're definitely gonna, not going to be able to get through them all, which is why we've done a viewer's choice. So we need you to message in. So make sure you tune in from 6. And definitely make sure you're ch checking out before 7 because they all disappear. Some of them brand new on Split Pay. So they're all coming up for you 6 to 7. Do you want to have a sneaky peek some more? Oh! <gasps> Um, did you hear Katie then go, <gasps> Katie, what just made you go? <gasps> oh, everything. Oh, I can't wait. And that's just some of them. Wait and look at these. Oh, wow. There's one that's my favourite that's not even out yet. Oh, my gosh, there's so much in this hour I can't even tell you. Look at that huge lapid light. Can you see that lovely um, candle holder as well? It's brilliant, oh, yeah. that, isn't it? Oh, I love them. <laughs> They're oh, on the way. The I know, right? Gorgeous. So cool. Um, I've got another essential now, and I've got a few of them. I've got some rose gold chains. Ooh. These are beautiful. Can you tell me what my quantity is, Poppet? 65 of these. I need to be treating myself to these. In fact, this is what I'm going to go and ring to grab in the break. <laughs> I really have needed rose gold chains. I'm on my way to my Christmas shopping. I've got something really special coming up in the seven o'clock hour, which is rose gold half pin bales that'll go great with this for quick makes. Look at the detail in this chain. Can you see the starburst design on it? You're getting two of these, two each of these ones, and they've got that beautiful starburst on each one. Katie, you know a lot about how sort of metals and things like that are made. Having the ad added texture on here, is that an extra job? Extra thing to do? Yeah, yeah that would be a, an extra job. That's not something you're really going to be able to do yourself. It, it needs to be professionally made and everything. I think having that added texture, for me, I often just wear a chain on its own. And I would wear this on its own because it would give that kind of a, a bit of a sparkle with that texture in any case. So you're still going to be able to see it even if it was on its own. But I also love the size of the links on this. So if we were to use our featherweight head pins, we'd be able to maybe attach lots and lots of uh, maybe the aquamarine from the kit or the mandarin garnet that we just had on because that colour tone with the rose um, rose gold and the mandarin garnet would look beautiful together oh. and just kind of scattered along that chain would look amazing. Oh, they really do, Katie. They really do. <gasps> 17.95 closeout deal for both of these chains. How much do you see chains for online or in shops? They can be costly, can't they? Especially sterling silver and rose gold. Don't you find sometimes, Katie, we can become a bit nonchalant about the price, prices of things like chain yeah, out there I, in the real world? I question then and I thought, well, I don't really look anymore because why would I? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Such a good point. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to have to do a bit of research and make sure that I really understand the, the value of what, what we get from Jewelry Maker. Yeah. It's it's one of those things that baffles me every single time. Every single time we get a new chain, a new type of chain on, and I go to do my research to make one of my slides, I'm always like, hey, oh, how much? We do one just like that. And ours is literally like 10% of the price. It's bonkers. Um, it happens even it. more when it's gold. Now, this is a really different link. Take oh, a look at I this. Love that. What do you love about it, Katie? Oh, I love that. I would love to get, get those and maybe layer them up. Maybe join a couple together and have a really long chain. Ooh, that's a gorgeous idea. 
The links of this are so unusual, and the way I would describe them is you've got um, you've got a flattened design. So if you imagine my hands. What you've got is you've got a flattened piece of metal like this, and then what we've done in every single link is twisted one it's of like the links. A twisted bar, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I love the way it looks, and it really gives an interesting light interaction. Oh, I love that. Again, I'm going to bring you two. It is solid sterling silver with the added looks of gold over the top. It's one millimeter approximately in thickness, so nice and strong. It is only thirteen ninety-five. Hang on, sorry. Right, I have a funny feeling of something going on here. Um, uh, producer Danny, you know that thing that's happening on Thursday? Yeah. Has that been mentioned on air? Does it mind? Does it matter if it is? All right, cool. My producer Danny's leaving on Thursday. I have a feeling that because these prices, I keep noticing he keeps going best ever deal. Never done that before. Does it, have you got that? Like, do you know what? I'm going. So let's just let's just take everything. That is absolute. Oh, he's going. If you think this is good, you should wait till Thursday. Oh no, I'm worried now. Yeah, producer Danny is going on to passages new, and um, he's. Uh, he, I I can tell that you're sensing it today, honestly, because he keeps going best ever deal. Oh, wait till that one. I keep showing a star by, and it's like, oh, <laughs> wait till you see what we're doing on that. It's not on your star by, she. Um, this is obviously him getting gearing up to leaving Jewelry Maker. This Thursday, he said, wait till you see Thursday. I'm a bit worried. <laughs> Only because he's going to go, and then when I get, you know, the your every other week meeting about, you know, like, what have you been doing now? What's happening? I'm going to get, I'm going to get the flack for that, aren't I? It was Danny. Oh, well, you might say that now he's gone. It was. <laughs> 13.95 for you today. Please, can we have the Tiger's Eye Elephant available at 6 p.m.? This one. Hannah, do his fave. Give it a little shimmer. Give it a little sort of pop his, pull his trunk. That's it, yeah. Oh, hang on. Uh, just like a little... That's it. Yeah, thanks, Hannah. She's right next to it. <laughs> oh, you're good. You, you'll be coming for my job soon. Stop. Um, we are how going to launch that for you at six. Okay, we'll bring it live at six. Um, it, Danny's in charge of that. He will remember it. That will be the first item we do. I have got so much more to come, including that starting at six. I've also got in this hour, not too long off... It's my pick of the day. It's coming up in about 21 minutes and 32 seconds-ish. As well as that, my night owl to set your screen ablaze. This is 7.45. Right here, right now, 60 second break. Hello, jewellery makers. We are live with you every day from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. If you watch us on Freeview at 5 p.m., we may appear to disappear, but we don't. There are lots of ways that you can continue to still watch your beloved jewellery maker. And they are Sky, Virgin, Freesat, the Jewellery Maker website, YouTube, or the Jewellery Maker app, which is available for your smartphone or tablet. So, whichever way you choose to watch Jewellery Maker, we are always here for you to create where and share.
lapis lazuli. One of our beautiful blue gemstones. Here's a question. I'd like to do a little bit of a survey, if you don't mind. Hands up. Anybody who has some white in their wardrobe? Yeah, 100%. I can see that uh, Ryan has. He also has some cats in his wardrobe. I can see that Anna has. She's rocking a stripe. I love it. Zebra chic. Hands up again, anybody. Does anybody have any blue in their wardrobe? Yeah, yeah, obviously jeans. I like that you've got knee holes in them. I hate when I get a knee that can't breathe. And um, you've not got any on today, Hannah, but you do have some in your wardrobe. Yeah, I do, obviously. I'm wearing it right now. The reason I'm asking that is because we are bringing to you two of those colours that I think everyone may well have in their wardrobe. In fact, text in if you don't. Text in if you have no white or blue in your wardrobe at all. And tell me why. I'm just being nosy. But I have a feeling that everybody will have blue and white, not necessarily together, but blue and white in their wardrobe, which to me says that this bundle is exceptionally wearable. 700 carats worth then of your blue jasper and your lapis lazuli. The blue jasper that you've got is this mottled one. It's got the sodalite appearance and these lovely mottles again are natural. The lapis lazuli, I have to say, I love when it is matte. At first when I saw a picture of it, I was like, I'm not sure. I don't know, do I want it mattified? I totally do because, you know when you get the natural inclusions, they are so much more obvious when they're matte so much more obvious and i think it's almost because if you imagine that my hand is a little bit of an internal inclusion and then every time you turn to look at it because it's on like a domed part of a highly polished design what happens sometimes is the sunlight or the light in the room gets in the way of it so you're looking at it from the side and you're like is that a little bit of a lovely inclusion there turn it high sunlight you can't quite see it properly can you it's almost like it's you're kind of chasing it with this because it's mattified you do not get that so let me find a really nice one there it's a great one see instantly you can't ignore it see if you can see any lovely metallic inclusions in this one right there on the surface now it's great seeing it on this one but again if it was highly polished that'd be real tricky to see i have got for you a full strand of these natural beauties and i've got them in different sizes so 864 864 those are your sizes in each one so eight mil eight mil six mil six mil four mil four mil in each of these ones and um, katie as a craft can I ask you, what's good about having 6mm, 8mm, 4mm in the same gemstone? For me, if, you, if you've got all the same, the same, the same gemstone and the same, uh, sorry, the different sizes, it gives you that opportunity to graduate your designs. It gives you an opportunity to make a gents, a ladies and a child's design. So you could use the, those sizes sort of independently but for different people in your family and things mm. and i also think this matte uh, texture on these are perfect for your gents as well because sometimes a gent will love the color of a gemstone if it's got that shine even though it's not a facet if it's got that shine they might be sh kind of shy away from it because it kind of stands out that bit more but just having that matte finish to it sometimes be better for a gent completely I did ask, does anyone have, if text in if you don't have, if you have, don't have any white or blue in your wardrobe, we've had zero text in, which means everybody could wear this. It's £17.95 for 8 mil, 8 mil, 6 mil, 6 mil, 4 mil, 4 mil, therefore six strands and a box! Yay! to store all of them in you're going to get the box in there as well which is a lovely one because it's got these removable sections so if you you know once you've used the strand you can put different findings in here etc it's also good because it's got a great snappability that's the sound of security all of these items in this bundle for just 17.95 a big well done. Less than 15 minutes until I bring you the pick of the day. Not long off for that then. And not long until I bring you the Mineral Man goodies. Oh, 
Why am I nervous? Oh, this has just reminded me. I've had a really, 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 really good idea for a thing we can do on show. I need to talk to you about that. I think you'll really like it. That's a really good idea. I'm just going to leave it hanging in there. All right, I'll give you a clue. I'll give you a clue. The, the idea I've had, the segment would be called Instacan. Instacan. Like ready can. Instacan. <laughs> My producer's just said I already hate it, but guess what? It's your last Sunday, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway, the reason I'm bringing that up is because when I was on that well-known social media, Instagram, um, the other day, you know, you're scrolling through and they put up all those things that you might like the look of, and there was this exact shape, different gemstone, and all that someone had done was put what it looked to be gallery wire around the centre section, put a head pin through the middle and hang, hung that on a cord. So it was about half a centimetre or so of wire that went just around here, right through the centre, and it was on a piece of cord. And I thought, that is such a standout piece. Um, and I thought, we well, do that shape sometimes. It would be a really nice make. So if you got any maybe gallery wire or maybe even woven wire you wanted to put around this, and you could just have one sat sideways. One pound each at £11.95 for you you today this is your wonderful zoocyte name a member of the zoocyte family yeah got quite a few haven't we sounds like it's probably the most famous but yeah we've got the opportunity here for you to get these wonderful doubly terminated balance pieces that just look so individual and unique i have got oh my gosh ah yes 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 okay i need to bring you something Oh my gosh, I've got so many things that I want to do though. Okay, right, let's go for summer. I know that Katie's going to absolutely love and she's going to just think I am the best person ever. Let's bring Labradorite. If you are into crystal healing, you know that the point shape is really, really, really important. Let me bring it now in quality Labradorite. And I'm just going to show you a few of these pieces and then I'll show you the whole thing. But Labradorite, where the quality is so good. I've just been asked to pick my favourite. And this one, literally, oh, I moved wow. my head and it went, hiya. But the quality of these is across the board. Katie, I got to select this and I had a feeling that you may well be slightly in love with this. Am I right? I love these. I love the shape. I love the, the, where the drill hole is as well. So you could attach so with, with your wire. You could work around the top with some wire work design. You could maybe snake a weave right down to the tip of it oh. Uh, oh i love them i also quite like the idea of maybe making a tiara so they all kind of stand up oh brilliant yeah, idea yes you have got the opportunity to do all of that with this haven't you now i'm going to be bringing to you 12 of these wonderful points they are such good quality i have to say i'm really blown away by the quality of these especially as getting that shape is actually quite difficult because you're cutting quite a long length so if you get, you know, a good section, but then you maybe ignore a bit, then it can go a little bit awry. But we've got genuinely very good quality across the board on these. I'm bringing to you 220 carats worth of these points. We have got for you very popular opportunity. Whoa, very popular indeed. Okay, let's grab them. Let's treat ourselves. Let's give you a deal and a half. That is honestly, oh, that's not it. Okay. You know me, I, I'm, I'm not sort of, I don't exaggerate prices. I was going to say that is honestly a money back if you sell these price point, you know, on, on one piece. Oh, okay, Katie, you and I both have a crafting business. You sell and make jewellery. If you were to make something that you knew would sell, what would it be and how much for you would it be, please? I would make a wire wrapped pendant. I would make a design that's got a weave to go around the top. I would bring something down the actual gemstone as well for a little bit more detail. And I'd create a veil on the top of it. Okay. So, and that would, for me, there would be minimum of £25 each. £25 each. So that is 25 50 100 150 
200, 250, 300. That just goes to show, doesn't it? That when you've got something different, you've got something quirky, this will work really, really nicely with that. They're sensational quality and they can be yours. Um, you could, yes, let's do a rice slip. Let's do a slider chain next. These could go rather nicely. I've just seen these adorable little abalone shells too, which I wouldn't mind giving you a show of. I love these. We're going to do them in a bit too. I love them. Loads of you in. Hey, up, Heath. How are you? I love the word Heath. It makes me think of Heathcliff. The one with the muscles is what I'm thinking. Karen's in. Oh, in lovely Wrexham. Oh, I hope you're doing well, Wrexham. I was meant to be in Wrexham the other week, but um, obviously <laughs> life happened. And um, Katie, Katie, Katie. <laughs> Oh, Katie West Yorkshire. Ooh, don't worry, Katie, you're not the only one buying two. I have also got for you a rose gold plated slider bracelet. Um, Katie, slider bracelets are always so popular. It won product of the year a couple of times running, actually. What is it for you? Why do you think, especially new time buyers, love these so much? It's, it's an easy make, a very, very simple make, but it's also a very... Uh, commercial make that's seen all over so i think i've got one here let me see if i can just grab it that's got gemstones in it oh, so <clears throat> you, all we need to do oh. is pop on a little section of gemstones and we've got a very very high-end bracelet yeah so instantly and all we need to do is a little bit of beading thread crimps crimp covers job done very simple very basic beading and obviously, it depends what gemstone you put with it. But considering this is rose gold and select an average range gemstone, how much would you sell something like that, approximately? Um, it depends on, obviously, what gemstone it, it was in. Say, if we had the uh, mandarin garnet in there that we had earlier, yeah. I think we'd be looking at about £40, £45. Pounds. Great price. So big Just profit to be small, made. about an inch section. Yeah. That's the lovely thing about them, too. If you've got any high-end strands where you have only want to use a little bit, this is a great way of using it. Today, we've got real profit potential when these themselves are just £16.95. That is almost four and a half grams of your precious metal that you've got here. It's a real, real special chance for you. Um, especially, you know, if you wanted to pair it with something a little bit different, like the Dominican Republic Amber. Because you can set cabochons with things like this, can't you, Katie? Yes, yeah, you can do. Yeah, definitely. If you wanted to do a little bit of um, wire work, or even if you wanted to glue it onto like backing foundation and stitch yeah, we, it on. Yeah, we um, do like little bezel cups and things like that. I think we've had those before. Great point. Yeah, great point we have. Um, well done to you, sixteen pounds and ninety-five pence. Well done. Green amethyst. I've got some coming up as a star buy in a bit. These ones coming up as a star buy. We're going to do them after this. Heart. Now, the heart shape is a term. It is a gem cutting term. So when we say heart shape, we don't mean heart. We mean, okay, drop. This is, this is not a great way to explain it, but I'm in too deep now. <laughs> right, heart heart drop <laughs> heart heart yeah <laughs> you got it <laughs> my keys <laughs> i am bringing to you i committed to it didn't i i'm bringing to you a heart shape now but the heart shape of the cut so you're getting more of a doming with these ones. They have got generally, um, generally with the heart shape, they're a flattened heart. So you can see from the side that they're flat, whereas a drop can sometimes be quite 3D or a pear shape, should I say, can be quite 3D. And these ones, they're a little bit more eye catching at the bottom. What is good about the heart shape? Because we don't see it often, do we, Casey? No, no, I think because it's it's kind of that, that drop, but it's 
like you say, it's kind of got that wider base, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. So it kind of it lets more light in, and that on your hand there, it just looks like drops of glowy light. It looks amazing. So I think it, it creates that that more glow inside. If that makes sense. Yeah, I totally agree with you there. Yeah, it definitely does. It's got more place to move, hasn't it? Yeah. We're bringing to you today a lovely strand of an unusual shape. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That price shouldn't happen, really, should it? Yeah. It's going even lower. You would make your money back on that with a lovely necklace design, double over. But if we can go lower, we will go lower. And that's exactly what we've done. £14.95. Would this go nicely with the pick of the day? I hear you ask. Yes, it would, I think. I love them colours. What about... Purples? Amethyst? Oh, I know this sounds dead odd, but that amethyst there is just very much connected with me. Which, I don't know what it is. It's a very special colour, that. Ooh! And then... Your lovely green amethyst in the rice bead shape. It's time. We're ready. We're raring. We've got one, two, three strands of deliciousness. When we bring to you amethyst, we're bringing to you a gemstone that it used to be believed um, St. Valentine wore as a ring, which is one of the reasons this is a connotated to Valentine's Day and love. And let's be honest. I think when we say the word love instantly your mind maybe goes to people and their partners right 2020 completely completely different kettle of fish for a lot of us i would say i have always thought of the word love and i've always thought about my family i've also thought about my my pets i've always thought about my friends but i think 2020 is making me think of love in a different way love for the small things in life you know Love for those things that you never really thought were a big deal until maybe you can't do them anymore. And all of a sudden you're like, blimey, I used to love going to restaurants or I used to love nipping to my coffee shop. Love is one of those words that I believe if we could come out of 2020 and have learned anything, I believe that love should be it. If this is the gemstone of love, I've got a different selection for every different occasion. Three different amethysts. Amethyst, a name of a purple variety quartz as a general rule different shades of purple and different ingredients within the purples is what I've got here. Dogtooth amethyst, Zambian amethyst, and your beautifully glowing lavender amethyst. We are bringing to you different varieties, different types, different stories, Different strands, all for love and all for different reasons. You can get your hands on it now. We've been nattering about this all day and we wanted to be able to bring it to you right here, right now. Um, if you are thinking about these four different people, who would be who would be having what, you know? Would um, maybe your dad be having the dog tooth amethyst? Would your niece be having the lavender? Would maybe your best friend be having the purples? Would you be doing a mix of all, maybe? The great thing about this is there's lots of different stories to be told. And the even better thing about it for us crafters is that actually... The story that you can tell can be quite simple because they're all six mil rounds. This is a size and a shape we love, isn't it, Katie? 
Yeah, I was, I was just trying to work out then how many you would need for a, a mala and if you'd have enough there to have that whole mix um, of gemstones with all those different beautiful amethyst tones in a mala necklace. I think that would look absolutely beautiful. We have got for you here the opportunity with a mala. How many do you need ish for a mala? You need 108 beads and then a guru bead. Yes. So if you've got any maybe like big, bold, this is the Marlin design we're talking about if you've not seen it before. Um, so you need those bigger, larger beads. Have you got, what What size would you go for for the larger ones or the stopper ones, sorry? Um, I would go for sort of anything sort of 10 mil and above. If you were using a 6 mil for the actual whole Marlin necklace itself, I think you don't want to go too big because it, it's still got to have some balance to it. So mm. 10 or 12 mil maybe. And we have had a 10 mil amethyst quite a few times, actually, haven't we? Yeah. So we have got the opportunity here. Let me let me give them a count-ish for you. I should be able to work it out, really. But if I just do... Have I got my ruler of truth? Where have you gone? Disappeared again. It's all right. I'll do it. I'll do an ish count up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20... 21, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, connotations that you could put with each type the lighter colors sort of being a little bit more sort of ethereal and I, th I think it would make an absolutely beautiful marla design i love that as an idea we have got for you here 38 centimeter strands but obviously as a lot of you will know when you've ever bought one of our 38 centimeter strands often they're like 41 centimeters aren't they but we say on average 38 centimeters we're going to be getting on this collection about 180 and today we're going to give you the opportunity to get big carrot weights but for a pick of the day price point all three strands at that price is considering um, the quality of these, you know, the dog tooth amethyst, really striated, the Zambian amethyst with those famous rich colours, the beauty and, and ethereal nature to the um, lavender. All of those prices, all in all, for the quality is very good. But it is pick of the day and we want to give you the opportunity to pick as many of these as you want for your friends, your families, your loved ones, your marlers and more. Let's make them a tenner a strand, shall we? $29.95 for you. Or $19.95. There you go. Now she chance. This is a real pick of the day price point. At a tenner a strand, they would be phenomenal and that would be a price discount. But now at $19.95, we're making, if you do make and sell, your profitability or giftability go up quite considerably. That is £6.65 strand approximately. If you do love amethyst, I've got some amethyst coming up with the mineral man. It's starting at six, it is ending at seven. And by ending, I mean ending. Because every Everything will go off the web then. Well done to Susan. Hello, Karen. Hello to another Susan. Hi, Joyce. You're right, June. Sue, thank you for joining me. Collector in Berkshire, thanks for getting involved. Collector in Hertfordshire as well. Thank you for joining us. Plenty of you treating yourself to these ones. Um, can I just ask, Katie, a beginner's make with something like this? What might be good? Um, for me, I mean, the six mil, it works on sort of every level of jewellery making all sorts of, sorts of different mediums right from your stretchy bracelet which for me a six mil is a very wearable size sometimes people feel eight and ten are getting a little bit chunky mm. but working into a wire work design just adding a couple sort of here and there as accents in a mm. in a wire work sort of frame or something like that there's so much you can do it it is the desert island size of the six mil i love that you could do all of that and you could do it a few times over and could you put little charms on them? Oh, yeah. Just looking at that on your wrist, the um, the triple Roma Crami bracelet would look amazing. Ooh, that's a great idea. What threaded material would you use? I would probably use beading thread for that. 
we have got for you the charms now whilst you're there just a big well done i'm calling this a charm but actually earrings with these because i am going to bring you a pair what i love about this design is what we've gone for is a shell in a shell because obviously it's abalone shell this is described often as the ocean opal and i can completely understand as to why now you've got the plastic on the back i don't want to take that off the only reason that's on there it's a little bit sticky tape and it does just pull off it's just to protect the sterling silver and yes it is sterling silver it does say 925 on the back what main colors can you see in this one i'm going to say purples and pinks and let's swap it for this one they're different, aren't they? More greens coming through for me personally at my angle on this one. And this is the lovely thing. Because it is shell, they are a pair of earrings. So they've got the same design. In fact, they're handed. Oh, uh, yeah. So if you did want to have handed earrings, in a way, then you could with these. So you could put one in that ear that way and then the other that way. That looks quite nice. So handed earrings, um, slightly different in each ear, if that makes sense. So you could do that to give a kind of different look. Solid sterling silver on these ones. You're going to get the earrings that look good together, but they are different together. <gasps> oh, I've had an idea. £14.95, pence. even just for a sterling silver shell, it'd be good. But to have the shell in the shell and the sterling silver is making it spectacular. I've had an idea. You know those big 3D abalone like pow shells that we did the other week? You know, the ones like that, that the jewel girl going through. Imagine just one of these hanging from the bottom of that, and that's it. That's going to yeah. look so yeah. beautiful. Pop that on a chain. Sterling silver, left, right, centre, north, south, east, west. Northwest, in the middle, everywhere. It'd be brilliant. Who fancies a bit I more? I think these lab. would look great on a, like, maybe an ankle bracelet as well. <gasps> it's like a little charm on an ankle bracelet. Do you know what? I forgot that ankles existed because it's um yeah. it's 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 winter again, you know. But you're so right. Ankle bracelets are still really in fashion this year, aren't they? Got some huge labradorites. Have a look. These are huge. Big Labradorites. We are bringing to you today big amount of your Labradorite. We have got for you 505 carats worth. These are big, bold pieces of that raw material. Moments of um, Sheen and Schiller running through these, but it's more about the size. I'll start again and count for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12 for you on this one. Should we do a bed deal? A price worth getting out of bed for best ever deals. Twelve pounds. Four pound, pound each, pound each. That's all, one pound. That is going to be a really affordable way to get a big dynamic look. Could you do homeware with this? What about sort of, um, you know, doing a little bit of wire work around candles, maybe? Could you bob these as hangers, maybe going up your staircase? You know, pop them on the banister because you could you put could them make using monofilament. Christmas decorations. Oh, yeah. You could pop a bit of monofilament through them and have them going through your banister and then sort of in between the posts and then they'd, they'd, they'd spin, wouldn't they? All right. 12 pounds for you today good work i have got so much coming up for you we are bringing to you today some treasures now mineral man product in fact should i walk on over and the reason i'm asking that is because there are some things that are flat let me tell you let me tell you what you're getting or what you have the chance of getting. I have got for you in this hour a massive, massive amount of goodies. The problem is 48 products were it. 48 products, right? That's good. But we won't have time to go through all of them. So what we want you to do, and you may as well start now, 
is message in with which ones you want to see. And the reason I'm going to ask you to do that now is because we need to get ahead of the game. Six o'clock, seven o'clock, we will be finishing these at seven. All of these will disappear. All of them will go away. Won't be able to find them on the web. So let me show you some of our treasures. I've got the lights. And I've got the genuine gemstones. These are on the way for you and they are absolutely stunning, aren't they? There are loads of treasures. Now, I'm not going to be able to get through them all. Tell me what you like the look of. Tell me what is speaking to, to, to you. Sorry. Tell me what you're thinking of these as you look at them. Tell me, you know, which ones you definitely, definitely, definitely need. And we will ensure that we play them for you. Maybe it's the gorgeous heart that you want to get your hands on, including um, opal as well we've got there. Um, possibly it's the large angel. Maybe it's the lovely tea light holder that you want to get your hands on. Meteorites I've got here. I've got um, moons for you as well, carved moons in, in different varieties. Please do text in now which of these is speaking to you. Um, I have done a closer up version actually on my social media stories. So if you want to look on there, there's a close up of a few of these that you could maybe have a look at and you go, oh, Bex, I really want that. But yeah, we've got the, we've got so much. I'm not going to be able to get through it all. So please do message in with what you fancy seeing because we will then be bringing them to you. But as I say, it all disappears at seven. I don't just mean disappears as in we move on and talk about something else. I mean, it vanishes from the whole website. The call center can't get it. So that is um, well worth bearing in mind. <sighs> bearing in mind. Stop it. I know. Anyway, I'm actually quite happy with myself at that. Um, we have got loads more to come. So start those messages coming in. And also you can message us not only on the text number, but also on jewelrymaker.com if you wish. Um, I have got so many more goodies, including very happy, 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 happy rounds of your citrine now. I'll show you these two. I've, I've got some phone sticks as well. I'll show you these ones I've got over here. Ooh, stay there. So this, this is some of these two. Okay, let us know what you fancy. By the way, some of these never been on split paper before <laughs> until today. I have got for you here your perfect rounds of citrines. These citrines, to have them in rounds, we don't get to see that often. But when you get a round of citrine, maybe it could be a nice moment to add into, for example, your Marlas. Could also go rather nicely with the collection of um, blue jaspers I did before. And I did in that box for you. They could go quite nicely, couldn't they? We have got for you today 35 carats under a tenner. Even though it's citrine, even though it's got that workability of the round, stretchy bracelets galore. Go great with them, wouldn't it? It is £9.95 today. 35 carats worth for you. If you do fancy grabbing them, now is your chance. And you know what to do. 0800 644 or join us at jewelrymaker.com. Do you mind if I show you the night owl? Just one more time. It's remarkable, that luster, isn't it? Remarkable. That's on its way for you in a bit. Mm. Gosh. I did a slide for you the other day about butterscotch um, amber, and we were talking about why it's so different. Um, do you fancy having a look at it? Here you go. It's a little bit of information. I'll just, I'll, I'll sort of skim over this. This is a picture. This is a painting, obviously a picture, um, taken from a book from the 1800s, which is people in Gdansk actually netting and collecting amber. Um, if you have a little look further on, on the next slide, I think. Yeah. You'll be able to see one of the reasons that this is referred to as 
Royal Amber. Now, it just so happens that Kate Middleton actually owns Royal Amber. It was named Royal Amber before she wore it. But can you see it's, it's butterscotch amber that she's got in that design? Butterscotch amber, completely natural form of Baltic amber, it's um, simply a rarer kind than its renowned cognac twin. And I like that as a description, it's twin. One of the reasons that this is so individual is because the exact shade of butterscotch amber, and it does have to be specific, like a fine wine, is known to develop over time. And the reason it develops and the reason it changes is because if you were to look at this in a, um, an electron microscope, you would be able to see into this on almost a molecular structure, you know, but a molecular basis. And in these pieces, approximately, obviously it varies piece per piece. But the reason it looks so opaque now is because if you were to look into this, for every approximately, I mean, it is approximate, it varies obviously, but for every centimetre square piece of, of, of butterscotch amber, you will be able to find hundreds of thousands of little air pockets from back, you know, 44 million years ago and beyond. It changes over time, like a good wine, um, because uh, the structure of that slightly changes. So the colour will change ever so slightly over time. When I say over time, I don't mean you'll wear it now and next year it will be, you know, orange. It's not that. It changes over time. I'm talking 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years. So if you wear it now and you take photographs with it, in 50 years' time, when you look back on those photos, that same piece of amber will have changed in age, just like we all will have. It's a beautiful gemstone. It's an unusual gemstone. Today, no, I've never seen this before. Baltic amber under, uh, sorry, butterscotch amber, specifically under a tenner. It, did you say under a tenner? Oh, good. I thought I'd accidentally said that then. It is going under a tenner. Oh, my gosh. This is astonishing. There's only 43 now. It's going under a tenner. Four, but wow. I've never seen butterscotch amber under a tenner from my memory. 9.95 even. 7.95 is a definite knot, especially for all that silver. Katie, butterscotch amber, you and I know. This is one of the rarer colours. What do you love about the butterscotch colour? Oh, I, I love this. I love, I love that colour just because... It's a little bit different, isn't it, from our, when people think amber, they instantly kind of go straight to that cognac amber. But having this little bit of a difference, the story about how, how like you've just said, about what the kind of colour is like inside and what's going on inside the gemstone. So being able to explain that to your customer is is fantastic. The price of this is crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I, what I would do with this, I would just get one of your slider bracelets and pop it in the middle. Lovely idea. Simple. I think for the size of this and a slider bracelet, you'd be talking between 60 and 70 pounds. 100%. 100%. James Studio, hearts and owls, please, says Susan. We'll try and do at least one of the hearts, Susan, for you. If you've got a favourite, please do select that one. Um, Lab Owl, which I need now, uh, says Ros. We can't bring it to you right now, but we will be launching them at six. The prices, um, basically, if you're requesting them, we will definitely play the ones you are requesting. But if you don't request them, I can't g give you a an on-air discount, basically. We'll get through as many as we can. We won't be able to get through them all. The ones we do get through will have a discount, but all of them will vanish at seven. Um, can we do what, sorry? Pricing tag cubes. Katie. Oh, my gosh. Do you remember them days when we used to do craft fairs? And you'd go to a craft fair and you had to think about making the right things, producing yourself well, making everything look professional, pricing things correctly, showing the prices. Pricing... I bet for you and, and for a lot of us here at Jewelry Maker is one of the questions we get asked most about our jewelry. When you price something for your craft fair, how important is it for you to, and it is business by business, for you, do you hide your prices, as in put them on a little tag at the back of things, or do you have them there out and, and, and visualizing? And, and which way do you do it and why do you do it that way? So, so when I started doing craft fairs, I had the little tags that were always kind of at the back of the necklace, so they'd be behind, so people 
would have to ask to to know the price or they would have to touch your jewellery to know the price and some people don't like doing that they kind of feel a bit obliged if they um if they have to ask yeah but having these so a couple of years ago i got these exact ones they're absolutely fantastic um having these makes people so they can actually see straight off what how much it is and then they can ask a question and then you know if they're if it's in their price range or not yeah also i i use these i display my jewelry in a in a therapist and it makes it look so much more professional if all your price tags are the same and it, it just makes it look 100 percent better definitely i completely completely agree with you i am someone i am that exact person you've described even though i do craft fairs myself i am that exact person that if i'm at a craft fair if i can't see the price i will slowly walk past three or four times to try and catch it but if i can't see the price i will not be stopping because i'll feel awkward i'll feel obliged to buy yeah and sometimes um, you just you just do genuinely just want to know the price you might not be wanting to buy you just think oh i wonder how much that is so if it's there for you to see it gives you that information so you you're offering more information to your buyer before you've even made contact absolutely and they're so 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 easy for you to be able to work with so they're all individual as you can see you get loads and loads and loads of pound signs in fact how many pound signs do you get uh da, 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 20 is it 20 pound signs is that right no 60 60 of the pound signs and all you have to do is find the numbers that you require and, and you the other thing is sorry in. no go ahead sorry the other thing is you know when you get to the end of the day and you want to change all your prizes and you think oh i've got they're all written on tags i'm gonna to have to yeah you can just change them really, really quickly. You can knock a pound off. You can knock five pounds off really, That's really quite quickly bad. at the end of the day. That's a really, really good point. And also, it actually possibly looks more professional than a big strike out and then you've gone, yeah. oh, it's the last hour. Oh, Absolutely. panic. What? 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 Nineteen! Wait, I want to look professional. Lowest ever price point should be nineteen ninety five. We've just managed to you knock get an loads extra in these as well. Absolutely loads. I think I've only ever bought one pack and I've had enough. It's such a good. Oh, and can I just say, you know, this is not all you're getting. And I've got loads in the bags. I've got loads in the bags down there. They just don't fit into the pot. This is professional looking, it looks great and it is quick and lovely and easy to do and you can get the kind of prices all ready and raring before you even start your show. They're nice and easy to organise, they're nice and easy to store. You can have some in different places, you can have some in home, at home, sorry, if you're photographing for websites. There's absolutely oodle. I mean, these are the numbers alone, but as I say, there's still absolutely loads in the box next to me. We just haven't got the space to get them all out. So um, do feel free to get them. You're getting 380 pieces. 50% of my stock has gone on these ones. Um, so please do seize the moment if you wish. Katie, thank you so much for today. Oh, you're welcome. I've had fun. It's been lovely. And thank you so much for your wonderful demo as well. Thank you. When are you on next? I'm back next Sunday for the masterclass. Okay, perfect. Right. What are you making? Go on, give us some insider boss. I'm, I'm making CBs, Super Duo. So if you got Mark's DVD earlier, yeah, be, there's got, there are lots of kits. And this isn't it. There's more than this. Ooh. So we're making Christmas poinsettias. Oh, wow, they're beautiful. I love the different colourways. Yeah, and there's another colourway as well, which is actually my favourite colourway, so <gasps> I've not even shown you that yet. Oh, I love that. Thank you for the sneaky feet, Katie. For now, my love, stay safe. It's lovely to see you. Same, same to you. Take I'll care. see you soon, lovely. Take care. Much love. Oh, isn't she an angel? Um, lovely, Casey. Thank you, as always, to her. Well done to everyone who got your hands on those. There's too, there are too many for the pots. I have got so much more to come. The Mineral Man products. I need you to message in, and I do have to keep saying this. I do apologize, but it's only because if we don't, then I can almost guarantee, if I don't keep saying it, at about two minutes past seven, my producer's going to get loads of messages saying, 
so where's that moon gone? It's just disappeared. And we'll go, sorry, it's, yeah, sorry, I can't bring it to you. Um, everything in this hour will be on for an hour and then it will go. Request it, we'll discount it. We discount it, you get a bargain. But again, it will all go. So it might be time to go and grab a brew, get energized, and we'll see you in a few minutes. Here at Jewelry Maker, we've got some really exciting news. After 10 and a half years, we can finally launch Split Pay. The whole point of this is to make it as affordable as possible to buy things from Jewelry Maker. So you have the opportunity to pay either two or three fixed interest-free payments depending on the item's value. It's that simple. Thank you, Carols. We are so excited about this opportunity and we know that you will be as well. So enjoy this new way of shopping on Jewelry Maker. So from the three of us and everyone else here at Jewelry Maker, see it, love it, split it. Jake Thompson travels the globe to find the very best gemstone deals in the industry. As Gemporia's gemstone buyer and investor, Jake is confident in supplying the finest gemstones firsthand, directly from the source. So your jewellery is of the highest standard at remarkable prices. With the inside knowledge Jake has collected and the relationships he has forged, we are able to bring you the most up-to-date news on mines, gems and the trade itself. Jake Thompson lifts the veil on the gemstone and jewellery industry, giving you a unique insight into the gem markets and the ability to buy from Gemporia with confidence. The Jewellery Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Are you new to jewellery making? Not sure where to start? Then tune into Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm for our Get Started Hour. One of our fantastic designers will be showing you basic techniques, giving you lots of hints and tips, bringing you one of our specially designed kits for newbies and showing you step-by-step -step demonstrations to get you started on your jewellery making journey. Get started with Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm. I will say this once and once again. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. Hey, it's lovely to be with you. How are you doing? Okay, let's get ready. Let's get steady. Let's get rumbling. Why? Because this hour is Mineral Man products. Things you need to know. 
It starts at six. It ends at seven. When seven happens, it is done. It is ended. Not, well done, we finished that. Let's move on now to our night owl. Of Zircon. It's not that. It's gone. It disappears. You may well be on the internet at one minute to seven and you go, hey, up, I like that lapidolite. It's nice. Have a little look under how big it is. That's good, that. Okay, yeah, I'll pop it in my basket. Go to check out. Hang on. Why is it not in my basket anymore? Hang on. Seven o'clock. They disappear completely. Completely. For 24 hours. Well, a few more of that, but yeah. They disappear. The great thing about this hour, I have got some brand new elements that have never been on split pay before. They're taking place in this hour. That means you don't have to pay off the sum all at once. You can split it over the months, dependent on what item it is. Also, a little bit of housekeeping. Also in this, we want your request. I have got 48 products and only a select amount of time. I will not get through them. For example, say you were looking at this. And you go in, oh, I hope she plays it, I hope she plays it, I hope she plays it, I hope so. And then um, I end up not playing it. This will be on the web for that hour at the original price, say. But if you do request it and there is room for movement and we can drop the price point, then we will. So if you don't request it, you can still buy it on the web and you can buy it on the web this way. You just head on over. Click this button up here that turns it pink. Scroll on down and you will see all of the product is loaded. So can you see some of the prices of some of these? Yeah, yeah, some of them, yeah. Some of these things, if you request them, not only will I be able to put them on free, uh, on some on split pay for you, I will also now and again be able to take the price down of them. These can also sell out at any point because they're alive now. So there might be someone bobbing them in the basket as we speak on things that I've only actually got like four of. So bear all of that in mind. I am so bad with names and I do apologize. But whoever requested the elephant, this is a one off. I've got one. What an incredible product. What do you think? A 3D, three inch, mega carat weight incredibly carved elephant. The elephant itself represents so much and the quality of it is blatantly obvious. I'm moving this and you can obviously see that labradorescence dancing underneath the surface, but you don't have to have this on something moving as you move around it in your home. That's when you're going to see that incredible quality. I have got not just the natural golden hues, but the natural green blue hues in here. I wish you could see this a little bit better, actually, just because you, it, I feel like you're not quite getting the colours. Can you see underneath? Um, have we got camera four? Can you see on this on camera four? Have a look. Can you see underneath? Ah, you can't see this section here. Uh, you've got the blues. You've got the blue striations. They're all natural. Hey, that's really cool, isn't it? So can you see some of the colours now in this? It's a beauty of a piece. And it is entirely one off. So if you do want to own this, now is your chance. I'm going to give it to you on a split pay offer today. £350.95 to get this home or um, to buy this on a normal day. But because I'm launching it now and I want to launch it on a split pay, I'm going to start a few hours just to prove something. If someone hadn't requested this, we might not have played it. It would have ended the hour at 350 quid. But actually, because it was requested, because we've got movement, you can get it home today for 79.98. Split pay means that you can have this and you'll pay it off in three installments, 0% interest. It is 20. Sorry, £239.95. Now, a couple of you have this in your basket. In fact, two people exactly have this in your basket. Um, but I'm afraid that is the only one we have. I cannot remember who requested it, so I do apologise. But it's the only one we have. Um, so please do check out if you have the opportunity to do so now. Well done to every single one of you who's getting that. Uh, the one of you who does get that. It is a beauty. I have got more to fit in. So please do bear with me. That is about to go. I don't know who's going to get it. I don't want to say names either in this hour. I'm going to really try not to. There's four people who want it now. I'm going to really try and not say names. Please do in advance. Forgive me if I do. But I'm really going to try not to say names because you might be buying this 
for someone who's sat next to you who's going, oh my gosh, imagine that in our house. Oh, imagine when we can have people over again and people will be like, oh my gosh, look at that piece you've got, that piece of art. Um, you might be buying it for them secretly, so I'm not going to try and mention names if I can, but I will say four of you with it in your baskets. Pieces on the web have already sold out. I'm sorry about that. Sorry. Grab it whilst you can and good luck to all of you. I've now got the owl for you, okay? The owl on this has been requested by a fair few people and this is your carved owl. This stands at approximately two inches tall and as you can see, the actual workmanship in it is sensational. Now, I know this might sound like a quite an, an unusual question, but if you've got a pencil and a piece of paper next to you right now, do us a favour. Try and draw an owl that is as detailed as this. <laughs> I know it's really weird. Mm -hmm. You don't literally have to do it. But I'm saying, how difficult would that be? That would be really difficult, wouldn't it, even just to draw it? Let alone carve this. Let alone carve this. My producer, Danny, it's his last Sunday with us, is trying this challenge of drawing the owl. And we will be looking at his piece very, very soon. Very soon. <laughs> Look at how 3D it is. Look at how beautiful it is. Look at all that detail of the feathers. That could be hard to draw, even just on paper, let alone carve it into a genuine gemstone. That is the skill level of these gemstone carvers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I want to be honest with you, uh, lovely people at home. I'm not going to show that because it looks... <laughs> I, I don't know. I've never seen an owl that looks like that. Thank goodness. Um, 100. Danny's picture is not nowhere near as good as this carving. I'll be honest. £190 worth on this fee today. Let's bring a best ever deal for you, okay? Let's do it. Oh, gosh. Get it home for £31.65. £94.95. If you do want to pay it off at once, you can, you know. You don't have to choose split pay. It's up to you. You've got the option. This is what we want to do here at Jewelry Maker. We want to give you the choice for you to sort of take the lead on what's right for you. This is a beauty of a carving. I love the quality of the Labradorite too, don't you? This one and the one in the um, Daylight Simulator, you can see the qualities of them in both. They look absolutely wonderful. Quite a few of you are asking for the angel, and I totally understand why. I've been doing, actually, um, angel wings recently, haven't we? Well done to you on that. Can I just let you know, whilst you are looking online... Um, can I just let you know a few other things that I've got? When you're online right now, and you can just, you don't have to be buying on the web. You can just look around and see what you like. Can I also let you know that I've got um, like gemology or mineralogy um, pieces that you can get your hands on, such as these. And I have got the lights as well. So there's plenty going on for you um, in this hour. I'm going to bring the Rose Quartz Angel first, and this is a beautiful, delicate piece. This could be a christening gift. It could be a memorial gift. This could be something that you have at home. This could be something that you make into jewellery. It could just be, because it is small enough to be a pendant. I might suggest putting it on like an operatic length design, maybe. You've got the beautiful heart wings at the back there that I think is wonderful you're not going to need split pay on this one today it's nowhere near that oh I do apologize sorry angel my love and um, I'm bringing to you 25 pounds for your rose quartz carved angel it's 40 centimeters in its height and it has got a beautiful quality I'm not stopping there because this is what I want to do in this hour. I want to give you the chance to get these things that you've looked at, you've dreamed of getting, and you want to be able to get them home today. I want to do this for you. I want your Christmas presents sorted. This is your opportunity right here, right now. It's £14.95. Does anyone else do that thing at family events and at Christmases where if you have 13 people at a table, you set a place for those that you've lost? Do you do that? That's not a Redican thing. We do it, but 
it's it's a thing that you do if you um we do it at christmas or if there is a family gathering maybe easter or whatever that if you there happens to be 13 people for lunch sat around a table then you will set a a place for for those that have lost this could be a lovely maybe place marker for someone on your christmas table possibly that would be really lovely and um, it is a beautiful memorial piece it's a beautiful gift and it's just great for guardian angels do you have anyone of your close friends or family who maybe does um um, 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 angel card reading, for example. This could be a lovely gift for them, couldn't it? Please show the moons. Thanks. And that's in from Anita. Um, yeah, I can show you the moons. Please request which moons you would like because I won't... See, I could have time to do both if they're requested. Basically, I just don't want to upset anyone. I'm not about that. <laughs> These are the moons. Those are the two moons. Text us in with what you fancy. Oh, and I've got another one too, but I've only got two hands, so give me a sec. There you go. So, those are the ones we've got. Fourteen ninety five on that wonderful, that's best ever deal. Grab it whilst you can. I've got phone stickers, I've got hearts, I've got tea, um, tea light holders. The Buddha has been requested, this one here. I'm very sorry to say it has sold out, um, but congratulations to those few of you that did get it. We only have about 20 of them, I think. Uh, we've been requested for the uh, dub, the friendship hearts. I, God, I just think these are so beautiful. They feel incredible. Um Love, as we were talking about before, right? We were talking about love and we were talking about friendship. And we've got two interjoining hearts here carved out of a huge piece of rose quartz. This is absolutely mega. It's mammoth. And they are carved. So can you see in this how you're getting the sort of almost depth design to this? You see that? You're getting that glow. That is because if I turn it sideways, you'll see. It's not just, oh, we've made it look like a heart at the front and then locked it off at the back because that's easy and then we don't have to use as many carrots. We've actually made it incredibly 3D so that both sides has got that beauty to it. You've got the lovely interlocking heart representative of friendship and more today, £199.95. If it hadn't been requested, but because one of you requested this and we've played it, we will now do it at a discount deal. This is why it's really important to request. All of these things will end at seven. They will all disappear. So for 45 minutes, you can now get this for just £49.95 pence only. Thank you for the requesting for this one. This is why it's a great time to request things. I've got meteorites. I've got one-off gemstones. I've got angels, big standing angels. I've got homeware. I've got lights in this hour. I've got sharp teeth for you i've got wonderful i really like these you know i'm surprised i've not had a request on these yet i love these do you know why i really like them well first off i think they're kind of adorable but second off they've actually got a drill hole going through them so when you you can wear them as a pendant like that in fact should we do this one now is that all right let's do it as we're doing rose quartz there's six of these available this is your large drilled jelly rose quartz. Jelly rose quartz means that you've got that lovely shimmer and glow inside and it's the wolf head. I really like this. I think it's great because it's got that big drill hole going through it. So you could put macrame through this. It's a size where it could be a pendant, but also it actually could be quite a nice size for a wrist design. Ladies or gents might want this. Hey, have you got anybody who maybe loves Game of Thrones? Because they all have the um, direwolves in Game of Thrones, don't they? So you could have this as maybe a gift that you maybe don't make into a piece of jewellery. Possibly you could make it into like a bookmark or something like that. Final price, $19.95. I've got different varieties, different gemstones of those. So if you do want to request them, do feel free. I've got the shark tooth has been requested. We've had a few people requesting this. This is a great present. Sorry, it's this one. This is a great present. They're, they're both great presents for those people in your family who like something a bit edgy, a bit different, a bit his historic. You can go to well-known theme parks etc and get shark teeth and you can get them and that's one thing these are not your everyday shark teeth 
These are 45 million year old shark teeth. These are almost like fossils of shark teeth. So these are prehistoric sharks. It comes on the cord, which it means it's like a rubber cord, which means it's lovely for, you know, lots of um, different uh, skin types. If you want something rust, um, gentle against the skin and it's finished off with a clasp. Not all shark teeth that you buy will be prehistoric. This one is. It even actually explains on it. Um, it says a gift from the past. And it explains on there so people know what you're gifting. £17.95. Every single tooth will be different. So here's a different design I've got. But still, can you see how every single tooth will be different? Yeah. Five left of those ones now. I'm over allocated. Good luck to all of you. Some things in this hour have sold out. I'm sorry about that. But, but, um, I will say we have still got some items left. So just get those requests in if you want discount deals. Tracy's in saying uh, the number 19 is the shark tooth, is it? This other shark tooth, you want this one. No problem, Tracy in lovely Merseyside. I hope you're doing all right. I like this one. Um, I think this has got almost like, oh, what are they called in um, Easter Island sculptures? That's how they almost feel to me, those sections there. Do you know what I mean? The massive heads, those big um, carved ancient heads. Um, again, we're looking at 45 million years old. This one, you don't have the metal skull on it, but you do have these details. Um, this is a bargain. Again, thank you for your request because we have been able to drop the price. It's twelve ninety five. If you do see anything you like on the web or on the boards next to me, please request them. We've got the uh, Shung Knight phone sticker coming up for you. £12.95. Let's bring now something that I think a lot of you will want. And do let me know because these lights that I've got, they are removable. So I can put different things on. If there's something that you're like, Bex, I'd love to see, you know, the... Um, polar bear on top of the light let, let me let me know we are so limited on these if you want them you've got to grab them let me show you around them quickly it's the usb cable um, um plug just goes into your normal plug socket you've got your little on off light here which goes quite far away from the plug so if you just want this like on the side of something so you don't have to reach over to the floor all the time then you can it goes all the way along to a real wood base so it's really nice and um, weighty base and as you can see, you've got the little circle in the middle, which is where your lights are. You can place genuine gemstones on top of this. And with the click of a switch, doo -doo -doo, they are illuminated. Um, I think this really adds ambiance to pieces. I think this is more than just a boring old design, you know. You know, um, it's really bright. As you, you can kind of see that, can't you? It's really light. This will give a room real ambiance. And actually, if you've ever bought, you know, lights and, and lampshades and stuff, they're not cheap. And to pick and select your own design, I think, is great. In particularly as, say, for example, you get, you know, you do a bit of decorating. Your room used to be this pinky purpley colour. You do a bit of decorating and then you don't have to go out and buy a new lamp or whatever. You can just change what your gemstone is and there you go you've got a whole different feel or maybe even different season you use this for like your christmas lamp and then maybe uh you know your different ones say for summer and spring so yeah the, the light is here for you this is the large one it's 14.95 this you're going to need for your larger base stones because there are some stones that will be able to light that will look lovely lit up with this but would definitely be precarious on the smaller ones so Pick which one you want. I've got even less of the smaller ones. And the light off again for you. So I just want to show you the size comparison, if I may. There's the size comparison. So for your bigger stones, you want a nice big base, so it's safe. Small stones are going to be great with this, so it's not overpowering. And again, really easy, light switch on. The light is all I'm bringing to you. Those gemstones are separate, but if you do want to grab them, now is your chance to do so. Um, Carol's message number 13, please. Thank you. Carol, how's your day? How on earth is it? What are you thankful for today? You're having a lovely one. I'm thankful for the company of my team today. Oh, you. <laughs> oh, you. Um, yes, tell me what it was. The owl, did you say? The black moonstone egg. 
I took a little uh, video of this on my Instagram before because it was I was trying to get the sheen from it, but you just can't see it properly on on video. It is so connective. It really is. Um, it's like some mother of dragons. <laughs> This is your black moonstone, and the shiller in it is just so impressive. Um, oh, my producer Danny. It's his last Sunday. Today's leaving us on Thursday. He was just saying he bought some a little similar, similar, a bit smaller when he was um, at school, and he still got it. That's the type of thing, though, isn't it? That in all honesty, you're going to buy this. You may well hand this down to you know, your niece, your nephew, your, you know, your grandchild who's, you know, maybe not even born yet, you know, this is the type of thing that is a real heirloom piece. I'm bringing to you wonderful quality. You can see it's a lovely, sizable piece here. Great homeware for you. And I'm bringing it to you at 19.95 today. It's an absolute stunner. There's only four left. Did I have an amethyst heart or have I made that up? Do I see it in the schedule? May well have sold out. Um, it is on the web, but we didn't get it sent. We didn't get it sent, I don't know why. Can you please show 303136? 30, My oh. producer is saying, what are you saying that for, Em? Just, I thought it was pick one. Em, <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Oh, me. Um, 36, my producer's telling me to bring, which is... Jasper Angel, Jasper Angel, Jasper Angel, Jasper Angel, Jasper Angel. Can anyone see it? Oh, <laughs> sorry, what the massive thing, the largest thing in front of me, the thing that I've been staring at for the last 20 minutes. I absolutely adore this piece. It is. Do you know what? Oh, my gosh. Okay, I need to just say that instantly there's two available. This is such an impressive and incredible piece, and I will be doing this split pay for you. Even just if the actual beauty of the angel doesn't speak to you personally, if you have got an inclination to be enticed by how minerals work, how gemstones work, just look at that. Isn't that incredible? You can actually see, if this were a raw piece of material, where we might cut little eight mil rounds, can't you? That is all real, all genuine gemstone. And it is all carved into this incredibly skilled, sleek. I like this. It's quite modern, isn't it? It's a real modern take on the angel shape. I love this. I'm bringing it to you today. 479.95, but... Because we're live and because it's been requested, I'm going to thank you by... No, no, sorry, we've now only got one left. Sorry, now only one because I've had checker out to us. $299.95 and that is $99.98 on split pay. A big well done to you there. A big, 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 big well done. Do you know what? I'm just going to... Sorry, I'm going for a wonder. I probably shouldn't have said that. I could have just walked away. Oh, it's gone. Sold out. I'm looking for something. But this is what I was thinking. These are not books, but that could be a book. What's it called? Bookend, couldn't it? That could actually be a bookend, which could be quite nice in your home because that would stand them up. Anyway, just thought they have sold out. Well done to you collectors. I've got to move on. Well done. Uh, I'm going to do the amethyst for you without the item. We are sorry we haven't got the item. For some reason, it didn't get sent across. I love this item i've seen the larger version of it and it sold out when i brought it to you this is a five inch heart that comes on a stand now the stand is a metal stand now it doesn't really give away the the size of it have i got a ruler we there would be no way of recording this because it's just so huge but it comes on a stand. The stand takes it a few inches off the table. It's a strong metal stand. And the thickness of this is massive. It's, it's like a real geode cutout. Five inches just to give you an idea. You know, it's a real sizable piece. So think about that size of it. It's um, 175, 79.95. Get it home on split pay, 59.95 for you today. So really good opportunity. 
Um, I tell you what I quite fancy doing. It's a little bit of a different one. Um, do you know what I want to do? Because I've just been talking about bookmarks. How about we go a bit feng shui? How about we bring the lapidolite? I really like this lapidolite. Um, I love the colour of it, especially with it being the homeware colour for 2021. Have you seen the homeware colours? 2021, what, this is one of them. The lapidolite itself is a really interesting... So I'm thinking this is homeware. And I'm thinking lapidolite. And I'm thinking for feng shui. Oh, it's not just stunning. Now, what you're not getting at home is just how sparkly this is. All of these little inclusions are sparkling. They're incredible. Lapidolite itself in feng shui is said to bring harmony and balance as well as speed in helping speeding up decisions. So has anyone at the minute got a home office? Anyone working from home? Lapidolite, if it's said to um, help with harmony, well, we all know it works sometimes. We need a little bit of harmonizing, right? <laughs> It's said to work with balance, so possibly work-life balance. And this is all feng shui, which obviously breaks back centuries. And it's said to help speed up decisions. So what about this in your home office? Could be really handy, couldn't it? Obviously, if you believe in that type of thing, it again could be a lovely bookend or a bookmark because it's very strong and sturdy, as you can sort of see. I want you to see the glitter on this. I really do. Well, I didn't know it was that price only. That's fantastic. Twenty four ninety five. That is fantastic. It's a really interesting stone if you're into crystal healing. I think this would work really, really nicely um, with your designs. If you do want to seize the moment on this, absolutely do so now. Hi all. Wave. Can we see number three and thirty nine? Both phone stickers, please. Chrissy, hiya, how are you? Thanks again for joining me this weekend. I hope you're having a lovely one. Absolutely, I'll do them for you now. And I think I'm doing one now as a star by. In one opportunities time. Let me bring you the, it was the original plan. We've mixed it up. That's fine. I'm going to bring you the, show you the oval now. Christy, let me ask you, why are you requesting this? What is it about these that you love? We will expect to sell out on this. I've got the oval and I've got the round. So if you're not entirely sure what a phone sticker is, let me flip them over and tell you, show you. You've got the sticker on the back that you peel off. Obviously, I won't do that. Stick on the back. It's a really strong adhesive. And I do not have a phone here in the studio for obvious reasons. But what you do is you stick it to the back of your phone. And then that becomes the section that you hold whilst you're scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. It's less likely to kind of slip through your hands, etc. So I've got for you today, genuine gemstone. This is the Shungite um, phone sticker. And we've got it today. at 9.95 so you stick that onto the back you hold it and then you've got another access point to scroll 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 through on your phone it's also great if you're uh, taking photographs as well have you ever taken a photograph and because you've kind of got your whole hand wrapped around your phone you see a little bit of like shadowing where your finger is yeah when you hold this you don't have to wrap your whole hand around the phone if that makes sense um so yeah this is the oval i've also got the circle now because this one's about to sell out so it's up to you which one you wish. Got a fair few of you coming through and grabbing the Shungite one. I'm about to do this one as a star buy. So in that time, let us know why are you buying these and who are you buying them for? Text us in. We've got this one now as a star buy. Shungite, a very interesting, unique mineral from our earth. This time, the oval looks like it's about to sell out. I'm bringing you the circle. Now, a lot of people will be purchasing this, I imagine, because of the... Well, because it's said to, let's put it that way, it's said to help with protection 
of electromagnetic radiation and things like that that your phones can give to you um when you're you know using them a lot obviously we're talking mobile phones here i'm not sort of nattering around about your landline um but yeah that's one of the reasons i imagine quite a few people will be buying the gemstone version of these shungite is a really really interesting stone and a really really strong and powerful uh, genuine gemstone in lots of different realms you're getting the circle um here of your shungite and this as a stone is something which not everybody knows about and i quite like that because it's quite an unusual gemstone that can really grab people's attention i know about this from sort of meditative realms um i know that it's got quite a lot to do with mindfulness and meditation but as i say having it as a phone a sticker it kind of works hand in hand with the um uh, you know your phone and 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 elements of your phone that you may well wish to attempt to reduce so bringing to you today your perfect round sticker with the sticker on it it's 9.95 someone's asking for the size on it and do you know what me and my lovely tech op emma have been running around trying to find a ruler now i've not got a ruler but i have got a macrame board and i'm a crafter so i'll have a go right here we go um if you look here we here have got one inch segments right is that right it's not is it that's a centimeter it's not an inch that is it is it that's centimeter i i'm i'm great with centimeters anyway let me give you an idea there you go there you go. Gives you an idea of what we're talking about here in size, I hope. If you've got a macrame board at home, I'm sorry I can't be more helpful. We used to have like three rulers, but everyone's, I don't know, maybe everyone's working on a school project. <laughs> I need a ruler and a protractor, stat! Um, so we can't find them. I do apologise. But yeah, that should give you an idea, hopefully. 9.95 on those ones. Nice work. Please keep your requests coming in. This hour will end in 25-ish minutes. Once it does, everything will go. Keep those requests coming in. I've still got so much more that I could do for you. Um, so much. I have not got that sphere out in front of me, Danny, I'm afraid. So I've got a fair few things. Have a little look on our web. It's jewelrymaker.com. Um, okay, let me bring the bear now. There is two of this gorgeous character available. Have you seen quartz? Is that what you're telling me? Interesting. You're very interesting. Because it's got lovely shiller inside it in areas. That can happen sometimes. Just how minerals work. I'm showing you this side because I can see a lot in here. You can see here. See like blue adolescence. Very interesting. Anyway, I am bringing to you today your wonderful bear design. For me, it's a polar bear in this colour. What about you? Yeah. Um, I really like the bear. I think when you think about bears, you think about maybe protection, you think about strength. I think this would be a great gift for ladies and gents the world over. Um, do you know what this could be? I'm thinking about famous bears in different um, TV shows, etc. You know, I'm thinking about uh, the bear necessities. I'm thinking about blue. I'm thinking about... Um, um, Rupert the bear. Do you know what else I'm thinking of? Is anyone else watching the Golden Compass at the moment? It's not even called the Golden Compass, is it? What's it called? Uh, dark. Dark. Here's Dark Materials. I have watched the whole first season of that. I'm now halfway through the second season of it. Can I remember the name? Can I? Because, like, yeah, it's Dark Materials. Um, if you've been watching that, you will know that there is a very famous character in that that is a polar bear. Um, it's a lovely character as well this could be great if you for those lyra lovers in your life this would be lovely you could even you know for example i'm just thinking about this as something a bit different but imagine maybe you were lucky enough to get like a first edition 
of a famous book that had a bear in it. And this was the gift that you gave them as a hint for Christmas. £99.95 and pence for you today. 33.31. There is two left for you. Brave. That's the other one I'm thinking of. What about Brave? The animation, if you've not seen it, it's uh, it's not everyone's favourite Disney one. I, I kind of like it. Um, but yeah, in Brave, again, without giving it away, there's a very strong bear narrative in that one, um, which is obviously set in Scotland. It's quite a nice film. Uh, but yeah, there's loads and loads and loads of, of different films. Obviously, there's like the, the Reverend, isn't there? That's one. The Golden Compass as well is another. Obviously, The Jungle Book, which we've already said. Um there's plenty of them as well. Open Seasons, another animation with them in it, isn't it? Well done. Final two for you today. Oh, now this is a very... Is it this one? I like this. This is an interpretation of a bear that I'm about to bring to you. This is maybe... Well, we'll talk about it in a second. Let me show you it first. Now, I like this because, as I said, it's a representation of a bear. Now, the lovely thing with this is what you could... Because this is, this is enough of a size to be handheld, isn't it? When you look at what bears and the signatures of the bears mean, there's like a palm stone, something to carry around in a pocket, maybe it's a good luck charm, have it in your bag, have it in your car. They are said to represent acceptance, and they're also said to represent tolerance. That's another thing that they're kind of known for. This is a beautiful floor, right? It's lovely that it's that representation. It's not blatantly obvious. This could be something that brings strength, um, you know, with that, syn uh, with that um, synonym, yeah, with, um, you know, strength and with tolerance. We're bringing to you today a wonderful outline of a bear, and it is just 24.95. Can you please show me 31? Bev, I will, and thank you. If you're thinking, what are these mind readers? How do they know everything? Head on over to jurymaker.com. They have all got numbers next to them. So if you scroll down, let's find 31. Let's find it. There it is. Then... That is the one we will do. Is this the right one I'm showing? Or is this me green opal? Yeah, it's the thing. I'm looking at this going, that's green opal, that's green opal, that's green opal, that's green opal. But I couldn't find another one. Is it this one? Hundred and sixty carats worth of your Jasper hearts. Now it's in your baskets. I love this one too. It's got that lovely crossed over detail. It's got the heart shape. Now these ones themselves, because of their design, they do not stand up by themselves. Just to let you know, they will sit down. But of course, if you did want to have them against something, or if you did want to have them as a table decor, or I quite like the idea of putting these in like a potpourri bowl, having some potpourri around the base. Which will help them stand up and then this is kind of what shines out in a room i think would look lovely thank you for your request bev bev you've been on the good list you're not on the naughty list you're on the good list so we're giving you a best ever deal 44.95 all of these things will disappear in around about 20 minutes so head on over to jewelrymaker.com some of these things have still sold out they will all disappear i mean disappear go vanish some of these for the first time ever on split pay so if you do want to seize the moment do seize the moment Roz, amethyst moon please no problem let me bring you this this is amethyst but can anyone else see those lovely citrine hues in there so it's kind of best of both worlds, really, isn't it? If you love citrine and you also love your amethyst. Again, individually hand carved. This is a flat design. So what I mean by that is it's completely smooth on the other side. But because of the quality of it, you almost get that reverse measure of the face in this featured design. It is a beauty of a look. And if you did, um, you know, kind of want to pair something together for a design, like I like the idea of that as a window hanging. What do you think? Could look quite pretty, couldn't it? 
quite interesting, uh, maybe as homeware. Because it is flattened on the back, that means that you could pop these into a box frame maybe. Um, you know, obviously stick them in or, or wire work around them, it's up to you. Bringing to you today um, on split pay. 100 and uh, 129.95 do you know what how random is that i was thinking the exact same thing as my producer just then so what you can get is you can get these clock hands and you can buy clock hands and they are just hands so they come on a tiny base and you put one of those you know those flat batteries in you know the flat batteries they're like the size of a one pence piece aren't they they are just a flat battery and you just pop them in. And then from the battery pack, there are just hands. So what you could do is you could actually attach them together somehow and put like your battery pack into the design, maybe here, and then just have that on the wall. You don't even need the numbers on the wall, do you? Could be quite a nice idea for that, a bit different. I've got an individual rose quartz heart that someone's uh, just requested. It was Ryan. Yeah, no problem at all. I'll do that for you. This is lovely. Very 3D design. I love the colour in this. It's very deep and intense. Can I just prove to you as well something? Because these are all different types of minerals. So you've got different shades in our things, in our rose quartzes. But can I just say that this is the same as the angel? That's a really special sentiment. Stay. Waiting to happen. There really, isn't it? Yeah. Could be. So I'm bringing to you the angel may well have sold out, I'm afraid. But I'm bringing to you now the mini rose quartz. This is the heart. Um, I've got for you today, I say mini. Um, I don't mean mini, I mean minimum. <laughs> 65 carat quartz. Um, it is a beautiful design. Great for homeware, of course. Bringing it to you from Madagascar. And we're bringing it today at £24.95. Twenty-four ninety-five. I've had a request on the fairy stone. I can bring that to you now. Rosie, thank you for your message. Yeah, I'll get both of them on for you. The fairy stone is so special. It's so interesting. I think it all says it in the name, really, doesn't it? When we talk about fairy stone, it's sometimes known as the goddess stone. It's sometimes known as the goddess stone, and this is just a raw piece of the material. It is a good luck charm for many. It's a talisman for many. We don't bring to you fairy stone very often. This, by the way, hasn't been cut or carved. So I just want to make that very clear. This is how it forms. Yeah, no, no, it's not been carved to look like anything. Yeah, it's, it's just this is the raw material. This is how it looks. We're bringing it to you for £7.95 for your goddess stone or your fairy stone, depending on what you want to call it. The other one you messaged in about, my love, was Garnet in the Limestone. So I'll show you that one now, if I may. Um, keep requesting, please, because I've got 15 minutes coming up uh, to the end. I'm not going to have a chance to play everything, and there is still so, 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 so much. Um, please text in. This is your text number, or you can get us on jewelrymaker.com. There are meteorites still to go that are honestly metal from out of space there are um tea light holders of genuine gemstones there's homeware there's there's collectibles there's those still in here so please do text in only because if you don't text in let's say that is 250 pounds um, it will stay at 250 pounds if it's not requested but if someone requests it and we can take it to a hundred pounds then we will do you want to get me Last of stock on the garnet in limestone. These are perfect for us crafters, us jewellery makers. Yeah? Bless you. Really, really, really different pairing that you've got here. This isn't a collection and pairing that we will generally bring to you here at Jewellery Maker as individual pieces. Hi, Becky. Oh, hi, Janice. Thanks for the hi. Can I see 22, please? Is that the... this one? <laughs> of course you can, Janice. And I hope you're having a great Sunday. This. Oh. 
very connective indeed for me. Very connective. This is limited stock. There's five left as a palm stone, as a collectible. Even if you're going to have this in the home as a real genuine gemstone paperweight, this is something really special in your home. £9.95 for you today. Do you know what? This could even be like a pedestal for you to take pictures of your jewellery on. You know, that could be quite interesting. Sold out. Sold out on that one. Well done. Um, let's do one of the meteorites, shall we? Should we do the daintier one? Let's do the daintier one. If you just want to own a piece of meteorite, this is so, so, so special. Uh, it really, truly is. Have. Wait, sorry. Which one do you want me to do? That one or that one? This one? Yeah, happy to do that one, yeah. If you do want that one, do text him, but I'll do this one for you now. So this is a really, really, really interesting meteorite. And this one itself comes from, um, it's about, a hundred, well, about, about a thousand kilometers northwest of Buenos Aires in Argentina. And this is a really, really interesting um, stone. And it, if you were to imagine what this feels like, what would you imagine? Let me tell you first off, it is incredibly heavy. It is super cold and it is from literally outside of our planet. Um, this impacted, as I say, about um, a thousand kilometers from Buenos Aires in um, Argentina. This impacted our Earth, obviously, millions of years ago. And the field that the impact that this meteorite created made a... Um, how do you put it, like an impact site, let's say, an impact field of around about three kilometres by 20 kilometres. So that was the impact site. And through that impact site, there was tiny little pockets of this left over. Now, this has not been cut or faceted. This has been travelling through space as it's entered our um, sort of the outer belt where we naturally have out of outside of our orbit we naturally have you know little pieces of, of, of asteroid and things go there this is pummeled it's been taken off course come towards our planet crashed into our planet um just in this one place in in uh, you know northwest of argentina in argentina sorry and um it's created this big impact site and what's happened is that one big meteorite is scattered with the impact and this is one of those pieces this is a story of almost unimaginable proportions. It is an extraterrestrial stone. What an amazing Christmas present. Is there anyone who's into, you know, astrology, who's into the, um, um, you know, anything extraterrestrial? It is such a story to have. It's 129.95 for you today for a piece that no one else will ever own. This is it. Do you know what I mean by that? Every single time a piece of this is taken out of the ground, which is exceptionally rare, there is one less. It's not forming. Hi, Becky and team. Say hello, team. Hello, team. May I see number 14, please? Thanks and a kiss. Lynn. Oh, yeah. Um, is that the wolf head? Oh. Is it this one? Which checking box numbers? It's this one you've requested. No problem. Yeah, absolutely, Lynn. I think this is so wonderful. Just to show you again, it does have a drill hole going? Oh, it is this one. Sorry, it is this one you've requested. Do you know? I know it's a. I know it's a wolf. I do know that. But anyone else thinking it's foxy? This isn't it. It's got a bit of the fox about it. I think. Um. I think this one's absolutely lovely um, because if you pop this onto cord, I'm just looking for a piece of wire. To give me two ticks. I do apologise. I just want to show you how it will sort of sit. So you might have it on a piece of wire or a piece of cord, but there you go. That's how it would sit on the neckline. I think that there's something very, very eye-catching and very, very distinctive. And do you know what? Very designer about that. 
there is a boldness, there is a strength. I'm imagining maybe wooden beads coming from it, possibly. Or just keep it really simple. Hammer out this wire. Maybe do a plaited wire design. There's plenty of space in that drill hole to plait the wire. Hammer that design out and just have that. I think there's something incredibly bold about that. Actually, I think I'm a little bit in love with that. Um, uh, never want to commit a little bit in love um i'm going to bring to you the large drilled golden quartz wolf wolf head now have i heard we're just doing this off the picture no oh the one i showed before sorry 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 this one is your golden quartz or your rutile quartz. It's got sort of rutilations in it in just little areas. Same situation here. Lovely large drill hole. 19.95 for you. Shall I pop this one up against my neckline again? Move on then. Still got my wire about. Just to give you an idea. Two left on that. Oh, he's a nice one. He's lovely as well. Yeah. Makes me look a bit more tanned, this one. Better for the skin than the sun. There you go, that's the new tagline for it. Do you want to look more tanned? <laughs> uh, Rose Quartz Moon's being requested now. I want to bring you a best ever deal on this. I'll go under 100, okay? Just because I'm thanking you for getting involved and thank you so much for your input. And also, it's a nice way for me to go, if you want this, you've only got 10 minutes, please check out quick. But I seem like, I'm going to give you a best ever deal so you'll forgive me for being a little bit urgent. We did the Amethyst version earlier on for you. £230 is a should-be price on the Rose Quartz. Again, just to let you know, this one is flattened at the back. And it's got the lovely texture on the front. Lovely big size. Great for a box frame. Great for wire working. You could actually do... Oh, I have an idea. £99.95 for you today. What you could do, because you wire work wizards, is create... Imagine my hands are wire. <laughs> That'd be weird. Um, but you could do a little wire work captivation thing with it. Yeah. Tilt the wire up and you can keep your business cards there for like your craft fairs. That could look quite interesting, couldn't it? 99.95 split pay, 33.31 to get this home. I think it's an absolute beauty of a design, that one. It's really interesting. My choice, well, I thank you. Ah, oh, there's so many I want to do. Do you know what? Let's go. Do you know what? Let's go for this one. Let's go for the tea light holder. Because it's called a tea light holder, but you could put um actual like column lights in this so this has just got a little you know obviously a little batch powered one on but to show you just how beautiful this is i love that it's so sizable i love that you get to see all of the quality of the stone i also love and these are little things because this is where it's been excavated you get to see the detail this side, we've really highly polished. This side, we've left mattified. That just says uh, made in Brazil. This side, we've left mattified. Another thing I really like about this is our attention to detail with this. You've got little um, feet on this that are a soft sort of almost plastic. And that means that it won't damage your work surfaces, but also it's got a little bit of grippability. I think this is such an incredible homeware gift. Have you got anyone... Because have you ever had a nosy through things like really posh home magazines? You get them sometimes in um, like the dentist or whatever, don't you? Right next to Woman's Own and uh, Take a Break, yeah. Yeah, the really expensive home magazines that is just people after people after people sort of posing next to, I don't know. This is, you know, just like, this is just where I hang out. Like, you just chill around your house like that, you know, just like resting on a mantelpiece, just like, <laughs> you know, all of those magazines. These are the types of one-off pieces that you see in those magazines, right? These are the types of one-off pieces. Remember, they are one-off. They are one-off. Oh, we are doing a discount, I thought. Okay. Oh, no. Hands on heart. I was expecting 60 quid. I'm going to get some of these. These are those gifts for those people in your family who maybe you always want to make jewellery for, but you're like, oh, I don't know, do they really wear jewellery? Are they going to fancy that? Oh, but you want to go, do you know what? Wow, have this piece that looks like I could have gone to 
Is Habitat still open? The one in Chester isn't. I think that's closed down, isn't it now? But you know in Habitat, they used to have that really expensive home range beer and you'd be able to buy like one-off pieces like this for honestly like £300. It'd be that kind of look. Oh, it's beautiful. £24.95. I'm going to do one more before the Wall of Fame. And I'm going to do the Lapis Dragon Skull. So many people. Hubs is drooling. <laughs> Um, this one I'm not surprised Ross to be honest it is absolutely a work of art absolute work of art I'm going to give you a discount on this do you know what someone's already bought this and we could have we could have not discounted it you would have bought it at that price you were happy to but because it was requested Giving you a little discount there. Well done. 249.95 sold out though, I'm afraid. Amethyst points. I'm going to bring these ones to you now. So these ones I've just stacked up on that light, which we did, we made available earlier on. Um, and they are great for crystal healing amongst other things. Nice for adding a little bit of ambience if you do put them in the light. There's no drill hole on them. They are just their natural raw form and they are points as they grow um, in things like geodes and out of the ground as well. Oh, I love that one. Look, can you see the texture in it? That's actually its growth pattern. Oh my gosh, the geeky bit of my brain's going, I know because the way it splits really cool. Oh my gosh, it keeps on going, it keeps on doing that. Um, I've got four of you. <laughs> I think next time can I put a silly voice on? <laughs> I'm bringing to you uh, the points. You will get three totally natural points. They'd be nice for like pendant designs, wouldn't they? Okay, I'm going to leave these with you because I've got about four minutes. It's when it turns seven o'clock officially that all of these will disappear. Um, okay, so um, I just want to let you know everything that I've already done, some of it has sold out. Um, by the way, this doesn't come with the light. I should make that clear. No one's requested that anyway. Uh, but yeah, I've got the lights. They've still been available for you. I've done some of the wolf heads and so much more. If you do want to grab these ones, then you do have to be quick. Okay, let's do it. Wall of Fame. <laughs> start with Jan. Hello all at JM. Hope everyone is doing well. My wall of fame is a necklace and earring set with a baloney bars, a sterling silver chain and findings all from jewelry maker. Good luck to all woof entrants in this week's draw. Stay safe and well. Lots of love, Jan. Jan, that design is so fabulous. I'd wear that every day of the week. Thank you. Isabel, you are in. Hello there. This is the product of my recent online Kiss Cross workshop with Mark. It took... I took the piece I created with him, threaded it into five cores, memory wire and JMC beads and all over the moon with the results. It reminds me of Radsbury Pavlova and my new obsession. Thanks, lovely cast and crew. You brighten my days. Oh, my gosh. I'm absolutely starving now you said that, Isabel. Oh, Radsbury Pavlova. I've never. That is a lovely design. Thank you. I love the colours you've gone. For there. Tracy says hi all at JM Towers. This is the third one of these super duo scarf necklaces I've made. Lots of seed beads. Blimey, you're not joking. Lots of seed beads and super duos from my stash. I love making them. Stay safe and good luck to all and myself. Could do with a little look um, and to replace some super duo stash. Lots of love, Tracy G. Tracy, thank you. And wow, that is such a gorgeous design. Thank you for sending them in. Viola is in next and it says, hello, jewellery maker. Hope you're doing well. As I can see, the joy of Christmas in the studio, making us have a wonderful Christmas feeling. Thank you. This is my entry. White seed bead necklace and champagne wire, making a wire work pendant with a few pairs. A few pairs. 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 Um, hope it makes the wall. Everything from jewellery maker. Hope you have a great Christmas. Good luck to everyone. And that's Viola. Hi, Viola. I love that design. I've never seen anything like that before. I think it's beautiful. You've done a lovely job there. And I'm glad you've got that festive feeling. Who's got the Christmas tree up so far? Anyone doing it this week? Done it this weekend? 
Next weekend is yours, next weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Do it when you like. Do it when you like. It's your own life. If it's going to make you happy, why not? Mm -hmm. Jackie's in. It says, hi all. Um, see my latest entry, a Peruvian opal and cherry amber slider bracelet. Love these new slider bracelets with the amber ends. And I think the opal goes particularly well. I totally agree with you, Jackie. I love them too. Good luck to all entrants and much love to all the jewellery maker team for all the hard work. And that is Jackie in Wedcar. Jackie from all of us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much. And I love that design. That's a really interesting choice. I personally wouldn't have thought about the opal with the amber, but that works really well. I might have to do that. Thank you, Jackie. Claire is in next and says, hello. I'm so glad you're here. <clears throat> hello. Just everyone lunge in. Good. Limber up, everyone. Stretch, please. Oh, we just pulled from it. All right. Claire. Hello. Here is my first entry to the Wall of Fame! Yeah! I've been making jewellery for 20 years and watching jewellery makers since the beginning. This pearl necklace and earring set was made using sterling silver findings and pearls from JM and was a gift for my daughter's 15th birthday. Good luck, everyone. And that is in from Claire. Claire Everything about your message baffles me. You've been making jewelry for 20 years and watching since the stuff, but this is the first time you've ever gone into World of Fame. It's free, you know, you can win dosh. And second off, wow, you've made that for your 15 year old daughter. She is gonna love it, and that's pearls. Who else owned pearls at 15? Uh, it's not what you know, it's who you know. Claire, I hope she's absolutely loved it and good luck to you. Stacy is in next and it says, Hi all, this week I've made pearl and show pearl wrap bracelet. Keep up the fabulous work and good luck to everyone. They're lovely designs. Thank you for sending them in, Stacey. Sue is in next and says, Hi all, here's my entry. It's an Allison inspired tree or window decoration uh, made by... A uh, made by tracing a robin picture, then placing it on the JM jig and using 0.8 bronze wire. That's a genius way of doing it. Um, I started making the S shapes curls whenever I had a bit of leftover wire without a plan, and then it struck me. Not bad for a first try, though quite wobbly as I attached the curls together with matching 0.25, but it got firmer as I went on, and then the last few were made to measure. The breast is from the red wooden beads from moustache and sparkly faceted black spinel for the eye. Added monofilament to hang and ta-da! All from Jewelry Maker 2 and plenty left for more fun. Thanks for all the shows, selections, inspiration and it's just so enjoyable to watch um, when I'm spending too much but hopefully a win would help. Take care. What a great idea. I love all that you've put into that, Sue. And uh, it looks fabulous. Thank you so much. And thank you to everyone, in fact. It is time. Well, very shortly, anyway. The light over here is so much better for this circum. Oh, my gosh, you can see fire in the studio. Sorry, just to confirm what fire is, it's when you see the colours in here. It's not like I've just seen something. We're all fine. We're all safe. I mean, the light here. <gasps> the reason you can see that fire is because the quality of this night owl is absolutely exemplary this is on its way my producer danny it's his last day on thursday it's his last weekend day and i can tell you what he is feeling the price mischief this is not an hour to miss we'll be back in a few Here at Jewelry Maker, we've got some really exciting news. After 10 and a half years, we can finally launch Split Pay. The whole point of this is to make it as affordable as possible to buy things from Jewelry Maker. So you have the opportunity to pay either two or three fixed interest-free payments depending on the item's value. It's that simple. Thank you, Carols. We are so excited about this opportunity and we know that you will be as well. So enjoy this new way of shopping on Jewelry Maker.
So from the three of us and everyone else here at Jewelry Maker, see it, love it, split it. We just wanted to let you know that we've updated our website. Now you can still watch us live on our main page and if you click on the watch live tab, this will show you all of the products that have been on today's show, the deal of the day and any items that are on pre-order. If you want to see what's coming up on the show, then view our TV guide for further information. And if you've missed a show, you can always go back and use the catch up service. On the homepage, you'll be able to see all the different categories, including findings, kits, and all your essentials. We have a wide range of gemstones, and when you find a gemstone you like, you can view all of the product details by clicking on the right-hand side. You can also view up-and-coming workshops and book online. You can explore our Gemology magazine and get up to date with the latest news across the Gemporia group. And you can always download the Jewelry Maker app so you can watch us on the go and never miss a thing. So, happy shopping, Jewelry Makers. If you have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Email help at jewelrymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page. Does anyone else, when that music comes on, just have a little bit of a bop? Do you? We all do in the studio here, and then you have to sort of, hello. Um, I have got quite the hour to round off your weekend. If you've just tuned in, hi, my name's Rebecca Reddikin. You can call me Becky. I have got so much to fit in in this last hour. Well done to anybody who got some of the Mineral Man in the last hour. We had Mineral Man products, brand new low prices, split pay, split pay prices that have never been seen before as well on items that have never been on split pay. We had it on for an hour. It was a request hour. They've all disappeared. Well done if you tuned in. This is a really, really, really... High quality opal that will go great with my 745 Zircon. Oh, look at this. I love the quality and the colour in this. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? What hues can you see in these? Blues, anyone? Greens, anyone? reds yeah you've got them kind of colors coming through in here haven't you it looks absolutely sensational i love those colors those qualities of colors and when you see that many qualities in uh, that many colors sorry in a stone it really goes to go to speak for the quality that you're getting we are bringing to you today perfect pure round it's a rarely seen shape here at jewelry maker there's only 11 in stock. I'm bringing it to you now. Eight carats worth in total. This is in a daylight simulator. Straight down now. Final price. Your opportunity. Your deal. Your price point. £39.95. And could you just do one in a ring? This isn't even the largest one, but just one in a ring. What do you think? Could look great, couldn't it? Yeah. Just one in a ring. It's going to really shine and sparkle. I've got your semi mounts, don't forget, coming up. You've got really special opportunity here to get something really unusual, really different. Would you put one in the middle of a stretchy bracelet? Do you remember uh, Katie did them stretchy bracelets earlier on? She did them bracelets with the rounds in. 
Maybe you could do one. Yeah, not a million miles away from that design there, yeah. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Definitely, you could do just one. Oh, what about in your aquamarine? This was in a kit, actually, one of Katie's kits. This was, we were saying that this was amazing because it actually went on to your normal um, stretchy elastic. The drill hole's that big. What do you think? Oh, I've just remembered. Sorry, I've just remembered. This brace that I'm wearing is actually from the Mineral Man Hour. I'm going to take it off before I forget to give it to my lovely floor manager, Hannah. And um, we're bringing that to you. Well done all. Okay, let's get some more treats. Let's go for some cubes of lapis lazuli. Earlier on, I launched for you a box of lapis and it was with blue jasper. This could go really, really, really nicely with it. What do you think? A up, just before I forget, I'm in on Wednesday. And um, something's happening on Wednesday. What's happening on Wednesday? Oh, yeah, we, oh, yeah. oh, yeah, we've got a training session before the show. I was like, that's so funny. I completely forgot about that. I was like, something's happening on Monday I need to tell the audience about. And Emma was just like, we've got that meeting. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, 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 no. That's for my diary, not your diary. But, yes, anyway, no. Look, I've got a meeting here in the building with the members of staff at 12.30. You don't need to know about that. What you do need to know about is I've got a DVD launch. That's what you needed to know about. DVD launch for you with Monica. Oh, yeah. And the reason I was thinking that is because these colours would go great in that design. I shan't say too much. Anyway, yes, don't. that's one for your diary, isn't it? Um, we have got £6.95 for you on your lapis cubes. And they are two millimetres, these ones. And they would look great with that make from Monica. I gave you a sneaky peek of it um, the other week, actually, of one of her makes. If you follow me, Rebecca Reddick and Presenter, Instagram and Facebook, you will have seen it on my stories. Um, yeah. So we have got that on Wednesday. Well worth keeping your pubes peeled for. And this would be a great strand to go with that. Because it's almost like a wintry blue, isn't it? And the fact you've got that unusual shape would fit in really nicely again with this design. So that's Wednesday evening for you. We will be live from four. 6.95. Well done. Let's go from cubes to coins. <gasps> You could do a take on, um, what's it called? Morse code jewellery with this, couldn't you? A bit of a take on it. We're bringing to you natural multicoloured tourmaline for you today. Well done on the lapis. What do you like about the coins? Is it the comfort of them? Because that's what I really like. I really like that because you see that they look very spherical from the front, but they are a little bit flattened so that means that if you do have them say on the wrist line it's lovely and comfortable i am bringing to you today 20 full carats worth of these and i'm giving you the opportunity to get well there's so many different hues in here i don't even try and guess but look what, what can we see there's like deep fern greens and there's bright fresh shoot greens and then there's pure crisp white colours and then there's delicate dainty blossom hues and then there's sky open blues and then there's deeper tones almost reds like kind of rubellite sheen and then you've got sunshine yellows as well and then there's even a little um, kind of cloudy day greys. There's a lot of the grey outdoors on this strand isn't there? So could you do something that maybe is inspired by that? Yeah, I think so too. Let's get you the opportunity to get something very, very pretty indeed, but also something tray workable. Discounts coming on screen now. £14.95 pence. That is your deal. £14.95 pence. A lovely quality strand there. I'm going to put it with my zircon, if I may. A little twist -a Liz is messaging her favourite thing about the coins. Oh, thank you. My favourite thing about faceted coins. I could look at them all day long, says Liz. Oh, do you know what? What a gorgeous day that would be, wouldn't it? Hey, Wouldn't that be a stunning day? Oh. It'd be a very book 
worthy day. You know what I mean? It's the type of thing I'd imagine sort of a, a Jane Austen character doing. Lovely. This Zircon, 7.45. Such good quality in with that. And I've got another glowing treasure. Green Amethyst on its way. Approximately 15 minutes and 31 seconds-ish. What do you think? Do you think they go nice together? I just go down a little bit so my top stops distracting you. It's not a top, it's a dress. They work really nicely together, I think. How many would you put in between each marquee shape? I might go three. Really give them a bit of movement. Nice then, very nice. Absolute beauty. Oh, did anyone get their hands on the Dominican amber I had earlier on, the cabochon? If you did and you fancy pairing it with Baltic amber, or even if you didn't and you're just like, I need some amber that has a lovely nuggety feel. Hmm. Now, if you're like me, you're going, nuggets, they look like rounds. And they do, but... Actually, they're not until you look closer. The best thing about them being nuggets and not rounds is we can do them for a very good price. Absolute deals coming on now. Let me just remind you. Let me just remind you that I am bringing to you 44 million year old minimum amber. It's got a lovely hue to it. It really, really feels incredible. And um, in case you don't know about amber, this is another thing I'll tell you about. It's slightly different to the Dominican Republic. If you wear this and move this, and might I say, because there's no stone and silver on this, this is a beautiful one or two wear and move. If you place this in your hands or you're wearing it, do you know what a really good one is? And I know this sounds completely silly and a, a while away, but pop it in your car on a hot day. So when it gets to summer, put this in your car. When you walk into your car, you don't have to put the whole strap. Maybe you could put it over like your dashboard. No, your, what's that called? Rear view mirror. <laughs> put it over your rear view mirror. And on a warm day, the, the gemstone will naturally heat because of the sun coming through. And what happens is it gives off something that's called aciculin acid. Now, I know that sounds really scary because it sounds like, oh, acid, that's bad for you. It's actually not. It's been proven to be very good for you. It's proven to relax. Uh, it's used a lot in aromatherapy. But yeah, it, it warms up and it gives off a scent. It gives off a fra fragrance, which has been proven scientifically to... Um, lower heart rates in stressful situations and basically to have a calming effect on the body and um, it's a really nice stone for that this one i think she could do like one of those rosary link designs but also i know that's a while away but also of course when you wear this um, against the skin the same sort of effect happens if not as as bold maybe bring it to you wow good price already Am I going to stop there? Nope. No, I am not. Let's do it. Let's bring you 14,095 pence for these beauties. I just think they're absolutely gorgeous. Do you think, can you think of a gent in your life that might wear these? Yeah, I can as well. Yeah, I can. How's about with, would you? It would be a very serene day, Becky. Staring at your coins. Yeah. Do you know what, though? It only works with coins or gemstones, doesn't it? Would it work with actual coins? I wouldn't find that as relaxing. Counting them. Do you know what I mean? You would be, wouldn't you? Unless you're a coin collector and then maybe. I mean, I'm a 50p collector. Not just all 50ps, just, just the good ones. Uh, Baltic Cognac Amber today I'm bringing to you. I 
absolutely adore it. I think it's just got such an interesting look. Do you think it would go with... Where have you gone? Where have you gone? These. These ones. Hello, friends. I do too. I'm going to do them now for me. Is that right? I just love that you've got such an interesting appearance. If everyone who bought the strand bought this, it'd be gone. Could I do a flip or on the board? Flip! Because I want to show you them. Can I just ask you one question? I want you to think about it. How many faceted ambers do you own? Any? I have. I don't know. I love the way that the light is moving on these. What do you think? We have got for you here something that when you're fasting it, it gets incredibly hot. I mean incredibly. And because of that, sometimes what you have to do is um, you have to, how do I put it? It's basically a machine that drops water onto them whilst you're actually cutting them. Which, if you're not very, very skilled, will just make them slippy. <laughs> what we've got here is a beautiful interest, beautiful detail, beautiful quality, and lots of different shades of colour. Can you see that they've got drill holes? Yeah? So they've got drill holes running through them. If I turn that one a little bit to the side. Drill holes running that way. And you've got the opportunity, you've got the chance here to get the range of colours. So you've got the lovely dark hues, the lovely open hues, and then the beautiful lemony hues. Which are your favourites, or do you think they all work well together? Ooh, what about like a, um, what's it called? A amber rainbow? Does that make sense? Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. Uh, we've got for you $9.95 today. I'm going to give you the chance now to get Madeira. Citrine. It's the only one in the hour. Drops. Think about, as soon as you look at this, I want you to think three words that spring to mind. What are you loving about him? What is singing to you? Glow. What about brandy? Ooh. What's the one that's a bit like brandy? Cognac, maybe. Or sherry. Sherry can be this colour, can't it? Oh. I love that this is quality. It's a beautiful quality. It's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful glow. And I think that when you see this, it's the interest that you've got. It's an incredible way to pair those lovely, glowing, um, how do I put it, like, flame-like colours of your beauty into your winter and autumn jewellery? How could you make these, do you think? Would you just pop a bit of wire through the drill hole? Drill hole looks good size, actually, doesn't it? Yeah? Pop a little drill, uh, pop a little wire through the drill hole, maybe 0 0.4, let's say. And now, go around, 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 around. Pulling it up to a peak at the top. And then you could, if you wanted, just strand them, right? Yeah? Winter colours. Pub fire flames. You ready?
ready for this? I'm going to bring to you something so wonderful, so unique, so individual. Seventy-one ninety-five. Let's try and make a money back. This one here. On a... Sorry, I'm reaching. Rose gold chain. For example. Rose gold chain. Coming up. Money back. Right? Easily. Easily your money back. For you, £71 pounds for that. Yeah, I'd be happy. Today, though. Oh, my gosh. You're going to love it. £24.95 is actually your deal, actually your price point, actually your tree. It's your time to go and grab them. It's your chance. Go, grab, jump. <laughs> it is £24.95 today. If you love them, you know what to do. Um, it is your chance. Do be quick, please. I don't want anyone to miss out. What about with it? Oh, no, hang on. I'm going to show two different things, and I think one of them might not work, but I'm going to do it anyway. So it's nice to see, isn't it? This is what I like about, you know, being able to request to see things together. What do you think of them? Do we like it? Yeah? What about with two seconds... A song to this stone I would. Floor's mine. Do you know what? I would sing, but I think it's I've just I'm think I'm running over it in my head and I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. I've got the rhythm and I've got the tune and I've, I've managed to, I haven't quite managed to rhyme Zircon yet. Have a go, Zircon. It's hard, isn't it? It's hard. But I will work. <laughs> this Zircon makes me want to get my twerk on. Are you serious? <laughs> Producer Danny there. You'll be amazed to know he's not leaving to go into a career of music. It's a different role entirely. <laughs> Uh, anyway, it's an absolute stunner. I'm excited to bring that to you. That is a great treat for you. Okay, let's get ready, ready. Let's get ready, ready. Let's get ready for brilliance. I'm bringing to you a glow, a shimmer, a dazzling of light to set the screen aflame. When we hear about lustre, I think one of the things we think about is the hair care adverts. You ever seen them? It's usually a woman, usually on the back of a horse, usually um, at one point she's in a rainforest. You're not entirely sure how she was on a beach a bit ago. But yeah, usually she's on a rainforest and she's like, I don't know flirting with a coconut. Do you know what I mean? She's like, oh, coconut. Oh, um we watch, you know, these adverts about hair care. And, um, yeah, um, it's a lot of the time they will talk about, oh, and the, the conditioner makes my hair much more lustrous. And if you don't know what that means, it means shiny, doesn't it? It means more lustrous. And a lot of the time it will, um, it, it's, it's to do with 
how the light interacts with the hair. So if you think about those adverts and there's kind of, you know, they flick their lovely long hair and as it waves, it, the light hits the wave section, doesn't it? That's all to do with the luster of it. It's to do with the light hitting the hair and it, the hair looks healthy and the hair looks youthful and the hair looks in good condition because the light hits the surface of it and it's very lustrous. This stone is lustrous on the outside and on the in. First off, I want to talk outer luster. Check for the sparkle. What do you think? Dazzling. Dancing. Pirouetting with light. It is absolutely sparkle sensation. Why? Because there's so many facets. And also, actually, if we're honest, big area, aren't they? Aren't they? Sorry, aren't they? Aren't they? Big area on these ones. So they're from 11 by 6, but what do they go up to? So that's the smallest one, is it? Nineteen. Hang on. You can see that differentiation. Yeah, you can see that differentiation. That's massive. No. I think it's a great idea if you wanted to, to possibly opt for... Earrings toward the end, yeah? Would these be too big for charms for you, those ones there? Yeah. And then the larger ones in the centre, maybe. Yeah. Anyway, outer luster, we've seen that. Should we now talk about inner luster? Let's do it. If I place this against a black background... What I want you to look out for, we've taught what luster is. It's all about light interaction inside. If I place this against my background and I tilt this up, see if you can see internal light interaction. Yeah. Do you see, even if I keep it still, well, still as I can, see if I keep it still, can you see in the base of these here how that light is trapped? Yeah. And if I move it slightly, again, it kind of follows you around, doesn't it? It's like Mona Lisa's eyes, isn't it? This is the quality that I am bringing to you here. So let's remind ourselves. It's an unusual seeing green amethyst. I know we've spoken about green amethyst already today, but we don't get to see it so often, do we? Also, let's have a little think about what's exciting about this. The outer sparkle. Have a look. Woo! Oh. But also, the glow. Oh, it's almost like two sides of the same coin. I absolutely wonderful, a wonderful, sorry, beauty that you've got. I love that you see the interest and the quality, and I adore that you are getting sparkle, for those of you who are a bit of a magpie, but also the lovely inner brilliance or inner luster, which as we've already referred to before, is something that many people will describe as, uh, when it comes to hair anyway, a lot of people will describe that as being healthy, you know, healthy glow. You know I've not mentioned that price for a reason. Oh, it's my little tactic. Sometimes if I don't mention the price for ages, it's because it's going to go bye-bye. Let's do it. 100 carats of green amethyst, 14 95 only. And that is a jewellery maker price and a half. I haven't even gotten into how unusual it is to see the rice bead shape or the top drill marquees almost, if you will. This is unusual. This is different. This is yours. If you do want to seize the moment and you're thinking, Oh, Bex, I love it, but what am I going to pair it with? Of course, there was the Zircon. Oh, but also there was the coins. I quite like with it, actually. Oh, sorry, just move that slightly. There you go. I like them with you, too. What do you think? Yeah. 
Who fancies some stretchy bracelet making? Or stretchy bracelet owning? These sold out last time we had them. Managed to get some more in. I love a stretchy bracelet. I love it. I love a stretchy bracelet. The only one you're not getting is the aquamarine. That is from Katie's kit earlier on. But I love it because they're so easy to just throw on. And they move with you. There's no class. There's no metal. There's nothing. One of my pet peeves um, is, you know, when you're wearing a bracelet and the clasp just decides that it wants to be center of attention. Do you know what I mean? It's like that child from, um, what's it called? I am William. I'll scream and scream until I'm sick. You know that one? It's like attention seeking. The clasp keeps turning around you and you don't get that with this it's it's never ending it's no end there's no beginning there is but it's hidden 50 pounds 95 now in here you're getting ruby zoocyte great to go with the kit we did before with katie you've also got your demorti right lovely bright bold color in comparison to normal um lovely lapis hues and then you've also got your, whoa seven as well for 9.95 you don't choose it's not lucky dip You'll get all three of them for $9.95. When's the last time you had a little nosy on well-known um, stretch bracelet companies? I'm thinking, the one I'm thinking of at the moment is, I, well, I always think stretch bracelets. I think Links of London, but I also think Thomas Sarbo because they do a few, don't they? And um, I have seen them with genuine gemstones in those shops, £195. The genuine gemstone wasn't like expensive gemstones either. You know, they weren't like, um, I don't know, cashmere, sapphire. You know, it wasn't that. They were just it standard every day. £195 for a stretchy bracelet of six mil rounds. But this is the thing. You can charge that. Why? Because they're beautiful gemstones. So why not? £9.95. Hello, multi-buyers. How are you? Um, the ring mount that I'm wearing is coming up for you. So if you've uh, bought any of your gem select stones recently, then uh, I've got them. They may well make you happy. Oh, I'm so excited to bring you these. Okay. Please, please how many? Okay. Have you got any gem select stones that are possibly um, this size calibrated. If you do, these are your earring semi mounts. So the stone is obviously not set in there. We do loads of different things. We do loads and loads and loads of different, um, how do you put it, like DVDs and tutorials online. We do loads of different toolkits and how you can set these and i know we've done that before if you've missed it head on over to youtube and have a look on youtube jewelry maker you'll be able to see us on there um i've got for you the pair of earrings they are sterling silver it's the mount and it's just 9.95 i think that's an incredible deal by the way this is not cubic zirconia this is a whole different genuine gemstone it is a white zircon this is a real gem I actually was lucky enough to buy two chrome diopsides that I think are the same size. Pardon? It's like people knew I was about to finish that sentence. I've actually got some chrome diopsides. I was lucky enough to buy two, and I'm going to set them in these. They've sold out. <laughs> well done to anyone who got them. They're beautiful. I've got some more semi-mounts. I've got gold. It's my only gold one of the hour. Beauty. Trillion cut. Love this design. This is your gold plated 95 sterling silver trillium ring. And it's again to fit your gemstones in. So have a little look around. It's to fit a nine mil gemstone. We have done this size gemstone recently actually in our gem selection pieces. Maybe worth heading on jewelrymaker.com seeing if we've got any there if you haven't got any. Also, and this is very much sort of in advance, by the way, only uh, we've got N2O left um, for you. But yeah, uh, the thing with this, should I say, that's gone now. One of them's gone, I'm afraid. N2O, Q to P, P to Q, very, very limited. Uh, but yeah, the interesting thing with this is if you get this now and then say 
next Thursday, next Tuesday, next Wednesday, when we bring you semi uh, stones, you know, mountable stones, you may well go, yes, okay, that's the size I need. There's now worse than getting the stone and then waiting, 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 waiting for the right ring shank. Because actually when you buy the ring shanks in other places, especially one that has as much metal as this, you know that they can be highly expensive. I'm talking 70, 80 quid each for a silver plated one. Um, we've got for you today, not 80 quid, 995. Yes, it is genuine precious metal. It's baffling, isn't it? But this is the thing because you, not only are you getting real good precious metal with a serious amount of metal work around it, that means it's lasting. But the great thing with it is it means that you are going to be able to put your own spin on it, put your own character on it. But also then if you sell it on, you've got room for markup because that's what we try and do here at Jewelry Maker. You know, we try and sell you great quality so that if you do want to make something from them, it's not like we're going to charge you 80 quid because then that pushes your price up for everyone else, doesn't it? You could still sell your pieces for 80 quid, 90 quid, 100 quid, but it means you make more profit. And we hope, and this might sound a little bit selfish, but I'll be honest, I mean, you know, it, it, it makes business sense. We hope... But you make these, you sell them on at 80, 90 pounds with the gemstone of your choice in them. And then you go, blimey, they were popular and get straight back to Jewelry Maker and buy a load more of us so that we can carry on being here as a channel. So, yeah, that's 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 how we keep the prices low. And um, I've got for you now one for a lovely pair cut. How do you like to wear your pair cut? I think it's quite an interesting question. Do you wear it that way around or that way around? I wear it this way, as you can see, generally. But when I do stackers, now this, I think, oh yeah, it's a little bit. What do you think of that? It's not quite like your cladder ring. No, your cladder ring is one where, a good question, by the way. Cladder ring is whether you're single or taken, um, depending on which way around you wear that. Um, but with these ones, there could be those connotations, but none that I know of. Um, I quite like the idea of them as sort of stackery designs, actually. You could do one on each side, couldn't you? Or could you do that kind of idea? Ooh, hello. Oh, line them up, Redders. There you go. Quite a cute idea, actually, isn't it? Anyway, I'm bringing to you the smaller one now. The large one's coming up in a bit. This is um, way over a gram and a half of precious metal. I love the added detail and the wonderful genuine gemstone that you've got just in the shoulders there. It's six ninety five. In all honesty, in all honesty, you can buy pairs of socks more expensive than that. You really can, can't you? You really can. I'm not saying there's out wrong with socks. <laughs> I don't know why I'm about to defend socks. I was about to get into my sock collection then. I, I only have one pair, but it's really important. I, like, I tell you that I like them. Anyway, um, yeah, you can know. Socks are very different. Socks are not precious metal, generally. <laughs> and socks, you know, they're, they're a short time lasting. This is going to last. This could be passed down. This could be lovely and comfortable. I'm going to bring now the larger one. This is for your larger stone. Please know all of the sizes on the graphics. I've got 70, seven sorry, in stock of these ones. This one is... Um, a it's got the again three points of a carrot across the shoulders of the zircon this time the stone fitting it is how big what's the stone for this one please producer danny oh it's there is it eight eight by six thank you thank you eight by six so quite a bit larger so if you've got any in your collection maybe in your dealer's dozen you've gotten them out and you've been uh, sizing them have you got any that would fit this if you have Start dialing. Today, I'm bringing it to you. Um, enter O, P to Q, left, but they are extremely low. Extremely low quantity. 1.60 grams. Approximately seven pounds and 95 pence for you today uh you've got a bit more of the gram weight on these which i like because it means that you've got more metal which means you've got more uh, thickness one thing i love about my these ring mounts is how much metal is in these i've got this absolutely whopping in fact i've got a few whopping cocktail rings whereby the band on the ring is so fine i know full well 
that after a year or so, I'm going to have to, it's going to completely snap. And I know that I'm going to have to get it redone, which is a bit of a pain. But hey. Okay, well done, 7 95 This is something that I've requested. And I've requested this because I need them and I love them. I've got to get my Christmas presents sorted. I've got to. I absolutely adore these. All right, let me tell you what they are. Hang on. So, they're bales. They're genuine sterling silver. Yeah, really. They're real rose gold. Cubic zirconia in the middle. Turn to the side. They're bales. So, let me make you a piece of jewellery. No, no, I insist. No, come on. You've been lovely all day. You deserve one. I'm going to get a chain. I'm going to open the chain. I'm going to take the chain. I'm going to thread the chain through the bail. I like to go quiet when I'm paying attention. There you go. Done. There you are. Now, that's not a horrible piece of jewellery already finished off. If I just wanted that like that, then I could snip that bit off, couldn't I? But I don't want to. Oh, no. I want to grab some glue. What glue do I like? I love a bit of E6000, jeweller's glue. I am also like a bit of that crafters all over glue. You know, the one we've been doing recently, the ultimate Pop that through, then get a half drill pearl. For example, this one. The quality of that. Oh, it's beautiful, that, isn't it? One off pearl. So here's your drill hole. There's half a drill hole there, no drill hole the other side. What we do, glue it on, leave it for 24 hours. Let me just glue that in. And you have got one of the most beautifully high end. Sorry, I'm working on my balance pieces of jewellery ever. Isn't that stunning? Who in your family would not be impressed to own this? Everyone would love it, right? I'm bringing you the bales now. You get four of them. Obviously, it's not glued into place. And you can use these on half-drilled pearls, half-drilled gemstones, even normal drilled gemstones if you want. £3.23 per veil for you today. I'm going to bring you the chain next. So if you want them, now is your chance. £12.95 for you today on those ones. Really easy peasy lemon squash, easy making. But also remember, it's not just to go on your chain. You can use them for earrings and charms as well. Well done to you on those ones. I think they're fab. So selling silver with your rose gold coming in now. And it is your 20-inch curb chain. Great addition, this, right? This is lovely because it's one of those chains that anyone can wear. Sorry, just drop the clasp. The clasp does come attached, as you can see, saves you a job. And then you've got the little loop on the other end, which you saw then the bail just slips right over. So I've got quick, easy makes, but are they going to be luxury makes? Yes, because they're rose gold and silver, but they're not going to be expensive at £5.75, are they? Absolutely not. They are beautiful for you today. If you do want to seize the moment, now is your chance. £5.75 for you today. And if you do want that pearl, we'll pop the info on screen for you now. Give you a quick show of it too. There you go. So you've got your natural colour freshwater pearl. It's on your screen right now. $29.95. Well done. Okie pokey Lee, we've got loads more to bring to you right now, including this very special sparkly treasure. Ooh, close up of a bracelet, I like. I'm glad my hand was there or else, wow. And we have got for you today something very, very special. The most ancient gem on the planet. It's your night owl. <laughs> You know what we've forgotten to do, don't you, Em? Oh, man. We were going to move over, weren't we? Do you mind? Come on. We'll just walk. I know how to do it, yeah. <laughs> Hang on. I mean, I know how to, like, you know, walk and talk is what I mean. I'm going to bring my blackboard with me. Now, the reason I am moving over here and moving this box out of the way is because it just so happens that the lighting in here is more of a natural lighting. Okay. How do I put this right um, Ryan, do you mind if we have a whole studio view? Do you mind? 
Like that, right, okay, hang on, give me two ticks. So, I normally stand here. Hiya, how are you? There's a light here pointing at me, 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 and there pointing at me, okay? So, loads of light. But then, when I go over here, whoo, whoo, my touch. Where the guest designer is, there's only a light here and here and then one there. So, there is, like, less than half the light. Is that less than half? Yeah, sure. Less than half the light. So the lighting over here is much more natural. And I really like that for when I'm showing you stones like this, because I want you to know what this is going to look like when you get it home um, and you can see the sparkle. Now, I just keep looking at this and I'm not moving it. You can see that my hands are away. I am looking at this and as I move my head, as I'm turning side to side naturally, I can see fire on this strand and I don't mean a little bit I do not mean a little bit I mean masses firework displays of fire golds greens I've got reds and the purples in this there's like two shades of purples almost like an electric blue and a purple and a violet it is by far the most impeccable zircon rounds I have ever ever brought you outside of like individual stones I completely love this. This is a daylight simulator. It's a nice, nice, nice recording. It looks better in real life. In my opinion. In my opinion. Better than that. Honestly, in my opinion, better than that. I am bringing to you today the opportunity. Oh, my gosh. Stack of rings. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to purchase these. Can you? Are you the same? Are you the same? Are you at home like, yeah, Bex, I want them too. That's why I've tuned in now. <laughs> if it is, it's, it's like diamonds. Actually, it's better than diamonds, some would say, when it comes to uh, refraction. The way this splits the light is better than that of diamonds. I'm going to give you one minute from now. Until we start those graphics. This is world class. We're getting these from Cambodia. You know that's an important name. This is world class sparkle. The sparkle and the way that the light splits in this is better than that of the Hope Diamond. The way you're getting the interaction of light with this is second to none and then some. When I bring to you a remarkable luster and an intoxicating brilliance like this, that let's remember is brought to us from from this region by artisanal miners. This is not a big scale operation. When we do that, we bring to you something that cannot be ignored. We have got sparkle unlike anything else. The way you see this best is actually when you're slightly coming into focus and you see the different colors. That is honestly the colors I am seeing on that. For the final five seconds now, I wish you luck. Those colours that you're seeing now, I promise, is what I'm seeing in real life. It is. Oh, my gosh. It is. It's an incredible 50 full carats worth. This is perfect micro faceted rounds. It is a splendour of colour and character and light. We have got within here for you the beauty, the bounty, the light and the luster. We have got all of that glow and that integrity. It's the fire kaleidoscopic myriad of rain rainbow colours, dancing, moving, presto through the stone. It's attention grabbing. It's score making. It's head turning. It's yours today for a knock your socks off price. Is that price good? I'm going to give you my opinion. My opinion on that price is that it is exceptional. And I'll tell you for why. I, tell you, I talk about this ring all the time. It's my favorite piece of jewelry. Probably, I absolutely love and adore it. It is a ring that I own. And it is a Marambai topaz. It's a blue topaz. Big rock. And then around the outside is zircon. The reason I got it is because of the zircon. It's the zircon. The Marambai topaz price per carat is much less. It's lower. It's not as expensive as this. It's the reason I got it is because of the zircon within it. The zircon is incredible. It's like this. It's this quality. The stone itself, the ring itself, was um, at staff cost. 
I got it at staff cost. It was over £400. But it was worth it because the Cambodian white zircon was expressive just like this. So is 50 quid good? Yes. Is 29.95 incredible? Yes. Yes. And oh, yes. This is your energetic, bright, beaming, wonderful firework display of light quality and colour. Real, natural white zircon from Cambodia and price per carat. 59 pence only. I kid you not. This is your time to react. This is your time to seize the moment. This is your chance. If you do want to seize the moment, please do be quick sharp on it. Please, 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 please. There's so many things you could do with these. So many things. Look at this design here. What do you think? Uh oh. Imagine doing a pair of earrings like this, but with the zircon instead. Oh, that'd look amazing, wouldn't it? Yeah? Imagine how these would catch the light. What about if you use them as centres? Ooh, ooh, don't go anywhere, bauble. For things like the shrink plastic designs. Wouldn't that look incredible? Yeah! This is made by a wonderful Linda the other day. There's absolutely loads you could do with this, but as I always say, you can't do any of it if you don't own it. Well, what's happening next week? Wednesday. Let me talk to you. I've got Monica on air with me. I've got some wonderful uh, kits for you. And the kits that I've got, there's a DVD, which you have seen before. There's a kit, uh, kits that I've got that will work great for the DVD. So if you've already bought the Bauble DVD, that's going to work really well. I've also got, as a bit of a pick of the day, a matte finish hematite, which I personally haven't seen before. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, all of that is coming up on Wednesday. If you do want to know what I'm up to on my days off, feel free to follow me on Rebecca Renikin Presenter um, on Facebook or Instagram. It's just enough time to say thank you very much for joining me for this weekend. I do appreciate your company. Stay kite. So have a lovely evening. <laughs>
We have a wide range of gemstones, and when you find a gemstone you like, you can view all of the product details by